are back with another episode of Oak Hearts. And Let's I'm fucking here this go. Time. And Wait, yes, you are here this time. That's Wait, true. Do Unfortunately, do we, we are down, down a Veronica this time. We are down a Veronica. Yes, we that means, are. Yo, we know no that means Moody Ed made today. No chaos today. Yeah, yeah no unless, chaos. I do. <laughs> <laughs> unless I do. Who else is going to be the chaos beast? We'll see how we'll see how it how it's going. Uh, uh, Seagra's on his redemption. No, he's not. Well, before, before we get into, into our characters and their arcs, welcome, welcome back, back to another episode, episode of Dragons Not Included. It is a pleasure to have you. Um, we will be playing Oakheart tonight, our third episode. Please, if you haven't, I re recommend you check out the previous episodes or the recap videos we have made, which will catch you right up to episode one. Because these campaigns have been playing for a few years, and they have developed a long ways. So if you're just joining in now, you're gonna be like, what the hell is going on here? We set you up. Go check it out. We did set you up. We set you up pretty good. We that did. they did. That they did. So, so see, like me, I also have no idea what's going on. He's we also, because yesterday was Halloween, we did a Halloween special. Yeah, check that, check that out, out too. Only if you're an adult. If you're a kid, don't do it. Stay away. Yeah, don't Stay away. Stay, Please. Stay, Stay away. I mean, bad. you might not want to watch this if you're a kid either. All right. No, this is fine. Okay. Moving into the session, I have a recap for us. Well, first, actually, Oh, I almost forgot, forgot the cardinal rule, Dang it, and you all were so, so happy. Wait, can we do a fun fact? Oh, what? Oh, sure. A fun fact. Everyone needs to introduce themselves them. again. I didn't think so. We're... <laughs> well, I didn't know this was a thing. We did it last time. We yeah. Did. In my campaign. Did we? I don't remember. We that. did. We did so we're going to run down the line, and everyone's going to introduce who they are, oh, I do who they're playing, uh, and a fun, fun fact, fact about the character. So we're going to start here with Malachite. Ah, I thought you were going to start with Liz. I usually do. I'm trying to keep you on your toes. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jacob. I play Malachite, a uh, light domain cleric, Earth Genasi. Uh, I'll give you a fun fact about my god because I was doing notes about my religion today as I'm making it up as I go along. Um, minerals and rocks are sacred to the people of my religion, specifically salt, as it helps preserve food. Salt is sacred? To you? Is that, is that... Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay. Interesting. My cardiologist would yeah. love that, by the way. <laughs> okay, my turn. Right. Yeah. Hello, I'm Corey. I play Sigurd. A fun fact about my character is that uh, I shot uh, Dartha's brother in the sh in the shoulder, aiming for his head. Not, not so fun. Yeah, not, I think yeah, it's not so fact. fun fact there. Oh, it's, I should have said. Not it so is an interesting fun. fact. <laughs> 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 uh, I'm Zach. I'm playing Orin the Wanderer, a ancestral guardian barbarian tortle. A uh, fun fact about Orin is that um, he loves to cook. If you couldn't tell already, I don't know if I did much cooking last session, but he loves to cook, and he's currently in the process of writing his own cookbook. So. He's got a few recipes. I think he's, well, more than a few, probably like 17. I haven't counted. A lot. Mm -hmm. um, my name's Liz. I play Dartha Melrook. Um, I'm a uh, uh, seventh level astral monk. And a fun fact about Dartha, I guess more so about her family, a little background. Her father owned a pottery shop in Oakheart. I wish I could own a pottery shop, man. <laughs> That'd be the life. <laughs> in real life. In real life, yeah. I have rolled the dice. Whomst. And it has chosen Corey. Oh, me? It is Corey's fate to attempt to recap what happened <laughs> Here you are, my in the last friend. session. Oh, Please wield the Harambe Jr. Harambe Jr. And tell us, tell okay. us what had happened. So, if I, remember, if I recall correctly, last time, uh, we... We met... Was that? No. Was I here for the last session we did of this one? Yes. yes. Yeah, you were. Yeah, so we met you. Yeah, because like, because when you weren't here, you were just weren't here for the Halloween special, special. just last week, because we didn't do. Oh yeah, yeah. and then the last the last last one I wasn't here for yeah. was your yeah. first okay. Yes. So uh, so we, it was our traveling day because it was after. Um, he has um, the Harambe this is his recap. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I am I'm the Tory teller. So uh, this was after we had finished up in the cavern of his house of his home original hometown. Uh, losing one old man, unfortunately, uh, and we did a lot of traveling. Uh, I'm pretty sure one person, one of the the survivors, died in the ship. I unless I got unless I got 
You wasted a diamond on him and brought him back. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, he did die. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. He's I forgot not still about that. There. No, but yeah, he, he died that. and I revived him. <laughs> um, Thank you. We did a lot of traveling. We. Let me look at the map. So I have like. Um, uh, we started here. Yeah, and we 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 cleared. We're we're on our way towards uh, Bl Blightwood right now. Um. We still have our guys. That was just really mostly traveling and yeah, Oh, somebody stole from from me. Haven't found it out yet. There's an owl that's haunting us. Well, I should say that's haunting Dartha. Mm -hmm. It's really pissing her off, but we're looking for him because we think it's uh, potentially a druid. Uh, and if it is, he's getting shot in the dome well, on site because he's been spying on us. And that's really about, I think, <laughs> it actually. I can't really recall yeah, much else. I think you got it. I had to fix something on the I think, overlay. I, I think we like the camera was cutting off at half of oh, Max's face. I was like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I made sure I fixed that. Um, but it sounded like you got most of it. Nice. I'm still going to go through my brief little recap. So in the last session, the players, after saving who they could and blowing up Malachite's home, continued to travel east toward Blightwood. Following the old abandoned 16-lane superhighway that splits the valley, they walked their giant machines that were still soaked with magical radiation from where they found, it, found them. Gathering some mutations along the way, the party traveled. However, when the party made it, they heard an owl. Sorry, hand. When the party made rest, they heard an owl. An owl that was taunting Dartha. As days passed and the doors clean and shifts, it became apparent numerous items were stolen from the party. A manhunt was, in man was initiated to find the culprit and find their stuff. This was fruitless, as they never found their supplies. One night, while the party was preparing for sleep, Sigrid had a dream in which he was confronted by some author who had threatened his life a week prior. He wished to start anew with Sigrid. However, in reality, Sigrid got caught by Dartha pulling out an evil artifact from his bag of holding. With a swift punch, Sigurd was snapped out of it and was able to sleep again. Mm -hmm. As the old city of Bridgedale came closer, the ground came... Excuse me. I don't know what I was thinking when I wrote that. English is a hard language. <laughs> it is. It is. As Bridgedale came closer, an old rest stop came into view. With four abandoned buildings, they looted and reimagined their clothing style. Oh, yeah, how you could are I now forget, how could I forget the fashion of Soldier Boy? <laughs> yes, right, I'm Soldier Boy. And tons of canned food. After this, they packed up and continued their journey. On the final night before their arrival, they all drifted to the rest. Dartha slipped into some strange place of purple. Bless you. What is this rolling sneeze happening? <laughs> Dartha slipped into some strange place of purple where clouds like where clouds of nebulous flow like distant rivers over one another, like a weave, a cacophony of voices, ever playing like a, like you're at a front row at a rock concert, just this cacophony of voices. You focused on the mark, but it did not help you, and you slipped. Um, not this time. Yep, and as she was pulled towards this force, a woman stepped in the way and pushed you back into your body. Right where we pick up, Dartha had just returned to her body jumping up after seeing this horrific vision and being pulled towards this strange green plasma ball in this strange weird purple space. You wake up, you run out, and you see Edme sitting out there reading her book. Um, the night is dark. Um, it is clear skies, and you see your machine just out there, and you're kind of out there. You're taking breath, you're, you're, you're sweating, and you hear, hoo, hoo, hoo. And that is where we pick up. Dial. Yes. So, I am not in great shape right now. Um, so, can I, like, peer around? Can I make a perception check to see if I can, like, with my check. ears, kind of identify? Mm-hmm. Okay. Are we asleep, the rest of us? Yeah. Except Edme. Okay. Edme is very much awake, but she's not here. She wouldn't be doing that. Lights are on. Nobody's on. a 17. <laughs> Just like always. 17? Mm -hmm. You're listening out there. She is on. Um, you hear the hooing of the owl. You hear chirping of bugs. But, like, where is the hooing coming from? Like, it's coming from the forest. So you're kind of, like, looking. You see the 16-lane the highway ahead of you splitting the valley. And you hear the hooing coming from the woods behind the tent. 
because you kind of set up the tent so that you can see the open field and the highway um because it just gives you the most field of vision um so yeah so you hear it coming from behind the tent kind of back in the woods toward the mountain um if you want to look at the map how close mm -hmm. you guys would probably be around like this area mm -hmm. so it would be kind of in this direction mm. hmm. So, how close? Um... With 17, it's hard to tell how close it is. Mm -hmm. But it sounds maybe a couple hundred feet. Okay. All right. All right. I'm going to shake it off. <sighs> right, I'm going back in there. I'm going Edna back. Edna's like, you're weird. <laughs> yeah, I'm like <laughs> drenched in sweat. <laughs> like. Last session, we created a plan in character. Okay, so. Double. There was a plan made. That, yeah, we created a plan in character that... Last time I just remember walking out there with the lights. Guns. <laughs> Guns. Yes. So yeah. you go back into the tent, you look in, and you see the barrack style now designed because on one half it is a bunch of beds with snoring dwarves, and on the other half, with a kind of sound dampened wall, is your party sleeping mm -hmm. in various beds. It, there's not a lot in the tent anymore apart from just beds. Mm -hmm. It's very much like a barrack space. Well, I go into the party room. Or am I sitting out there? I guess how long has it been? Has it been four hours or no? Um, it's been about four hours, yeah. Okay, so I got my long rest. Out. You got your long rest, okay. yeah. So I guess I'm gonna stay up then. I'm gonna stay like at the There's a captain's chair, isn't there? There's a captain's chair. Not in the tent. No. Oh no no, we're in the tent, sorry. I thought we were in the <laughs> I was like captain's chair in the tent. No. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit by the entrance, I think, for a little bit. Sit outside. Okay. Um I do not I, I wait until the light comes up to do my meditations. My my You just ignore the hooing. Alright. I don't know. Four hours. For so. four hours. I don't I don't think it's worth it and like yeah. it's gonna wake everyone up. Yeah. So you start sitting there. And waiting mm -hmm. and so when you came out of this vision mm -hmm. she the lady grabbed your chest pushed you back mm -hmm. and said run and she threw you back in your body <sighs> um and so you had this initial instinct to run oh i forgot um okay. and then you came out you calmed down mm -hmm. you're you're fine you and you calm down there's no immediate threat um but you sit there for a bit a minute just trying to calm down and gather yourself now that you remember that, is there anything you wanted to change? Or um, not? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna wake everyone up. I <laughs> forgot the like I forgot the magnitude of the dream and like I I don't think Edme would be responsive to me at sure. all because Yeah, Edme just kinda of blowing you off. I fucking weird. I agree as with that. As per usual. As per usual. Yeah. She'd be like, Yeah, whatever. Serious as I think Seaboard really. Yeah. Not even dude. <laughs> I don't know. Um No, probably not, no. <laughs> So I think I, w I would wake up Oren because he's like the most spiritual, and I think that he would—he's like seen stuff. All right. <laughs> I don't know you. I don't know you. Yeah. Okay. She has seen like divine events happen because of Oren. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I'm gonna wake him up. I'm sure. I'm sure it's gonna, gonna take a bit. So I like. Like Oren. Um. I. I just had a vision, and I think that we need to go right now. Where do I wake up from here? We need to talk? go. We're we're in danger. Something is gonna happen here. What do you mean? What's your no, passive perception? No, no. No. So I, I had a vision. Nine. <laughs> that that woman, that figure God. saved me and she told me to run. We got bunk beds. I kind of, I kind of like. Now. They're not I, bunk beds. No, I shake they're myself awake. It's pretty a little spacious. Bit more. Like the tent looks twenty, 20 uh, by twenty, but it is like forty okay. by forty oh, inside. No. Can should we wake outside? I yeah, think we should wake yeah. everyone. Okay. Everybody or just Sigurd. <laughs> I honestly, I go up to Sigurd and ooh, I like ooh. rip off the blanket and I just like I I kick you a little bit in the shins. I'm gonna uh, not no, super start, hard, start but with the soap sock. no, I definitely, I definitely, I'm like, you need to wake up. Time to wake up. You gotta I, go. I go over to Malachi and I start. I, I cast invisibility on myself. I start side. poking poking Malachi. <laughs> yeah. I cast invisibility on myself. Hey. Really? He disappears. Yeah. Um, hey. Fuck off. I'm going back to bed. What wake the fuck up. are you talking about? No, no. I had a vision. I don't give up. Malachi. I've had visions every night for the past fucking month. Malachi! I'm going back to bed. And I and I stay invisible. <laughs> you definitely wake up to Oren. What? We gotta wake up. Why? We have to go right now. I go outside. She's again. freaking out. Um, 
And May, as you step out, and May's kind of like looking at the sky. And as she does, you kind of notice something. A weird sound on the wind. I'd like to make a perception. Well, sorry. Can nope. I make a you perception? You can make a perception check. And you all slowly, can I like. I also make a perception Yeah, go ahead. I'm staying inside. That is okay. a 18. 18. Oh, I put I pull the blanket back right. over. Uh, 16. Or, myself. No, that's a 14. Sorry. 14. Mm-hmm. Are you making one Malachite? Sure. No. You don't got it. Okay. No, I, you, I, or I, as I you're kind of trying to wake Malachite up, you hear this buzzing I'll do, sound. I'll do one at disadvantage. Like you're like a like a shaking. Like, no, like a bee, dumbass. Like a distant swarm of bees, almost. Like the bees Growing that are ever in closer. The audio right now. We have to go right now. I think we should all get in the small one because it's closed. Uh, um, Let's all get in the small vehicle. Oh wait, hold on. <laughs> Sigward. So you turn back around to the tent and yell at Sigward, <laughs> or you yeah. yell. Sigward. Sigward. Wake up. We need to go. No, uh, there are so bees coming. I don't care. What do you? What? Okay, you I start don't waking care. up the doors. They're all just like, what? It's just it's bugs. Kidding. I'll get up. <laughs> There's a swarm of bees. Um, why, why at which they... point, you all, those who are awake and yelling, see a figure, kind of like bamf up, in the in front of the tent. And Ed May's like, whoa, who are you? I, I, I take them all and I like run up there like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, on. Yeah, you I'm run out there. I'm standing, standing up now, I guess. You stand up. I'm standing in front of the door. To the yeah. I'm still invisible, though, well, so. That's cool. I'm you guys go out there, the and you see a very um, not large, but humanoid figure, feathered, a kind of aarakocra of sorts, with a black and gray feather arrangement. This, this aarakocra looks very uh, vulture like. Their head kind of comes out onto a long red head, mm-hmm. neck, mm-hmm. that kind of curves down and then picks back up. And they have a large staff of wood that has like dangling skulls and little little bits of creatures and herbs dangling off. What and you shot? see wrapped around them is an assault rifle. I and they kind of they're kind of ducking down when they land. I I am sorry. And he puts bag a bag in front and he kind of right. bows down and he unlatches the gun and he throws it on the ground. We hide. Hide. How many? What? From and what? He just hide and he points out your machine, the the big tall one. I'll grab what he dropped on the ground. Is that our stuff? It, you look in and you I, see a I, bunch I, of. I walk up because I'm. Can he okay. can he sense me walking up? I'm invisible. Yeah, he puts the stuff down like, and he starts backing up. You look, it does look like grab, an assault rifle you would have. I grab it. Um, oh. Granted, they all look pretty similar. I grab. Okay. He dropped a bag but it too. Like he did. Of... I picked them both up. Okay, you pick up the bag. I assume you kind of look in. It's just like a makeshift leather pouch, very ramshackle. And you look in, and it's full of gold, and platinum, and ammunition. Nice. And the things Wait, that were stolen. Wait, what do you mean? Oh, wow. What do you mean stuff? we hide? Uh, okay. Hide from what? I start walking towards. And what are you? He starts like shuffling, and then he turns into an owl. Oh, <laughs> starts flying yeah, okay, right I got, uh, towards the machine. Run. I close up the uh, the tent, like zip it up. All right, doors, okay. everyone out. No, no. The Keep buzzing gets there. very loud. The, they, they, surely they well, can't get inside if it's go, closed door, right? Said to go the... Doors aren't my problem. They're asleep. I'm not waking them up. So he's probably. I already woke them up. All right, come on, dwarves, let's he's go. Done. Okay, uh, run. Let's inside. go. Eighty feet up ladder. I'm. I'm actually gonna sprint. Can I sprint? Yeah, you can sprint. Yeah. Sorry, I'm, Kingsley. We gotta keep this up. Who's the Who's the smallest oh, person? Oh, oh. Can I grapple yet? Is that a monster? You can always grab. I mean, you can always grab with somebody. But if you pick up someone, it's going to be like half your movement speed. True. I thought there was a thing around that. It's like if you eight. are a size larger or your strength is like high enough. Yeah, I think it's like a strength. It's it's might be a you know, it might be the grappler for me too. Oh yes, that's what I'm. Thinking. As you like zipping up the tent and you all start leaving, mm-hmm. you kind of look up towards the sky, and it, it's hard because it's nighttime and it is a starry night and it's a clear sky, mm-hmm. and you can almost see like this black. Nighttime this weird black cloud that has like this buzzing motion kind of overtakes some of those stars in the sky mm-hmm. um, as it approaches your location. Oh, Lord. Um, well, but you all start hauling ass. You're going towards the small one. All right. All right. Um, that's the one that can seal. The big one can't seal up. Mm-hmm. True, true. Mm-hmm. So you all run towards the small one, and you see the owl was heading towards the big one, and then he notices you guys. Owls are percept- perceptive. Notices yeah. you guys go to the small one, so he deviates and comes to the small one. Um, and so when you guys get up the ladder, you see him 
land there as well as an owl and try getting in if you guys want to stop him or what I'll allow you. But you all are climbing up the ladder, unfortunately. You return my stuff, I'll let him in. The, the yeah, small ship we'll is mine. He gave you the stuff. Yeah, you return okay. the small ship is mine, we'll I'll let him, let him in. in. Okay. And I'm the last one up the ladder anyways. Bad, then I'll just you're kill the last one up the ladder? I'll just kill him, yeah. yeah I'm say, the last one up the ladder anyways. If he's bad, he's in a box. We have gaps anyways. Can you make a dexterity saving throw for me? Yes. You all climb this ladder. There's a lot of dwarves that have to climb this ladder. And so there's a, a long single file line oh, that's happening. Never mind. I, I don't give a fuck. I'm passing the dwarves. Fuck that. I'm not the last <laughs> you one. You can pass people on a ladder. I don't, I don't fucking. I'll... You could just like thunder step. He's done it a hundred times before. <laughs> I will be doing that. You could hurt the. You're going to hurt the dwarves around you at the bottom, though, right? I can do it from a little bit farther away. From okay. 30 feet and then. Yeah, you could just. To as far up the ladder as I can. Because it's a. Uh, 90 feet I can go with them. Alright, then can you make a, a dexterity saving throw and I'll make it for one of the dwarves. Just okay. since they're your people, I would like you to make the roll. Yeah, I, I personally don't give a fuck about the dwarves. Okay. So, Is it, are we going based on die. my stats or do you want straight? Just, just straight roll. My problem. Just, give me, just give me a good d20 roll. Six. Six? Ooh. I can roll again. No, 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 no. <laughs> that's, that's fine. <laughs> I sure so, you won't you're all are piling in, and you're all in. And it, one of the last ones, which is the... he He's not the oldest one, but he's definitely one of the older dwarves, one of the more injured ones. He's kind of like limping his way across the catwalk when suddenly you see coming out of the sky a very familiar kind of cicada, locust-looking creature that you had seen in the mine come soaring down out of the sky and just... And it is larger than the dwarf. And it comes up behind him, and the pincers... Am grab I, onto him. Am I on the platform yet? You're, you're, yeah, you're in the door as he's the last person on the platform running in. You're kind of like, come on, let's go. Can I throw a sacred flame at the bug? Sure. That's a deck save? Can I, if I'm inside, can um, I chill touch on the bug too? Yeah. Because I'm going to be waiting to yeah. lock the door because I know the code. Dex save. Um, Mine is an attack range. Attack it fails. Range. So it takes full damage. Mm -hmm. And then what is your thing? I have to roll to hit. Uh, I rolled a 7 plus 6, so uh, 13. Um, to hit? That yeah. misses. It misses? Yeah. It's okay. going to be a 6 6? Yeah. Um, you hit it with the radiant damage, which it does look like it does extra damage to it as it hits it. But this thing, it is minuscule amount. So this thing is going to latch onto him and then fly 30 feet no. back with the guy in his arms. Wait, where am I in all this? You are inside, I guess. Like, you're all kind of inside the small vehicle. You could right, so kind of like duck out if you Does it look the like there's more coming to the yes. door? As, as you're, like, looking I'm out the door, the door, they're swarming in on the, the vehicle. I, 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 I grab Malachite by like, the shirt, by, like, the neck of his shirt, and then I close the door. And you just close the door? Yep. And as you do, you just hear the claws... <laughs> All over. It is. It sounds like a hailstorm hey, is it hitting this vehicle oh, with the amount of insects that are attacking it. I yeah. turn to the bird man. And what he the turns back into on? himself. Yes. What the oh, fuck? Yeah, are you playing right now? Is this like... <clears throat> what kind of fuck? kind of fits. It did, but I don't know why there's... There's not an EDM concert. Yeah, right? <laughs> I digged it though. All right, there we go. It is when, um, so he kind of, and he's like bowing, exactly. like he's really tucked in reserve when he's like talking to you guys, and he kind of backs away from the crowd. I am sorry. Okay. Why did first you of all, take the stuff? Hold okay, you can go first. Then. What is your name? Oh, good. That's a good. That's a good question to start with. You're right. Honorifics. My name is Vashta. Out of character, can you spell that, please? V O S H K A. What was it? Vashka. Oh, Vashka, I see. Vashka. What is it? V O S H K A. Um, now, this Aarakocra does look quite thin, quite gaunt. Um, it, it is very vulture esque, so it kind of has those features already. But for them, they are quite expressed and they look quite hungry. Um, and he kind of is really like holding on to a staff to hold himself up almost. And he, he's 
I wanted to buy Buy? Buy. For my purse. Well, how much do you need? What do you eat? Are you food? Screw that! You brought those bugs here because you wanted I, food. No, no, I, no. I think this. I think this is an awful lot of okay. assumptions for just. I, I go a into guy. my bag. Well, one of my people just died. So and I, I pull out like it was seven. I, I was pull out the remainder of my high quality rations. Okay. Which is so seven of them. The so I mean, check this. you live in that okay. kind of. I, I pull out the seven, and I'm like, I, I hand them to him. And he, he opens, and he, he starts eating them right then and there, um, slowly. It's gonna be a 14. 14? Um... He's not, he's not lying. Um, he definitely, he's hungry, and it does seem like that is his intent. He has, he's given no sign of flying, mm -hmm. from what you can tell. So, where are you from? Mountains, south, east, perch, home, village, hungry, locusts. Where do the locusts come from? City. Many points towards Bridgedale. Bridgedale. That's where we're going, isn't it? Next after Blightwood. Well, it's where we picked up the bugs, so it makes sense. And it is just a cacophony of the swarm outside. Like, they are just wanna, desperate to try to I get I want to go in. walk up to the window, like, the front. Jacob, I like, have a pencil. They do have the the bulk okay. doors are closed, because that's just how they do when, like, you turn off the machine. They just close for standard. Mm -hmm. um, so you can't, like, look out the window right now. Bless you. I turn it off. You turn on the vehicle? Yeah, it's magical. It's, it, they, have, they have to have magical claws to hit, to actually do damage to it. So I'm just praying to God that they're not magical claws. Surely they're not. Yeah, yeah. they are. <laughs> um, so you wow. turn on the vehicle, you feel the thing begin to hum beneath your feet as the lights outside well, and maybe, the, the maybe like large bulk windshields way. pull up and you all look outside as it is it is like sitting in the middle of a locust swarm. Like you just see them coming, especially now that the windows are open and there's light inside. They are just flying at the window, like throwing themselves into it <laughs> and landing on it. it and just <laughs> are a lot of them going for the lights? Um, no, they're actually avoiding the lights. Like wherever the spotlights go, oh, you see yeah, them okay, kind yeah, of yeah, <laughs> flock out of okay, it. Okay. Wow, what the fuck? This is crazy. Yeah. But they, they, the window seems to be fine. It's not even chipping. All right. And these these things got long pincer like arms. Like they're like blades that are almost like three feet in length. Fly, um, mascara. <laughs> Pharaoh's curse. Um, I want to draw like a picture of one of these guys. Okay. Just so I have like. I want to. So you like sit down and start drawing to... one. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give it an. I'm just gonna call it locust guy. Locust guy. Yep. Uh, I I turn I turn to the uh to the man, Boshka. Yes. What, what do these things? Oh, uh, I'm I'm Orin. 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 Bashka. Bashka. Um, what do these things taste like? We do not eat. Mm, okay, so don't eat them. You see, I'm a I'm a gourmand. Um, I I uh, I enjoy looking for uh, in interesting ingredients to include in my cooking. Is gourmand even and a real he word? is like it's it's a little uncomfortable yes. conversating with him because he has like these these very you know avian <clears throat> yellow eyes that are piercing and when they actually like look into your eyes you feel like a slight sense of intimidation but oh. and they're always moving around like scouring everything he's very anxious and nervous i'm i'm doing um, my best to treat him with compassion because that's sure. yeah do we have do we have healing doing. potion we do i'm gonna give him a greater healing potion we have okay. ten of them. I have ten yeah. in my bag of holding sure. right now. So you guys give him one. He he warned us of them coming, so I feel. And he gave me my stuff back, so like I'm gonna ask him about that when I give him my heat. I'm gonna walk up to him. Hel hello there, uh, Vash Vashka. I have this um potion. Thank you. For you, I have a question what, though. What's this? 
it's, make you feel better. Yeah, that, that what it, he said. It cure, cures your wounds. Mm -hmm. Healing potion. Mm -hmm. Um, why did you take our stuff, and but then give it back just now? Seems odd, right? Just a they, just a question. They were coming. Mm. I can't hide from them. Uh, what were you planning to do with my stuff that you Go. took? There are other cities with colonies that trade. Oh. I give them gold. They give me food for my perch. My perch accept me back. Oh. Did you get kicked out? Too, too many mouths to feed. Ah. Uh, too hungry. Yeah, we, we had that problem too at one point. But, uh... Some souls always fixed that problem. Yeah, we... Ha ha ha. breaks into the second ration. Can... Vashka, can I take a look at you? I've never seen, like, a non-humanoid other than Orin. Like, his, that is His neck kind of stands up straighter. Sure. Thank you. I just want to... He, like, like, opens up his wings. Oh. Wow. And you see they are kind of torn and old and kind of withered at the ends. Yeah. Um, by no means is this an immaculate, well-conditioned bird. Um, but it suffices. It looks like he could fly with these. It's the first time I've ever oh, seen an Aarakocra. He did. True. It's the first time well, I've seen an Aarakocra. Boshka, what is your society like? Oh, yes. Good question. I really don't think that this is the time to be doing this when we have that to deal <laughs> well, with outside. We can't do anything uh, I think about we just it have to sit in here let this happen, honestly. Yeah, I'm, I don't think we can do He much. kind of, like, looks around. I am amazed they're not in here yet. This thing this is, is magical. very, very strong, very sturdy. Is it ruining the outside, though? Like, they, does it sound like it's... They magical? came a year it ago. because it's magical, so... Have you seen them since then? All the food. Anything non-magical doesn't do anything. Not even not scratches. So many. Can I go stand by the window and just start just spamming more ingredients? <laughs> At the window? I don't, I don't well, think you I can can't. cast it outside. <laughs> through the inside, could you? Well, that's the thing I'm not really sure about. Would he be able to cast outside? I don't, I don't know if he... Like, What's the spell again? Word of Radiance. Either so Word of Radiance or Sacred Flame. Word of Radiance is only 5 foot, but it hits everything in 5 feet. I feel like the window is going to get in the way. So maybe not what for it, sacred flame. Well, maybe. I don't know. Well, okay, because I'm looking at... I guess it depends on the if, wording. If it says you can see... Yeah, I mean, if sure. it's like line of sight, maybe, within limitations. I don't know. Because it's like a, technically a wall. I don't really know. Yeah, yeah most it, spells it, I feel like are like, without saying, limited by... I don't know. I mean, the... My, like if, my there's, if there's a wall in the way... Then. Say assuming life site. But the thing that I have doesn't say anything about it. It is a thick magical wall. And it probably okay, like so if it yeah, if the magical wall probably would it probably, magic yeah. going out as much as it does. Exactly. Work. Okay. So we'll say it doesn't work. Okay. So what what is your society like? We are scavengers. But okay. now only strong I can fuck raiders that. now. Raiders? We like, attack Zeppelins. Oh. Goodies for you're, you're, you're. Wait, but there's one there's one Zeppelin that is like pretty chill. Uh, if you see it. it. Ran by a guy named Zephyrus. You shouldn't attack him. We have a deal with him. I'm not part of him. Oh. Oh, right. Oh, did you but get, if you get back. I hmm, thought maybe. I thought you got accepted back into your perch. No, I think he's if got I to get spent food. Your and he points at the bag. Right. To get food. Yeah, he's got to, like, get money and stuff, which I have it now. You know. I mean... No. I definitely As they're talking with Bosch. Especially, especially, especially have, now that we more, found out there's traders. We you have, have more like, money than you know what to do. Outside, like, you don't even know how okay, much money so I have, first off. That, and second have, off... You rated two separate, separate cities. cities. You don't know that. You don't know that. Yeah. You don't know that. I do that. No, you don't. Only Veronica's character knows. That's it. That's true. Who's Veronica? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, true. You mean Edme? She's not here. Edme's, Edme's... Oh, so you just admitted it. Only Edme knows, but now I know because he told me that. No. You 
<laughs> are sitting there watching them <laughs> discuss and stuff. You're kind of panicking and stressed out. Mm-hmm. When suddenly a familiar feeling comes upon you. A purple hue starts to come in and the whispers start to fade in through the, the walls. Through the humming of all of the bugs, you hear the voices of hundreds of thousands of people. I'm going to try to focus on that more. Make a wisdom saving throw. Mm. Well, but I, because, you know, now that there's traitors out there, we have to keep some gold. Especially. Fucking oh, oh, That's gonna be a 19. 19? Yes. Alright. Let's freaking go. We can go. Let's go. Let's freaking okay. go. So. You start focusing on the mark that she put on your forehead. Mm-hmm. This time I'm locked in. You're locked in with your with your high roll. Mm-hmm. You're focusing, you close your eyes, you immediately like go right to your meditative stance. You just kind of sit down and start mm-hmm. meditating on this. You've done this before. You're starting to learn this. You're starting to get this. So. And you open your eyes as the whispers do actually, they're still there, but they subside. Like, be quiet. And you open your eyes and you see standing in front of you be 10 feet out like in in front of one of just behind one of your teammates is a woman in black with a black veil over her face black around her eyes with purple glowing and she she looks down on you and she says i must say your your shifting is going to get you in a lot of trouble if we don't get that under control and she feels more there than she was ever before. What do you mean shifting? Shifting what? A while ago. I don't know what caused it. People started shifting to some place called the Shrine. And then she puts her hand out. The whole place around you kind of unravels and disappears. And it's as if you're floating in this space again. This zero gravity purple landscape where there are just these purple nebulas swirling over one another like distant Can you rivers. Make it purple? I can try. <laughs> you can make it purple. The lighting is crazy. Just leave the top lights on and change these lights to purple. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. I love purple. <laughs> purple, please. All right. There's a little purple. bit of purple. So. You go into the space, and she stands there as it all kind of disappears. And then suddenly, she kind of puts her hands back towards her, and her whole visage washes away with purple powder. And then she's standing there, like a very similar visage to you, a woman, kind of well-fit, dressed as a monk, um, but different than you, um, in the face structure. And then she kind of sits down in the same stance as you. Let's focus together. Focus on the shroud. Calm yourself. Focus out the sound. Can I... And she begins to meditate. I have so many questions, but I feel like... I feel like Dartha's gut would definitely be like, alright, we're just gonna do this. Like, she saved me. If you I have think a question, I can trust can her. Ask. I wanna... I need to go to the shroud. I need to go to the shroud to find and bring back... Um, Kalgan. And as you say Kalgan, you hear a distant voice. Dartha, please! Save me! I need you! And it is Kalgan's voice. And she kind of opens her eyes after trying to go into that meditation. Mm-hmm. I intend to teach you how to go into the shroud on your own. Oh my you all have been shifting into the shroud. Yes. But the shroud is dangerous. It is... Mm-hmm. Like going into an ecosystem that you do not understand. If you touch something poisonous and die, you could stumble into a predator's nest and die. So it's a whole another world? I've traveled to Shroud my whole... Not whole. But for a while. It's hard to keep track here. And all this time, I believe I'm starting to understand what this place is. It is where all of consciousness stems from is where all of consciousness goes. And she kind of 
pulls one of those orbs out of the sky that are nearby where you guess your friends would be. Mm-hmm. And it looks like a star. Like you can see like white plasma, like a white mm-hmm. dwarf kind of going around. And she holds it and then she tosses it towards you and it just floats across this zero G space in your hand. Focus on it. And you start focusing on it and you can kind of hear a voice coming out of it. You can hear something. And you close your eyes. And then you open them again, and you're looking out of Orin's eyes. And you're seeing what Orin is seeing. And you're hearing what Orin is hearing. And you're seeing what he's saying. You're experiencing what Orin experiences through his consciousness. Okay. And so you're seeing him (laughs) apparently (laughs) fighting (laughs) Sigurd. We're tussling right now. We're talking to... You don't. It's like when his brotherly fights. We're we're talking to the guy. I think that like after that experience... I get it. Dartha gets it. And so I feel like she like steals herself. She breathes in, she breathes out, and like she just gets ready. And she's like, okay, I'm ready to vote. First off though, what is your name? Who are you? My name is Lysara. Mm-hmm. I once worked in Unity as a researcher for the king. Um, shortly before everything began failing. There were strange anomalies, people who were calling of visions of purple. I began researching and, of course, I was the head of my division and I was the first here to discover the Shroud. When everything fell apart, I gave myself to the Shroud. I went full into it, lost my body, and now I'm here. I've been traveling over these last 229 years. Finding people like you, finding what makes people gifted with the ability to shift into the shroud. Mm-hmm. I believe it's a gene that people are born with. But it's hard to pinpoint because, and she kind of looks towards the group, which you can kind of see like their white orbs. And for a moment, like the purple dust and nebula dust in the air kind of gathers to form what your friends look like. And then Vashka kind of like, outlines more prominently and she says Ashka is showing signs of being shrouded mm-hmm. though he is not nearly as strong as you you are unique I have even discovered someone as strong as you and I think it has something to do with why your brother is still out there calling I think he's a trap a trap? And then she kind of looks around. We can't talk long. Predators are coming. And she kind of stands up and turns back into her uh, form with the black veil. And she says, But I need to be clear with you. You're going to Bridgedale. I can tell. Mm-hmm. Yeah, do not go meditate. to Bridgedale. <laughs> No I think it's time I tell you a little bit about what I've been watching. The hive. They're strange. They started showing up a little while ago. Really started making waves in the shroud in a very strange way. I believe they communicate through the shroud. I think it's how they maintain this vast hive mind and speak over vast distances. But when you get close to a hive, they saturate the area with some kind of energy or or noise. It is it's so difficult to focus. Mm-hmm. And I've come to believe that they saturate it to improve like the latency of their communications. So when you go near there, you might slip. And just know that that is the most dangerous place to slip. I haven't seen them shifting into the into the shroud. But there are there are things that like to linger near there. Noise calls predators, so be careful. Mm. And then she kind of, you hear like a distant roar kind of echoing through the space that kind of cuts through all the voices and she kind of looks down and you see something almost like pulling entire masses of these white dots behind its hand, pulling it like a brick trying to climb a wall as it is just climbing through this space. You can see it's 
insect somewhat, but it is massive and bipedal and has long stretching arms with long fingers that end with sword like claws. And it is starting to claw its way out from behind a purple nebula as the woman looks and then looks at you. Be safe. And then she throws her arms and the whole place flashes with purple and you are thrusted back into your body and you wake up as your friends are talking with Vashka. So, um, do you like, do you, what kind of corn do you guys grow? What if they don't, eat, they're raiders, bro. They don't even grow food anymore. Like, well, you know, what if the raiding like thing they're, doesn't they're work out? they're saying this and all I hear is just like a there's, high-pitched sound. There's no way. It's yeah, you're definitely like, having like a They would be dead if it's you're, you're coming out. back. And then all you're starting to hear is that humming. Mm-hmm. Yo, I really wish um, these bugs would like leave. Yeah, how I long do these things okay. stay here for? Um, no, they, they, they don't want to attack like this. I, I, I don't know. All right, Malachi, bust out the mid chili. Orin, they, 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 they're we looking should, for something. We, we don't know. What could they? What, what do they <gasps> usually oh. look for? I've only seen groups four, five, maybe. Oh. I walk up to Dartha. Dartha, can I see the bag, <clears throat> the bag of holding, please? Or what? I need to test something. Test what? If, if they're looking for the bag. Do you have a permit for that? Uh, yes, you're in my ship. Uh, Thank you. Now very, I have thank the you bag. very much. Right. Just go put it by the window and then like move it like Listen, left and right. Um, like, wax the adults out. need to talk. I'm literally like, I'm gonna. You know what? Just go. Just go do what I tell you to do mm-hmm. and Orin, figure I it need out. To talk with you. About what? Um, figure it out. Give I me the. Had, give me the damn bag then. Vision. I'm taking the bag off of her. Okay. I just like give it to him. I, I honestly, I see that he's about to take it, and then I throw it to the other corner. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jesus Christ! You're such a pain in my ass. God. Who the hell is Jesus Christ? <laughs> yeah, true. I don't know. Do you know it, just, it just rolled off the tongue. I don't know about Jesus. It rolled. It, I thought it rolled you off could. the tongue. <laughs> <laughs> After Every <I> Sunday, <laughs> the Christians aren't gonna watch anymore, guys. <laughs> After I die, we're losing our fan base. Oh no. Okay. Um, okay. So. Um. So I recant. I was like, I had, I had another vision, and I, I got some more information, but where we're going is really bad, and it's, it's, it's really bad for me specifically. So you're saying we shouldn't go there, or we should? We have to go there, but. So this isn't a should or shouldn't, it's a must or must not. It's a must. Okay. But, um... Must not, I think. I don't know, I don't know if you guys have Ooh. realized when I just, like, I like disappear. Waving the bag on the window. Do I, like, disappear? Do, they, like, huh? Do I disappear in real life, or is it just like I'm frozen? No, she was there. Like, you were just there. sitting You down. were just, like, on the ground meditating. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I definitely would have, like, pointed and laughed. I will say that time when you guys are watching her there was like almost like a purple glow behind her eyelids let's be honest here I was not paying attention you weren't paying attention but if Sigurd pointed it was a very subtle glow I'm just gonna keep it to myself I don't don't think I don't see a need to bring it up what what should we be looking out for um I pull out the stuff I just might the scepter? Apparently, mm-hmm. I, Just a I've been a doing this thing where I I shift. <laughs> you pull it out. Only the button. Okay, this, but I'll, I'll like, answer your question about the bag. When you were putting the bag around, they weren't the, coming to That's why I'm pulling out the staff. The so you pull out the staff. Which is where I need to go yeah. in order to find Kelgan. You wave it around. But for now, so do they think where, it's, where is the they, shroud they in relation actually, to They like, actually, they do somewhat respond to it. Where um, you can definitely tell, like to your brain. They are following it. Not like... So behind like it's not eye. deterring the whole mass or the whole flock, sure. but yeah. like the ones who see that. it are like. Okay. Mm. Um, I put it back in the bag, and you put it back in the bag, and they they still are just trying to get to you. Like, I turn okay. off well, the machine. Well, I'm all for close the window. I the light. don't really like being in Blightwood, so I'm close fine the doors. putting that off for now, mm. and going to Bridgedale. Yeah, I think going to Bridgedale. We we have to do it, but. We need to do it fast. We need to think of a plan. Ah, 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 ah. What's our... No, 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 no. I walk up. I'm fine hearing this. We cannot deviate from Blightwood first. This is way more Why? Important. Edmay's not even here. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Edmay, we are going to Blightwood. 
Yeah, we'll go to Blaywood no. after we go to Bridgedale. No, that's that's just not happening. Isn't Bridgedale on the way to Blaywood? Yes. yes. No. Can we just go through Bla or Bridgedale, get to Blaywood? I don't know if it's that simple. Well, let's go to Bridgedale first. Let's let's I let's think that's a sus terrible idea. let's suss out the area. What do you think, Malachite? What do you know about Bridgedale, brother? Oh, well. I, my expedition only went there once, but what I do remember it's fucked, is I wouldn't it? mind getting some revenge on these bugs. Well, we need to keep our hazmat suits on, I think. Likely. Or make masks. Right now. Yeah. yeah. Well, it seems like we're going to be spending quite some time here regardless, so... We might as well bunker down. I sure hope Kingsley's okay. I, I look out the window... I'm like trying to peer through it's, to see the tent. You cannot see through the, I close the, the swarm. I close the swarm. bugs outside. Are they still trying to get in? Yeah. Yeah. Are they following the bag? Um, yeah. Make perception checks. If, no. if you, if, because they were chatting. Can I do it with advantage because I wasn't chatting? Sure. Do you want me to, well I didn't do it stealthily. You were doing your thing up there, um, so you're busy. Mine's not good. 19. Oh, is that what you, oh, this is. So he's up front doing that, and you're kind of in the back mm -hmm. with your meditation. You notice there's a lot more clinking in the back of the vehicle. Towards her? Yeah. I think they're looking for her. I mean, you might not put that together, but you would notice that they are it's in the back of the vehicle. Dark. Well, as soon as I, well, I wouldn't be meditating after that. I'd probably, I'd probably you're, be pacing. Yeah. Actually, uh, I, okay, so you uh, I listen to. <laughs> they're just <laughs> following. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> so they're following Dartha? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think they they're here me? for her. So, well, okay, okay, I have a great not, idea. Though. To be honest, like, like. Just kick her out and then we. They, we can't they, do that. We could. They don't exactly we have a lot of know your location. Say. One, so. one for the great good. Following. I think that's a, a good but idea. But they're like, yeah, when I you, can't when really you protect all of them from up front just they by were in myself. The back. And they probably stayed in the back and are staying in the back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can. But when you woke up, they stopped like necessarily. Okay. I need two walls. Darth Me is not that bright, so I don't think Dorothy. she put two and two together. I sure. wouldn't really consider mm -hmm. her a wall. I would more consider her like a fence. Maybe a fence gate. A fence, a fence still works more than no fence. I, I mean, yeah, I guess wall, that's true. I can give you a wall. Right, we have we have our new wall right there. Well, Darth, so are you guys just the chilling in here for a few hours? What do you mean? Well, that means I'm I kicking think, you out yeah. and leaving. I mean, <laughs> I'm not going out there. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys chill, and then gonna, you feel I'm gonna like stay no, by the door. Sooner or later, the sun is going to start. I'm going to I'm going to drive. Oh, you're going to start driving towards. Wait, what about the other machine? That's what I'm. I have a plan. Well, the sun is gonna rise up. I think that I'm gonna we see should... if I can kill any of them while just walking. No, well, I think that we should probably. <gasps> oh, I have the best idea. Oh, I'm gonna ram into the big machine. Only leg. because it is. Why? Like, Don't do they're... that. Just like hard, not, not hard. They're a hive mind. Yeah, right. We can kill some of them. Also, I need. So you're gonna in crash into the other machine. Not exactly. Reason? Like it's more like like you know how like if you do like when you do a love tap to like your friend's bumper when sure. you park really close. You know, I'm doing Granted, that. Granted, that one, like, the the bulk of the hole is, like, 200 feet Right, up. yeah, I'm just hitting, So you're like, kind of hitting uh, the leg. Yeah. Okay, so, Corey, you'd no, be wouldn't. hitting, like, the back of its knee. And then... Which is, like, end. probably the worst place you could hit something. Like, actually... What if I do it from the front of the knee? And then I won't you, the vehicle is technically... <laughs> Are there magic, any really, really right? large trees? So, like, it, it would actually do Are there damage. any really, really large <laughs> trees? Uh, or, like, a rock... Oh! Just, I'm driving straight into... Well, you're... It's 80 feet. There's tons of trees that are... I'm driving straight into the mountain. Like, I'm going to please. ram the mountain. No, please. This doesn't it's sound not, like a good idea. Like we're killing a no, lot of bugs, please. and it's not hurting the ship at all because the mountain is not damn angle. magical. Yeah, if you tip this I, shit I, over, I would argue that there are some three. mountains that are magical. Not this one right here. Perhaps yours. Perhaps mine. Well, it's a good thing I'm not hitting mine, the mountain anyway. of your wall. We're not We're not by there anymore. Yeah. Hey, you know what, also, dude? I'm getting out. I don't think there's enough of a flat side to just... I think there probably is. I can probably find one. I don't think so. You're going to, like... Whoa! Oh, that got right fast. I don't believe so. The locusts all leave at once, but, dude, I swear. Sigurd, I think they're a hive mind. <laughs> they they can communicate with each well, other. Yeah, I, I thought we figured that out in the cave, but, no? But about an hour before sun begins to rise, you do notice the swarm. Oh, I, I'm sleeping then. Fly I, away. I need to get my, my rest then. If we're, if we're not moving, then I sleep for the other and four they hours. Fly away, assumingly towards Bridgedale. Mm hmm.
And morning. So you sleep for the next like couple hours. Yeah, right. I didn't get and then you guys rest. sleep a little bit into the morning. I didn't probably. get my long rest because I'm just staying up. we had to wake up. Okay. You're just staying up. So I need mine. As far as attack plans, I think we look at Bridgedale. If it's like, if it's like ground hornets, then I think that we can kill a lot by putting I fire down there. And even if the fire doesn't hurt them. Well, does fire hurt him? I thought we established fire did hurt them, but I think radiant. radiant. Well, fire didn't definitely hurt them, but radiant was extra. Would really hurt. So, them. what do we have that we can just like? Can we make some sort of a radiance bomb and put it in the hole? Do you know how to make holy water, just Malachite? Vesemir would know about that. Do I know how to? Do, do I know how to make holy water? I'm a cleric. I, I mean, I it makes like sense to me. If anyone could make holy it water, would be it'd be cleric, so I, like, I don't have anything in my notes about making holy water. I'm going. I'm going to the class. So. Yeah, definitely don't it like would make more sense to me that clerics can make it, and not paladins. I don't know. <laughs> I would think that as well. That would make sense. To but me. morning comes, as you all notice, the humming is gone and the sun is rising. Let me roll the weather. Yes. Roll that weather chart. Wait, I don't have you that. Roll that mild Please weather with sunny, no clouds. Sunny. Yeah, sunny. Roll that sunny. Mild, no mild breeze with um, no clouds. Okay, to make a holy flask, a cleric or paladin may perform a special ritual. It takes an hour to perform. It uses twenty-five gold worth of powdered silver, and it requires the caster to expend a first-level spell slot. So you, could, you could make numbers. holy water, mm -hmm. but we don't have any powdered silver. Do you well, have any silver coins? Leave it to me, pal. Mm. I mean, it's not, not publicly, no. We do not have any public silver coins. I'm just saying that out of character. This is not an in character. I have silver saying, coins. You do, you have silver Are you coins? saying oh, that okay. you have silver yes. coins, but you're I not have sharing? Seagward is not sharing. Right, okay. Yes, that is correct. How much can you make? I you have need 345 silver pieces. So, so, so it is. How many silver like, coins? Say, say they're like an ounce a piece. Which 25? No, you would have to. You need twenty-five. You would have to smash up twenty-five silver coins. Tw twenty-five gold worth of silver. Yes, twenty-five oh. gold. So, so you need two hundred and fifty gold. You need two hundred and fifty, or two hundred fifty silver. Yeah. Oh, so, I, have, I have some. I actually, I have public silver. I think. I mean, I mean, actually, I I I checked the uh the bank. You you guys. Open no, never mind. Just gold and platinum. That's all I grind. It is a heavy wind outside. We okay. have ten minus ten movement today on foot. Oh man! Just keep that in How mind. How about minus ten only moving west? <laughs> does Plus does that, that does that in no minus ten movement? Does that apply to the ships? Um, it will slow down the ships. Okay, is yeah. it that's sunny? fine. It is sunny. Thank is Vashka still on the ship? Yes, he is. Yeah. Hey Vashka, are you going to be hanging out with us for a little while? You're more than welcome to. I mean, Do you, you it doesn't seem like things? you can go back home, so. I mean, we already have a ragtag bunch of group, so why, what's what's another one person to our eight people that we just saved, right? Yep. True. What's another mouth to feed? We have a, a guy who can create food for everyone. So it actually, what, what is another mouth to feed, actually? <laughs> <laughs> Unironically, we can do that. He, he like, um... Pulls a stick out of his bag and he puts it in his hand, and then he holds it out and you watch a bunch of berries. Good berries. Good berries. Good Take berries. one. Oh wow! It's almost like oh yes, ruined. I want a berry. <laughs> no, 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 no. Wait, delicious. Vashka, I have a question. Were you by any chance that owl that was hooing while he was definitely the past owl. few nights? Did you not see him turn Name into the owl? I, I did not know. I. Seen him mm. near the city, mm. followed him home, mm. and then the giant machines walked up. Us, yeah. I couldn't help but be interested in that. Well, it's a good thing you showed yourself, because the next time we heard the owl who, we were gonna go on a manhunt and find you, because it was it was upsetting one of our party members, and she was going insane from it. But I think there's yeah, also another I'm thing. Sorry. No, it's not your problem. It's not your fault. She has mental problems right now because she's like cursed or something. Um, it's okay. Sigurd has mental problems. All right. The time. That's because I died. That's because I died. She didn't yeah. die. She just yeah, like she. has someone in her head too. I mean, I had someone in my head too once, but like he's dead now. I'm gonna go break down the tent. 
Uh, yeah, that's a good idea. It's right, gonna go take and break down the tent. <laughs> Ten minutes. You go what about in there and you don't see kids. I go, Kingsley. Hello. What? Kingsley. And then you see the door to the bathtub area open up. Are you back? Yeah. Oh, thank God, I was terrified. Oh. Some of them started coming through the door. What? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I, we didn't really know what the fuck was happening. So. Well. Sorry, I didn't. I didn't think they would come in here. Honestly. Well, they were sticking their clothing underneath the bottle. Hmm. That's my word. But I hid. I'm okay. Okay. Well, you deserved yourself a nice time in the void that you usually live in. Thanks, sir. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. I'm used to it. Bye. See you soon. It'll probably be a second for you. Yep. All right. See you. Good luck, sir. Thank you. you keep the tent. <laughs> he vanishes into the void. <clears throat> I, I start. I start. Like, I stand there for a second. I'm like, man, that sucks. <laughs> The I turn on the small ship. All right, the small ship is turned on. on. I'm gonna pray to my God. You are praying. Make a religious check. Religion check. I pack up the tent. Pack it up, and I also pray. Make, make a religion it. check. Does this thing have a horn? I'm gonna look for the buttons on something that looks like it would be like a speaker sound, like like something that would look like it was on the turntable that uh, Davin had. Were you what? In the ship. Does it have a horn? I want to look for a horn. If it has a horn button. The oh the vehicle yeah, yeah. um because I haven't really like looked at every button up make an intelligence check nine. nine you you pray you are getting closer to Opar and so you're feeling like it's almost like sometimes when you pray you almost kind of like can see through the mountains and look so towards there and you almost see like this golden visage of a tree where Opar stands it brings warmth to your heart fifteen fifteen mm -hmm. um yep. Yeah. You managed to find a button on your like general uh, captain station that would be a horn. I press it. You guys hear the loudest fog horn. Really? As we're going, as we're going. You see the trees. Down. Nobody told me anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, Jesus. I'm probably in my own world. I'm like stealing myself, but you're going to the big really ship because we're right by the big ship, right? I'm assuming that you're going to the big ship, no? Because you have to drive the big ship. Yeah. We have to drive them both. Yeah. So I was assuming I that so. while he went to go down to take the tent down, you also probably followed to go into the big ship with him. Like, if someone know. like told me like Darth, are you going there? I probably would snap out of it, but I'm probably like just zoned out. Oh, uh, well, then the horn will wake you up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I jump. I, I'm, and I was doing I, it for him mostly. I immediately start to yell at you, Sigurd. That is the most ridiculous thing. Why would you do that right now? Well, why? I didn't, I didn't know any what it does. Possible reason. Look it. It, it's a big red button. Of course, I'm gonna hit it. Would you not hit right it? Right now, yeah. when we need to remain stealthy. Nobody told me we had to remain stealthy, and also I didn't know it was gonna make well, a giant loud noise. I guess this is why you don't and deserve this is to, why be you don't deserve yeah. to be captain. You look, you look, you look get, out the get window. Get back in your ship. I, I'm annoyed That's of it. hearing your voice. You, you look, you look out the window Please and you do. just see Goodbye. Warren like. <laughs> I'm gonna hit it again. <laughs> Are you kidding? That's it. I'm done. I'm leaving. I, I look I'm up the like, entire way. I'm just. Like, I just wave. And I, I, I just like point down. And I'm like, like that. <laughs> Bashka goes to the small one. Oh, so he's, he's, he's hanging out with me. Let's yeah. go. So that's the one that he stayed in last night, so he's most comfortable there. Yeah. And it's less, it's inside. less uh, radioactive too. It's probably sure. better for him. Well, he's like, we did some work on the big one, right? So, nah, true. Which nah, you guys yeah. did stay a night. Yeah. In there, so I need everyone to make Constitution saving throws. Just one. Yippee. Also, oh, I got nice. a nine on my religion check. Oh, um, I got a nineteen. Yippee. Yeah, kind of. A cold shoulder effect. He's he's mourning still. He's very silent. He's bad. You like, oh, well, I, when I you're can leaving, tell he's, Liz, there. I threw, he's still I there. I threw the yeah. bag of holding back to you because I forgot to return it last night. All so right. I just just and it probably doesn't yours? make it all the way because I'm not that strong. Um, mine is actually a 17. <laughs> all right, you pass. 24. 19. Is it a save or just save? Save. Constitution. Constitution. You fine. Because you were on the smaller one. Yeah. I, one day we cleaned it a little bit. All right. So you all pile into your vehicles. Mm -hmm. Yep. And you begin heading towards Bridgedale. Oh, yeah. I'm going to put on my suit. 
All right, you put on your suit. Yeah. Well, also, I'll go over to the big one with some of the dwarves and also put on the suit. All right. I need another constitution saving throw from everyone. For I, the, I yes. also put my suit on. I'll give my suit to somebody in the big uh, okay. vehicle since I'm not wearing it right now. Wow. Ooh, I rolled 19 on the dice. Let's I go. Rolled, 24. I um, rolled two, two dice with the exact same roll, um, and I got a nine. Yeah, what about any save? Fails. Was that with your save? I got <laughs> mutated last time, and my constitution got permanently lowered. That's what it was? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Um, con lowered by two. Ooh. Oh, wow. Oh, that's mm -hmm. that's and I'm terrible. vulnerable to force damage. Yeah, that doesn't happen. That was not, yeah, that, that was that pretty rare. That was pretty Fire rare. in the you campaign take, with the devils? You take five <laughs> points of poison oh, damage. Yeah, that's not five? Bad. Okay. Yeah. What did you get? Uh, 22. 24. 19. Yep, you are all fine. Woo. So. You guys begin heading towards Bridgedale, and you can see a city on the horizon heading towards toward, out of this valley. You can see the broken edges of like tall, almost skyscraper-like buildings in the center that kind of go out into a more urban environment around the outskirts. And beyond, and just at the outskirts, you can almost see kind of what looks like a metal wall kind of surrounding it, broken in various places, and a big gate that kind of goes up around the highway that kind of comes in the center. And you see, before you even get to the city or the outskirts, fields and fields and fields and fields and fields and fields and fields, and fields, and fields of crops grown and basically ready to harvest and make perception checks. I'm judging, I I'm judging their out. technique hard. I have my binoculars out right now. Okay, with advantage then. Ooh. 19. 19. So, how are these crops look? 21. Oh. 21. Perception? You don't know the intricacies of the farming technique. Seventeen. Seventeen. Mm -hmm. Ten. Ten. Okay. I see well. I do. I so do. you're I looking at the farming, farming techniques, and this is an unkept farm. I mean, it's not unkept. I'm they're not standing there disapprovingly. <laughs> um, I mean, there it, there isn't many people here to keep the farm. It looks like it's been overgrown in various portions, but you do notice, and you notice this too. You would as well, <laughs> but you notice as you're kind of looking at it, and you're seeing like the unkept part and then it turns into a more kept part of the field and you guys notice in that same part of the field there is a small circle where there is a bunch of this um what looks like a silver rye is in this field there is a part where it's all cut down and you see just kind of like this metal figure with a scythe just out there cutting these this rye down probably a mile Mile and a half out there. Oh my god, I'm like, he's what out I've, there. When I've seen one of these on my trip to Bridgedale, you Bridge did. And he, he also, and ours that are following. Oh no, I did. I do remember seeing and I ignored it, right? Yep. Ours, yeah, too, that we have we have two that follow our big ship. Hey, Malico. Well. So yeah. sometimes they. What's that guy control. over there? Um, not sure. I. I can't see. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm on. When I came to Bridgedale last time, it left me alone so i decided to leave it alone all right i mean we were coming for supplies so you know we came to the fields and we harvested some crops and left pretty much hmm. or that was the intent uh, how's this how's this scything technique it's pristine it's pretty good it's, it's a bit slow like you can see like when he's done he kind of takes a second and then he goes it's like he's goes right back into like a perfect rhythm but then he has to stop for a second there's a pause damn he's all right <laughs> <laughs> but the technique is perfect <sighs> such damn, consistency pretty good <laughs> but he's out there but... Let, let's see paul allen's uh, farming robot yeah right <laughs> um the the field is unique like you were growing like normal crops wheat and stuff this is you could tell it's like wheat or rye but it has like a silver Black to it, like it, it's right. silver. And, and as the, the wind, wind kind of goes through it, it looks like a rolling field of silver. I want to talk to the robot, dude. You want to talk to the robot? Hike out there and talk to the robot. Dartha, can I talk to the man out there? <laughs> I mean, it's 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 daylight, so I don't think they're gonna come out. How far away but... from the city are we? Like, how much time would this really Probably cost like me? A mile out. Okay. And this highway just kind of goes down, down and you, you see, see on the other side, side there's other there's types of props. You can see what looks like a field of maybe some kind of root vegetable. Um, and then another one that's like a cabbage patch for miles. Do you think I could talk to this scythe wielder? 
A cabbage patch. I don't think patch. the scythe wielder is going to talk to you. I like cabbage. But what if he I'm does? Gonna collect some yeah. cabbage. I'm going to go. Um, I want to do some harvesting. I, wanna, I, talk to I want to inquire about But as, this as you're kind of getting to this area, way. like, are still you guys walking on the highway? Still on our big ships, so. yeah. Yeah. As, as you start getting, getting to the farmland, farmland the highway farm begins going up onto like a overpass formation and the, the farm state down. I park. So you park before you even get onto the yeah. bridge. Is it, is it, are the oh, crops over here? driving checks or not? Yeah, go ahead and make oh, intelligence Richard. checks for me. Are the, the crops the over cup. here? Like right next to it, like right before yeah, the bridge? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So all the entire left side of the highway is made up of this silver wheat. And then the right is kind of split down in half between the root vegetable and the oh, and I, cabbage. I get on. I park on the left side. No. Your, your intelligence. Uh, so that's gonna disadvantage. Be a... Did you roll? Really oh, you have advantage because Omega. Yeah. It's a twelve. Well, uh, a fifteen. You don't manage to crash or make it fall over. I mean, you're a little slow. It's a little windy You didn't have to cover much ground. So. It's a little windy. Yeah, it's, a little windy. It's, it's the wind I, that's pushing us around. I excitedly <laughs> take off my suit and just. Yeah, I'll park on the side by the cabbage and the other whatnot, and I'm gonna, okay. go, I'm gonna go attempt to collect some of that. All right, I know, you I guys know what I'm doing. descend down your your ladders, and uh, initially you're kind of surrounded by rusted cars. Okay, I'm kind of check parking this out. I've at never the end of the highway. Before. I've never seen a rusted car up close, so I gotta check this shit out. Yeah, I want to do an investigation on them as well. This is go a ahead, new, make new, new stuff I've never seen in my life before. And you see a lot of them are like piled on top of each other, like they like they fell out of the sky and landed on top of each other. Do they have wheels? Um, sort of. So it, it kind of is like there's a mechanism where the wheels would be, but it, it you don't see like rubber wheels or anything, and it looks like there's um a small opening that kind of jets out some kind of. Oh, they're flying! They were flying cars. That's crazy. Uh, investigation, right? Six. I mean, they're they're rusted old machinery. It's kind of like a rust bucket to you, but it, it has the general shape of like a car that we know and love. However, it it definitely follows a different system um there are no wheels you don't see like any pipes for emissions i got an 18. Um, 18. I, would, I might be able to say that like this carried something yeah you, you'd be able to gather that this is a form of transport um 18 you are looking at the wheels and you're like whoa and you kind of like immediately run to the hood and somehow you kind of like gather like this must be where the engine's at and you pop the hood and you look and you see not too dissimilar from like the uh generator you seen mm. in the mine oh. although a much more tight fit like uh more pleasant to look at system and you do see a spot where a fuel cell would go a similar cell to that you have nothing our panel flux cell um is there anything in this one no no it is empty all, and all the cars look about the same rusted amount as I about have. yeah so and you can tell like i'm gonna the, the general body is like rusted terrible. pretty decent condition like there's a lot of points here that show no sign of rust or wear um and same with like the wheels like there's parts of it that are just in perfect mint condition i'm gonna uh hey orin i scream as well. i'm like about to enter the field i'm like <laughs> when you yeah. have when you have a minute can you help me get this thing out of here this is like crazy how this is still in pristine condition um yeah all right I, yeah sure. just in a minute i gotta collect some fruit and veg or some cabbages and whatnot so you okay talk to you later yeah and i run over to the harvest man yeah i'm gonna go start harvesting now all right so, so you start, start booking it into the field it takes you a minute he's a bit out there is there anything you guys want to do while he books it out there <laughs> collect cabbage potatoes i'll collect well, the cabbage. potatoes are like more oh, towards I, town. I thought you were thinking just like right and left. okay no. well, i'll like... get whatever is cool i'll get it, so, so it's, it's like the cabbage and then the wheat i'll get some wheat Okay. Yeah. What are you doing? I almost want to stay. And you guys can get literally as much as you want. I'm not gonna like make you get a check because it is miles of this. Like even if you keep fucking up, eventually you're gonna get enough to fill. So you guys pick amongst how many pounds you want to carry of this shit. Five. Keep in mind that you do have a pound. Yeah. I. Like probably like five. Have my big gun out. And I am waiting, I think, like the whole time, because they're, like, running out there. I'm going to stay behind well, we have, them. Um, how close the, did the they the park the... We have a 5x5 five five um, box and a 2 They're, like, right at the beginning of the These park. two are, like, right before okay. the highway okay. begins the ascending. Gotcha. We have... I'm going to stay at, like, one, the, two. We have two bags of the top point of the Mine, highway, or, like, above them stuff, almost, so okay. and, like, just watch the sky. So you're, like, standing on the ramp? Yes, I am guard. I empty, except for... As soon as, like... 
anything comes out, I'm ready. So, we have right. so you're kind of just standing guard, gun ready, just waiting, waiting for anything, anything to go. Yeah. Or just, I think it's like 100 or something. Which, unfortunately, you have a mutation that if you're dashing, you have to roll deck saves every time or you fall. You walk. So you have to walk out there. So that takes you like a half hour. <laughs> I, do, did you like 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 say that you're going? Yeah. Well, haste only lasts a minute, so never mind. I was gonna I was gonna haste you, but it's not even worth it. It's only a minute. Um, so you, you know, speed walk yeah, over there like a grandma. Five hundred pounds. And you get up there, and you see it is probably like a, a very slender, nine foot tall machine robot, and his pieces look ramshackle and like. They, they don't, don't look like they're like what it's supposed to be, like, like ramshackle pieces thrown on him. Like and he kind of stands there with this long scythe, and he kind of stops once he realizes you. No. And he has like a uh, kind of like a a screen that goes across like this with like a blue hue to it. And he looks at you. Hello. Hi. Hi. Well, how how are you? I'm good. Oh, cool. Are you hungry? Yeah, I, I could eat. I have been working for a long time. Please enjoy any gestures towards a very large barn that's kind of sitting off to the side. And you see the doors are open and it is just overfilled with harvested grain. Just pouring out of this massive barn. And you see an additional barn next to that. Thank you. Um, and make a perception check. Uh, thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. But you do see you do see those barns. Um, I came to inquire uh, about this silver rye you're growing. Hmm. Silver grain. Yes. What do you wish to know? Um. What What is it? I've never seen it before. He kind of goes down to some of the ones that he just pulled, and he pulls up. The grain and kind of crushes in his hand, and you see it. It looks like a silvery powder that kind of flecks away into the wind. This is a genetically modified plant to produce the tastiest and sweetest of bread, and it is climate resistant. It can grow in any climate. Boy, yo, 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 yo. <laughs> <laughs> this man's rock hard with his um, eternal beans. What, what do you? Th this is amazing. Um, I'm. I am a. I come from farming, and oh, my family, yes. and my family before like, them. Um, this. <laughs> do you have any silver <laughs> grain to spare that I could grow in my hometown? Please take all you wish. Oh. I am the last. Thank you. I kind of bows. Is, could I give you something for this? I, I feel bad almost. Feed as many as you can. Okay. I have I lost many harvesting this. Do not let them be in vain. I'm sorry. That's that's very sad. Enjoy it. Thank you. What what can I call you? You can call me R9. R9. Okay, R9. Thank you. And I, I go over to the, uh, to the barn. Yeah, you go over there, and as you get over there, you notice numerous dead robots all over the ground, um, pulled apart in different pieces, like they were being salvaged, and you know, and you just see them kind of laying around in front of the barn, and you get up to the barn, and it is a massive, massive like warehouse of just rain stores of it like this could feed oak heart for centuries <laughs> it's all grain yeah well yeah there's probably barns on the other side or um like the other fair crops. Well, do we see um, barns yeah place. you do they're, they're close to the highway like they're on the the edge okay so right. you had to come back it we took you a minute to get there but so the the barns are on the edge of the highway sorry so they're they're kind of like because the highway goes up on this thing here the barns are kind of like um, at the base of the highway, like kind of up against the okay, bridge where they okay. kind of go up. So mm. they're on the edge of the farms, right by the highway. Oh, okay. Do you? I, I walk back towards him. Do you have a? 
carts or something I could borrow. Not uh, he would he would have a cart. He's not hand carrying this. <laughs> so he does gesture to a large kind of like wheel barrel, like four wheeled cart that he kind of drags around. Would I be able to use this for? Sure. Thank Please you. return it, though. I, I will. Thank you. You're gonna take a half an hour to walk back. And yeah, I, I, I take it. it back. It's pretty heavy. Pretty heavy duty. Fuck. <laughs> I make my way over to the barn. You do. I'm... This is definitely like because it's like half hour to him, and then the barn's like a half hour back because it's by the highway. I wish I could run, dude. And you're you're carrying this thing this time, so it's probably 45 minutes back. So you get to the barn with the cart. It's probably pushing past an hour at this point. Fair. Then how long does it take for us? We're getting... We're getting 10 <laughs> pounds of cabbage and 20 pounds of wheat. How long would that take? About um, an hour? Probably. Okay. Probably around there. You guys got the space in your bags for I that? Wheat with it. Yeah, yes. he said he had a bag full there. I mean, to be honest, 10 pounds of cabbage is like 10 cabbages. Yeah, and so also like, like you guys have to- That's not gonna take long You do have to kind of eat this stuff at, at somewhat fast because it's not like a bag of clothing. True. So, yeah, but I mean, can, can did he have- for a while. Can it? Yeah, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't like go moldy immediately. It's pretty hardy to- well, There you do go. We have any Last vinegar? few minutes. No. Mm -hmm. Does, potatoes will uh, last a long time. Too. Starts having salad. Yeah, I know the potatoes would last a while. No, no, no. So are there kimchi? Uh, there you go. Do I just like grow the, the silver rye mm -hmm. from the grain, yeah. or are there like seeds? You could get it from the grain, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Yeah. The, I'm not a farmer. Will but fair. Ferment by itself. You, you actually don't have um, vinegar. It? You just need salt. Okay. We'll say this one. You can. This special salt is sacred. Okay. GMO. <laughs> Have you told us that yet? GMO. <laughs> okay, so we don't, um, we don't know that yet. So I guess I'll take. Well, yeah, no. I don't know. Um, but we we also need to weigh out those fucking cans that you got. Oh, true. Well, those cans? are in the bag of holding. I think. Those are what? All my. You got like foods. forty five something industrial cans of food that each one feeds like twenty Where people. You wrote oh, that down. Yeah. I think that one's in Noro's bag of holding. Where okay. should we put that? Because that one is empty except for the scepter in the bag. If it needs 20 one. people, I'm going to say each one is maybe what, like 10, 15, 15 pounds? Uh, 15, 20, yeah, probably around yeah. there. Yeah. Um, I and there's how many? To take there was, I believe, 45 of them. Because it was like, it was uh, like 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 17, 12. 15, 17, 12. So at 40 something. Yeah. Um, I'm going to take Fuck. 20 pounds there was 20 of them? grain. All right. How many is that? You easily do. You throw yeah, it out I'll of the barn onto second. your cart. And Does he you have like barrels or something? Or, like, yeah, sacks? There's, there's definitely like um, large. There's barrels, sure. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I'll fill up. Well, how much would a barrel hold of grain? A bushel. Yeah, what's a bushel? Yeah, how much is a bushel? <laughs> I'll search it. Google. If you're, if we're thinking, yeah, Google bushel. Size how many does a barrel? bushel feed? Well, a bushel's actually count. It wouldn't actually. Be it's a sixty pounds. A bushel of wheat is sixty pounds. Yeah. So I guess it can be used to make bushel. forty-five yeah. boxes okay. of wheat flake cereal, forty-two one and a half pound loaves of white bread, or ninety-one pound loaves of whole wheat bread. Let's do two. Two bushels. Two bushels. Two bushels. So you probably throw them on the pounds. ships. Well, yeah. we have the technology, brother. We got the pulley system. True. Well, we have an empty. Well, we could just empty the bag of holding. I'm rigging the pulley 120. system. <laughs> All right. So you spend probably a good amount of time bringing that over to the ship. Yeah. Probably push in hour 45, parked. You get there. Now it's time to start setting up the pulley system. <sighs> Guys, you start setting up a pulley system. <laughs> I need to return this card. I'll be back. <laughs> okay. That's at, another hour. Doing this, <laughs> I want to talk to Seekward about the joys of preserving vegetables. Okay. <laughs> and I want to talk to Seekward about the joys of pickling. All right. Pickling. The joys of pickling. Wait, I'm, 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 I'm probably pickling be interested culture. in this. This is like, yeah. this is like Darth new, is still just this like is new knowledge for me, so I will be standing up there watching. So, pickling and fermentation. As soon as I see like nothing is happening, I guess I go down there. Okay. 
Start mm. assisting them with yeah. the pulley I'll, and pickling conversation. Well, I'll, I'll, like, go into the big machine and, like, we can start hoisting stuff up there. For sure. Yeah. So, you hoist all right. up from the top. So, so, we're gonna put... So, I throw down the pulley. Easy enough. You guys manage to get all the supplies in there. And after an mm. hour, Oren makes his way back, walking through the field. I <laughs> say goodbye to Har9. Thank you for the grain. It was a pleasure. And the guards. Please come back for more. Just gonna I us for may... I may do that. Please do. Okay, I will. Bye. Good good Bye. day, Har9. I'm Orin, by the way. I don't know if I told you that. Okay. <laughs> we'll just remember that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and I, I'm like walking back. I'm like, yeah, he heard that. <laughs> I'm sure he did. I'm sure he did. <laughs> but you make your way back. I have a question. Yes. Will... 10 pounds of cabbage fit in a 3x3 three three box. Like the... That, I don't know. Yeah, it's only uh, like 10 cabbages. Right, so I figured it'd be like 10 cabbages and each cabbage just takes up le- a little bit less than one square sure. foot of space. Okay, so one of the 3x3s three three is filled with 10... Is filled, completely filled with cabbage. Well, 3x3, three three, how deep? 3x3x3? Three three three? That was, on, that was never specified. Yeah, you, know, you never... I just wrote... Cause it's I, a we, perfect cube. So, perfect cube. So 3x3x3 three okay. three three then? So you get 27 yep. square feet. So you got 27, 27 cubic feet. So you could fit approximately 27 cabbages. 27 cabbages? My cabbage! Okay, I'm gonna My stuff, cabbages! With, with the 10 pounds of cabbages, I'm going to stuff as much of the 20 pounds of wheat into that, that also that same box. And then whatever is left over. Why? Because the wheat's going to get wet. Because the cabbage is going to get wet. Especially if we're going to... I guess I would probably know that. Well, have we have we ever farmed cabbage ever? empty jars? Have we farmed cabbage at? No, you got en- empty alcohol bottles. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> have we farmed right. cabbage at his uh, farm ever? They'll no. have such a I don't thing. know. I think cabbage is pretty neck, pretty new. When I when popular. I get would anybody, back, would anybody in our group know that that we, we can't mix the two together? Probably what, not. Would Wait. I not know that? I mean, he's mixing a culinary like guy. Like, like he could probably thing, figure it out. What are we mixing? Jobs back up. Cabbage and wheat, putting like, the wheat in the same food. box as a cabbage. Like, I guess know, technically you would just make you would know that. Yeah. 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 You would know that. I know. I know that you, know you know have, you have to keep. I would know that. You were a religious chef. Okay, so so I know that. Okay, so so we have people that know because Seaward would not. know. I'm a knower. Okay, Seaward would not know. This is one of the very few things that Orin is a knower. Me and you be knowing. Okay, so also I come back. Did you guys even bother to set up the pulley system? I think that's what we're working on right now. Okay. And that's why I'm like, up, up. that's why I'm putting like the cabbage Thank meat you. three by threes. As, as you were climbing the ladder, oh. you heard footsteps walking on pavement. Oh. <laughs> and you look kind of down the highway, coming towards the machines, two robotic figures, one half cut off, and then you recognize oh. them. <laughs> 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 like, recognize These are the two started... robots that follow the machine around. Forgot about those yeah. guys. <laughs> yeah. They yeah, finally get by up. the bugs. <laughs> No, that one was cut off a while. I, I kind of always imagine them just like legitimately just sprinting after us. <laughs> no, they're at they walking walk. speed like the Terminator, just like. <laughs> I they were fucking oh, they would have they would no, they'd be like no. quicker than. Full tilt, man. <laughs> um, yeah, so we got the pulley system. Oh, yeah, but before we start the pulley system or before we set it down, I do climb all the way down because I'm going to need your help. Yeah, what's up? You want to grab it? Man. So. You see these vehicles, vehicular items. Oh. Uh-huh. They're rusty, right? Okay. But the inside, not rusty. All right. I want it. And you're going to get it for me. Thank you. I, I, I'll give you $5. What the, what the fuck is a dollar? What the fuck is a dollar? I made it up. Can, is there any, like, I'll get it out for you if you start no? being nicer no, to Dartha. No? Unfeeled from what he could tell. Uh, tell her to and be even, nice to like, me. The whole thing itself, like there were parts of it that were rusty. I tried, and, and rusty, I tried, and then she just didn't want to it. accept Do my I need business. to sit both of you down in one room? No, that she'd probably try and kill me. With she'd, me in there? Maybe. <laughs> you know, yeah. Some some supervision would be nice. Maybe, I, but maybe I don't know if that's a, a good idea. Yeah, maybe we need all know, four I, of us in there. You know, and not have Edme in there. <laughs> An unbiased third party. <laughs> so I I go um, over to you know, to this car to the hood. The, it's so open do we got a deal. Uh, yeah, I, I I mean I was trying, so I guess I can try a little bit harder. Insight check. All right. I'm not, I'm not, I am not lying. I am not lying. Well, let him roll the insight check first. Oh, okay. 
Six. <laughs> he is lying. No, I'm, I'm, I'm lying. lying. <laughs> I'm not you think, you think you see his face cross you. behind his back? You just right, feel like I, a little suspicious over it. I attempt to I'll lift hope. an entire engine out of a car. Yes. Like a 21 strength, no? You do. I have an 18 if it's strength. Not, no. If it's, it's not really rusted, good. it's very obviously titanium, which is so much lighter than steel. You'll be that's true. Is it made I'm out gonna of... Help I wouldn't know. I'm going to yeah. attempt to help. Hey, is this titanium or is this galvanized steel? Oh, you wouldn't know. Of course, I, it's I, not I wanna, rusted? Because you can get under There's parts it, right? of it that are rusted, but uh, most of it is it, like... Right? Like the car? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going to like get a rope around the entire How engine. How about them so, like, tires? Just, like, pull the rope. The no tires, tires aren't tires. They're mm, like... They're like jet jets. Things. Yeah, they I don't know. We should grab... I am going to ask you to grab one. Can you also grab one of those things on the chamber? That works, yeah. What if we got it moving? I don't think we'd have to. I think Most we'd have to make a new, new, new like base. Mm. We'd have to make a new base of the of the entire thing. Are there weapons on it? No, just just a, a transportation, mm. not non-military use transportation. Same All right. Use. Well, I guess make I'll make your strength check. I'm not proficient in strength, so I, I, I can't like, re- technically I help you. I kind of gauge it yeah, a little you're bit. You're not getting advantage. I can't me. technically help you, but I am helping. <laughs> well, but I, I kind of he's helping rope. in spirit. There's rope around. I kind of I kind of get like a gauge on it, like try like some test lifts sure, and stuff sure. is this gonna like throw my back out it is heavy and it is it feels like it might be bolted in some places um so it's you're yeah, gonna be I, kind yeah. of tearing i, I kind of like i kind of like it definitely doesn't move initially this the shit is like nailed down <laughs> Moving, boss. Huh. Can I take a closer look to see if that's tr- a true statement? Sure. Make an investigation check. Oh, my favorite. Four. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's pretty dark in there, and like you're trying to get in, and your the hood just keeps getting caught on the shell, and it keeps oh, like God damn. it's like yeah, <laughs> you can't get in there. <laughs> Sigurd, I think this shit is like nailed down. I can't get it. I'll take a look inside. Okay, make an investigation check. Can you get me some light? I need you. To, or I, I put. I, I cast a cantrip light on uh, uh, the a, a rock that I pick up off finger. the ground, and I give him the rock. All Can right. you shine this like this? I need you to hold it like perfectly steady. And then I, I know you're not going to hold it steady. I know you're not going to hold it steady. It's like, yeah, yeah this, this is what's going to happen. No, I need you to like hold it hold steady. Oh, like, I wrote an 18 on the dice and plus four is a 22. It. it is definitely bolted in and screwed in in places to the like the hole. Granted, the hole is like getting rusted and you could probably tear it, but it's it's in there. It's I'm not start just tearing. like an easy pull out. I'm going to start tearing. Start tearing? <laughs> what's your strength? Um, I guess. Make like, oh, your strength nine. check. It's just, it's going to be a high DC. <laughs> uh, wait. This thing's heavy. Can I, if I haste him, uh, the haste will give you, like, spring. but he, he can try multiple times, right? I mean, he can like, try multiple technically, times anyway. Like, yeah, but quicker. He can try it quicker. Okay, I'm going to <laughs> attempt to, uh, I see him trying to tear it out. I'm like, okay, just get it. Just, <laughs> Sigurd, just get it's bolted the way. in there, but it, it can come off. Yeah, I know, getting... I said that. Well, yeah, but I confirmed it, okay? All right, get out of the way. Okay, all right. I, I hold the light now for him. I get some. I get some leverage on the hood. Okay. Like, <laughs> and I, I rage. You rage. And I'd like to make a strength check for me. Reckless. Advantage. I think. Okay. I have my DC set. The DC is set. Natural twenty. Yeah. yeah! You don't do it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> you, you you break your arms. Uh, uh, how about this? Do. A twenty-seven. Not enough. Oh. No. Easy, like the the hole just like disintegrates as you pull, and it, your back feels fine. Like you're actually surprised. <sighs> like, oh, I overthought this. And you lift it over your head. It is very heavy. Maybe and you I kind of hold it here. You quickly <laughs> waddle it towards the machine, the the CBCP. Do you want him to try taking this up the ladder? Or are we pulling Fuck. up there? Pulley. <laughs> pulley. pulley for sure. We're doing pulley. Okay. But you so gotta, you gotta, you gotta climb up pulley. with it. Like yeah, I got a two thousand pound fucking engine. <laughs> <laughs> And let's you, let's pull it up all... to the small one though, no? because it's less. Sure. True. Yeah. Yeah. We'll pull it up to the eighty foot one. Okay. So I'll go and set up the pulley. I'll I'll, I'll take can, the pulley. We can up keep we can keep the the goods in there too. Yeah. Since it's less radiated. Do we know? Oh, the food. Yeah. So the, the 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 boxes, the three by threes, and the, and the two three by threes will be have been moved to the small box before okay. putting in the cash. Sure. Because I had it all in my bag holding anyways. The food wise. Okay. But we pulley it up. 
pull it up. Solved. And so, I won't make us go through mm, it. You manage to pull it up, and you get this this car yeah, engine in your inventory. One car. <laughs> you have one car engine now. Nice. <laughs> We're one step closer to the arcade <laughs> flux grenade. You never know what this could be used for. This could come in handy down the line. Yeah, who knows? Maybe who a knows? maybe Let's... another vulture person would be like, "You selling that?" Yeah, I just what? happen to have a car over there that needs an engine. <laughs> really? Really? Once no, get... idiot. <laughs> Once you guys get up, I want to ask Orin. Hey, Orin. <sighs> yes. Do you have any salt? <sighs> Let me check. I open up my bag. I have garlic powder. <laughs> That's not salt, buddy. I, I, Why don't you have you some, probably salt. Have some salt? I have some salt. How much? Um, salt's not really a hot commodity in Ocard, I wouldn't think. No, it's not, but you probably picked up a good amount at, like, the restaurant or something like that. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. They would absolutely have salt there. Yeah, how industrial salt industrial container salt. yeah like 20 pounds. i will give you two industrial you have an industrial salt and industrial pepper containers you have salt and pepper is morton, it peppercorn or like ground the morton can. Give it pepper is it peppercorn pepper or ground corns. it's ground fuck. Fuck. i have to I make you make actually pickles. look for the the corn fine all right <laughs> before uh, oh, yeah i have I some salt board. Can I have two pounds no, of salt, please? The which one? The cabbage yeah. one. Yeah. Okay, so you, it's about a half hour down the street. I can. I, I get, I okay. get out my salt and I you put it in front on down of there. You. Thank you. And you turn the corner and you see. Can I take it? it. It is full of cabbage. It's less full as the other barn with the the wheat, but it is as much as you would want. It is a large warehouse, like a a Costco hmm. warehouse size barn. Wow. Full of yeah, cabbage. That's pretty big. <laughs> I'm I'm not going to take it. Wait, a Costco warehouse? I ran to the mm -hmm. full of cabbage. These fields are very large. The <laughs> mm -hmm. This yeah. shit isn't yeah. rotting yeah. out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. Yeah, yeah. But I, I went back but, down. And like, the robot will clean yeah. occasionally. Yeah, yeah. Like, so I'm at the barn. So there's Did definitely the rotten piles no, I, within I the barn. Were, I thought you were grabbing but. cabbage from the barn. Because I'm at the barn. No, 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 he's a robot. He can only do so much. That's where he's been assigned to load it. So one guy. You're three pounds? Yeah, I'm taking three pounds of cabbage. Chopping it up, stuffing it in the cleaned out alcohol containers, sterilized, all right. and sterilized. them up to make sauerkraut. All right, Ooh. you do that. How many do you bottle up? How many bottles? You we'll said three pounds. We'll okay, so like three bottles. Okay. A piece. So you do that, and you've got them doing their thing. Mm -hmm. Is there anything anyone else would like to do? I uh, just get back, and then you come back. How dark is it? Um, it's probably pushing three-ish. Oh. Definitely been a few hours. Is it time? Are we doing this today? Are we going? Oh, through? Let's through say one. Bridge? We'll say one. Through Bridgedale? Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, it's we time to hit it. Mm, we're passing through it. Out yeah. of character, were we going to Bridgedale for anything particular? Or we, did we, we just were... need to go through Bridgedale? I know also the plan for the dwarves, I believe, were to... Drop separate them from them at bridge jail, jail and send yeah. them on their way right well we are gonna go die to we're gonna do that to them out of character they can't them. go into bridge jail they'll be fine they're dwarves no we should have done that was the plan i'm just no, reminding once you guys i knew the that plan. the bugs were there i wouldn't send the dwarves there by no. themselves but don't is it personally i think that okay but if we go to bridgedale and then go to brightwood or blightwood couldn't we drop them at Blightwood and then? No, because there's a bunch of spiders there. Yeah, they, they, they don't want to be at Blightwood, bro. Okay, so but if we drop them at Bridgedale, they'd have to go through Blightwood <laughs> no. to get to Oakheart. Anyway, okay. Yeah. We, well, well, if, the, how well, are we, we going to deal with Bridgedale? Here, we have to drop them off here so that they can walk along this path to the top of the wall. Okay. But, like, that side is fairly safe. Yeah, but there's still red caps in the forest, so like, it's yeah. still very dangerous. Yeah, that'll be fine. We'll just give them a gun. I mean, realistically, even if they die, yeah. it's not our problem once they're out of our company. No, it's true. And once they're out I of our company, they're his die. problem. They're and keep in mind, I understand you, that, but you, you guys, stop I don't know. If, We're not does, it, does anyone have like a message item? I thought you had one, didn't you? No, I thought no. There was, someone there was an gave item from someone Zephyrus gave, that gave message. I have I thought someone bought no, it. No, wait. I thought Thomas or someone gave me a message stone. I think Davin bought it. I don't have. We don't one. have it. Hmm. It may have I been him then. Well, I, I was gonna say you could contact Oakheart and they could send like a group of people out to. I feel like. 
I have a Thomas. Thomas or someone did. gave me something. There was oh. a there was a stone that like talked to Kruger. I think that Edme had, but and then Kruger died, and I feel like you may have got his stone. That may be it. Okay, but I don't know where the other stone rock. is, so since we don't know where it went, I think Edme probably has it. Then you guys have no way to communicate with Ogre. Yeah, Edme give me that fucking rock. I know Thomas has messaged me in the past. He has, he has. But yeah, he would I have no reason to message me. I think to Thomas right. really hard. <laughs> Thomas. Thomas, his Thomas, ears please. are burning. Thomas, save me, Thomas. Thomas. I mean, maybe you are our only hope. Maybe you could ask for Nara. Who knows? Oh, good idea. <laughs> I sit down, really tired, on the uh, um. The dock, not the uh, um, the, the catwalk. Yeah, the catwalk. That's okay. the word. The catwalk, and I, I sit and I'm overlooking the fields, and I try to imagine that they're a beautiful golden sea or something. I don't know. Okay. <clears throat> Sernara, please, if you could, tell Thomas to message me, please. <laughs> <laughs> I need him to know. I need him. Thank um. you. The next one you get, hey, I gotta make I gotta, a religion check. Hold up, okay. oh, good insight. I got a little insight from God saying you need to. Oh, not bad. 16. 16. Okay, you send this out there, nothing comes to you. Or, minute, you want to do anything? Um, are we moving yet? Um, I'm okay, ready to so start well, driving. How feasible is it to sit on the catwalk while this thing is moving? It's feasible. I want to sit out here while it's working. Really quick, okay. I do want to ask, so in terms of Bridgedale, are we are we killing the insect things now? If we have to. I, I don't think to. we can. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hold I've you. been asking to make a plan this whole time. You know, I, about I would how love to deal to with Bridgedale. We don't even know what the city looks like though is a problem. I don't think I can stay there for long. It's it's dangerous for have me. Have you to go told there. us that other than Orn? She did. I no, she only told Orn, I think. Yeah. I said it loudly, but I did just say Orin. Or right. Orin. So the rest of us have no idea that you're not supposed to be there. But as yeah, of right now, doesn't care. well, he would if if you said anything. But right now, you're not. But my plan, I think, is just leap, go through it, and not and not hit it right now. You hear a voice. Mm-hmm. I don't think we should hit it. Um, right now. it's a familiar voice, Thomas. Wow. God, God. Hey, Orin. Um, I was just eating and. I remember this potato meal you cooked. What was that meal again? I'm really craving it. Let me, let me pull it up. <laughs> You're actually gonna give him the recipe? Out of character? Forgets to ask what he wants. I don't think. I don't think we should like try. How, how many is it? Twenty five. Yeah. Take it out today. I don't think. We should. Thomas, great timing. What if like we this. hit up? The, it's the potatoes or red. <laughs> like weapons on our thing well, well, and then go to diced the potatoes well, I think and we vegetables any fried any fixing for our big ship um, I think is going to be done at unit doesn't count filler I don't word. think anywhere else has like the ability to fix our ship well over here is like a <laughs> can you where we send can get a bunch of parts though right, a but group we don't have the knowledge or the of to fix it ourselves and attach it ourselves people to collect some civilians. Think, like anything ship related. Is we crazy. are like, okay. At Unity, I think. Bro. <laughs> Except for patching the hole. Um, that, like, makeshift, but that's you I get think. another message back. Um, you need a group of people. Where are you? Well, we can send a group of people that way. Um. Pretty what 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 direction would this be? That'd be, so be south like southwest southeast. southeast. Yeah. Yeah. yeah southeast. Okay. Southeast. Basically, following the river. Southeast down river. Right where mountains split. Have food as well. Great for growing anywhere. He hears that. <laughs> <laughs> um, bring carts if you can. How's my mom? <laughs> um, you don't get a message after that. Okay, fair. I'll just spell slots for that. Fair enough. <laughs> um, he can cast higher. 
He doesn't. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> He's making food with his cleric spells. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> but he heard your message, so that's yeah, important. He got your message. Okay, so we're gonna drop the dwarves before Bridgedale on the south side of the river, tell them to walk up and meet up with Well Thomas. you guys are currently before Bridgedale. If you right, go so any more like, forward you're right. heading so we're, closer. We're, we're right, right here. So it's either we drop them. You now could you or... could like I mean I guess we could just like drive is the city bit. in the small oh, one. The... the city probably goes like around here. So they could and then the farm is here. So they could like walk through the farm up through here mm -hmm. and then kind of cut in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Before having to go like into the city and then go. Right. I can draw right. them like that. a map. I can draw them a map because we have like an actual like satellite map technically. Yeah. I, well, I mean, you also told Thomas to go to where the mountains split, so there Thomas is aiming for here. Right. Yeah. So we could yeah. always just tell the dwarves to camp there and wait for Thomas so that I they don't have to go through the forest, the forest themselves. And they can hide in the mills during the day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's um, true. Yeah, hide in the mill during the day. Yeah, and I mean, like, there's, like, you know, it's not, you know, level one commoners that we're talking about either. Like, Yeah, true. These are the people that survived the attack, so, like, they're obviously they're not... Fine. They're, they're at least a little hardier than your average person. Yeah. At least level two. Maybe... Uh, they're maybe at least a, a CR2 commoner. Maybe yeah. one and a half. Maybe one and a half. And they are mutated. There's... I'm not... I, I didn't actually go through it, but they would have a number of mutations. Based yeah, off how they're rolling and all that. Ah, uh, they're fine. Yeah. Let's just pray they're all positive. Yeah, let's <laughs> pray. Yeah, didn't one, one of them's like twice as fast. <laughs> <laughs> I'll find these guys for us. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, what is your guys' plan right now? You're kind of all on your machines planning. About um, yeah. Wait. Are we two o'clock? All we're all like together right now, right? Yeah. So we're yeah. all we're all coming up with a plan. Actually, before we go into Bridgedale, how about we go on break? It's Ooh! 9 o'clock. So we are going so to be on break. Time. We'll yeah. be right back. Is there something you want to say? Well, I was just going to say we'll talk to the dwarves, yeah. draw them the map, drop them off, so that when we come back from break, we're like, going to go in. Yeah, true. Yeah, that was good. We'll do that. We're going to go right. in, locked and loaded. Okay. Yeah. All right. We will be back. See All you right. in 15. Uh, See you in 15. Bye bye. And we are back with our we're session back. of Oak Heart Back from Break. <laughs> so where we had left off, the party was deciding on how they wanted to approach this Bridgedale situation with their dwarves. They had decided that they were going to give them a map, some ammo and guns, and send them on their way through the farm and cut through the valley, correct? That was the plan? <clears throat> yeah, we're going to have them camp, like, right over here. So in the yeah. mill. In the mill, so they can hide in the mill during the night. All right. Um, yeah. so that the things don't come and get them. Sounds like a plan. So you guys send them on their way. Um, your brother, do you want him to go with them? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. All right. He's armless. Um, he, he is he's armless. A, he's we'll give him not gonna be a... <clears throat> two handguns. Two handguns. And the rifle that the crows, or that the bird, the air cock crow stole from us. Gotcha. I'll give him that one. Oh, I checked they, the magazine. Is this do they have food? Well, I it pull is, out, I pull out is, each bullet it, individually. Well, it seems count. it's missing three bullets are missing okay. from the count that you had before. Do they have food? Put three more in. Um, I don't know. Did you guys give them food? I'll they give them ate, some cans. They ate good berries today. That's true. I'll give them a, a couple cans. I can give them some black fungal spores. Well, just say that I'll make food. But that doesn't last forever. And that doesn't last. a problem. No. Well, magic they're, food or something, right? They're, yeah. they're going into a food mill. They will have cabbages. That's true. That's true. They, they can just eat they, they would be on the side with the wheat. They can, they can eat wheat. No, they can't. Uh, okay, I'll water give them... In it. it's, like, it's like barley. Can they go grab some I'll cabbages do... while it's still light and put it... I mean, they, they probably could, yeah. Okay. I don't think, well, like, three right, cabbages right. are going to kill the entire wheat. Like, all the wheat. So I'm sure you could now. spare them like a can of chili. Yeah, yeah that's like, what I was gonna do. A okay. can of chili is great. <laughs> sure, a can of chili would hold them over. How many, how many of them are there? There, there's I think about eight of them now. I'll give them two. Are we sending Borska with them, or yeah. are we keeping him? So, you give him two cans. Two so cans of Warriors chili. There's no eraser on this pencil. Hold on. Oof. Do you want one with eraser? Oh, oh, the can. Ah. You just punched the fuck out of that camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Yeah, this is my wrist. This is my wrist. They set off. Two uh, cans of warrior chili. With, with their two cans, cans of warrior chili, chili and to get some uh, two? cabbage before they head over to the other side of the farm. Hell yeah. I gotta get some vegetables. You guys are in your vehicles. Ridgedale is ahead of you. What, what, do, what do we do? decide on? We're, we're walking through first, right? And then, like, so, are we scoping out? I think the, I think? the intent as of right now, Wait. I think, should be to plan on going all the way through. And just blowing up anything we see that looks high flying. We don't have any guns. <laughs> um, I don't mean right. it's not that blowing up, but like I can like mm. sacred well, frame or whatever. The fuck. I thought I just thought of a problem. Yeah. If if I slip did, into the shroud, I can't drive. Well, that that is also a problem. That that's a new problem that has now arisen. I didn't think uh -huh. of. But the other one is <laughs> if I don't know if if the information about them being drawn to sound was public knowledge or not or if that well not. i would have told you guys okay so that, and i told everyone that like it's a hive mind right but there's a problem with the big hole in the big ship they can just fly right in that while you're yes. driving so i think we have to leave the big ship here until or, bridgedale gets settled or i go in the big ship and do sacred flame that's, that's, that's How not, big is the hole? That's not going to be yeah. enough. You mean spirit like, guardians? Yeah, spirit guardians. At, At least like a ten by ten. So that, yeah, there's, there's going to be thousands of, 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 of these bugs though. There's probably a thousand. Well, he can just keep early, casting though. it though. That's the best part. Oh, is it kind candy? of listening to this? Do you have radiant magics? Boshka kind of steps outside onto the catwalk and then jumps yeah. off. Oh, okay. And right before <laughs> Vashka hits the ground, uh, they turn into a giant ape. And they run over towards the forest. Right. And they grab a tree. <laughs> and then they start, they start running, running towards the giant the giant ship. And they start climbing the ledge. It's like, gentle, 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 please. And they get up there and they start looking at the hole. And then they split the tree and they... And they just start jamming wood oh, into the hole. Why didn't we think of that? Because <laughs> none of us can turn into giant monkeys, can we? I don't yeah, think any of Oswin really? could. Oh, can he? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. He did do throw too. Why didn't we think of that? Yes, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why. Well, we I guess we never thought about trying to climb the ship from the legs. Because really? it's 200 feet in the air. It's 200 feet in the air. If you fall, you know. Oh, thank, thank you, Voshka. We didn't think of that. And did it cover it completely? Um, it Not, not completely. There's definitely holes in there where, okay. like, but it... You would have to be a small creature to fit through the right. holes. Right, it's not oh. airtight, but like the bugs yeah. wouldn't be able to get yeah. in. I mean, sure, they could maybe claw through the wood, because it is just wood. But right. Right. Give I need a buffer. second. But they, yeah, buffer. They, they're yeah. not going to just be able to fly. Exactly. Through. Okay, well... I can still stand just outside then the wood. Then you need to run so somebody yeah. down on how to drive in case you... Quote, um, all in, case, in case you go unconscious uh, or whatever okay. happens. I don't understand. Yeah, hey, yeah, but, but so me. somebody wouldn't have to be on standby to take over in case that happens. I'm all ear holes. Um, Warren's gonna drive. Can you even like sit in the seat? I don't know. Can I sit in the seat? It's, I ever tried. It's, a, it's definitely a bit small for you. Well, you can try. That's a problem. Um, who does <clears throat> Rena think is the smartest though? Because she, Warren. On a level from nice. one, sitting there on a level from one to fun twenty, fact, we have the same amount of intelligence. I know. Yeah, it's pretty much all <laughs> across the board. Oh, I do know it. Well. Well, I've got a. Well, I've been around it the most, so. Yeah. But that... oh, I guess. Well, so. how about this? How about this? Why don't everybody that isn't me driving the small one be up in the cockpit so that if somebody can't drive it, somebody else tries. And boom, it's like a like a. Okay, train I'm gonna go wreck. up there and I'll te I'll teach both of you. So yeah, I'm gonna go up it's there. Like a train We're gonna spend some time <laughs> with Omega, and I'm going to show them like exactly as you're driving, what to as, do. As yeah. much as as much as possible, I'm gonna show them exactly what to All do. Right. So is there like make it, make an intelligence check, both of you, just to kind of like you to teach him, him to grasp it. Is there like any way to tell when you're gonna be like slipping so you can like warn them beforehand? I don't think so. Uh, would, no. okay. would Omega be like clarifying things at all? Um, yeah, yeah, sure. So, so I, I, would, would I would give you advantage, you not. No, not me. Nine. Nine. Do I get advantage? Um, well, wait, what is your intelligence? Eight. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's gonna be a hard challenge for you. Um, no, you don't get advantage. Okay, because... well, I rolled a two. Okay. <laughs> 
Eleven. Eleven. Um, she's, she's kind of going, going over all the buttons, and you're just like, ooh, that's a lot of buttons. Um, and Omega is, like, <sighs> reinforcing Dartha, because Dartha, for the most part, has it down. Um, I'm but like, you're just having a hard time, like, raising it for his simple turtle mind to, like, mm-hmm. pick up. That <laughs> this, this one, go Edmay forward. Drive? This one, huh? stop. What about Edme? You can dying. try it, man. Uh, Wait, can't Omega just autopilot this shit? No. 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 Not, re- not yet. We have to fix her more. Yeah, she's got too many I issues. can fix her. <laughs> I don't think we have the tools for that. Fix her. Um, well, when it, But when she will help. Up. So, like, you would have the stupidest person probably drive the biggest one. Yeah. Which is... Because she gives you damage. Any of them. Shit, I forgot about I this until right now. Could I send those dwarves with one of the barrels of the grain? Sure. And tell them to give it to the farmers. Um, that's a lot for them to carry. Well, it's like I, I guess, guess maybe they'll it, just. Well, we said it. two bushels. One bushel is sixty pounds. Yeah. So I guess we could just spread it out amongst them. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, they do so. So they carry out the the bushel amongst the group and they go out. Cool. All right. Well, uh, you have I'm, your minimal training on the vehicle. I'm ready to drive this thing. All right. Am I ready to drive this thing? Wait, what did you roll again? Two. Yeah, yeah you're ready to you're, drive you're, this thing. You are so ready to that drive. This technically, thing. gives me a one. Yeah, you you are so ready. Okay. He's picking it up good. Yeah. He's he's nodding along. He's saying yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Yep. I'm not getting it because I'm asking him clarifying questions. Like, <laughs> yeah. Do you remember what that button does? Yeah, instead yeah. of asking me, they're asking each other. Right. <laughs> so, so, is, so, so you're, you're in the big one with him? him? Yeah, I'm going to be And then one. Edme is probably in the one with you. Yeah. No. Well, no. I mean, I don't need help. I feel like you would want someone in there with you. Are you like, I don't need help. I don't think you'd want to be by yourself. I don't need help. I'm well, Edme is going to be in there with you. But you don't have to show her help, then. But you guys are established. Are you heading off towards Bridgedale now, though? Uh-huh. Yep. All righty. And we're just going through it for now, right? Just through it? Yep. So just staying on the highway. And we're looking, we're scoping it out as we look, as we pass. I go and I lock my door. Just in case. All right. You close it. Lock it. Are you guys ready? Anything you're doing on the big ship? Lock in the door, and I'm going to stand by all the logs, trying to, like, peek out through the holes to make sure the bugs are sure. coming. Just on guard. Mm-hmm. What if one of them pokes your eye out? <clears throat> uh, I'm going to stand by the cockpit, all right. trying yeah. to remember which button does what. <laughs> you're all right, basically now, just watching Gartha. Why don't I, you, like, now watch me I drive it, Orin, okay? I just get a glazed over look in my eyes. Like, <laughs> Intelligence checks from the two drivers, please, as you guys begin heading into... Okay, what into dice do I want to roll for sale? Dude, like a city of the old world, abandoned, ruined. Oh, nice. eighteen. Nice. We're definitely not going over. Sixteen. Not. The entire 16? time, yeah. I'm like, all right, Orin, Orin, pay attention, pay attention here. Do you see this finesse? <laughs> You're watching closely, um, as you guys are just following this large sixteen-lane highway through the center of this city. You eventually go past the fields and you pass these small, maybe. 40 feet tall mm-hmm. kind of concrete metalish walls um and you go into the city where it is just like very much a modern city where it's like back-to-back houses almost no yards nothing of the sort concrete jungle-esque place um the buildings start kind of short and then as you start pushing further in the buildings start getting taller and taller and you realize as you are going towards the the shore of the river that kind of cuts through that there are skyscrapers down there like in a downtown area and the highway kind of goes straight to that and then you see it goes up and onto what looks like a huge kind of gate looking thing um except it kind of goes out over the river and then there's nothing interesting some kind of very large mechanical structure that sits on the shore of this river kind of facing out and you're you're too far away to see the other side of the river right now but um you guys are basically walking through the center of the city. Is there anything you wanted to do? Look for? I want to um, scan my spotlight. Like, yeah. Is there anyone, like, waiting at this point? Like, any person? Like, do you see any people? Is that what you're looking yeah, for? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Make perception checks. What were you looking for? I'm just scanning. I'm just, like, like running a spotlight, like, along, like, the houses and whatnot. Like, in case right. anything's hiding, like, bug, it'll fly away. 
Dirty, gonna, nasty, filthy 20. I'm gonna keep an eye out for any bugs or anything that looks to be infected by bugs. Okay. Hey, perception check. Where are you looking for, Dark? I kind of want to make a general one. I want to see if I can see like an opening where the bugs would be, because I know they normally like underground. So is there like a big hole or somewhere? Go ahead and make a perception check. Mm -hmm. Um, you are looking for a person. Any people. Any people. And like, so you're kind of going and you're like looking out the window, and you get very glimpse, like short views of streets. Because you're kind of just walking at like a steady pace. And so you're kind of looking down as if you're on some overpass going over like New York City. And you see just rusted vehicles lining the streets, kind of crashed or kind of off onto the sidewalk. You see numerous buildings just kind of burned down. But there is a lot of nature. Like a lot of the, the concrete streets and buildings are just overwhelmed with like plants and vines. And nature has definitely reclaimed a good portion of this place. But there are areas you can tell aren't as nature covered. Um, but you don't see any person in particular. Um, and then you were looking for a bug hole, mm -hmm. and you were looking for bugs, so it's kind of the same. What did you get? Eleven. I didn't roll because I'm not. Nine. Nine. Are we looking exactly? Um, nine eleven, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. This would be a great sidebar to tell everyone. There was one time I did a McDonald's mobile order, and my order number was AK47. Oh my goodness! Really? That's, that's, that's yep. cool, I actually. thought that they that's would awesome. have coded that one out of the system, but no. So I had to tell a very, very Middle Eastern sounding woman over the speaker that my order number was AK-47, very deliberately, 47. <laughs> you don't notice anything bug related or no, any bug holes per se. I mean, like, especially with a nine, you're kind of high up, especially in the, the large one, you're really high up, so it's hard to see those tiny details. You're kind of looking out there and you notice Kind of near the shore, to the left of like this, the tall skyscrapers, there's like this plume of like steam coming out of a part of the city, kind of near the coast. Um, Malachite, you notice that. Mm -hmm. um, and the, the steam is just like this continuous plume of steam that goes up in the sky and then kind of dissipates into clouds or what have you. Would I be able to differentiate between steam and smoke? Um, yeah. And it is steam. It is steam, okay. yeah. This man seems to have run out of steam. No! Get this man some bugs. But you don't see any oh, bugs, okay. per se. Okay. You guys so just keep pushing some, towards... something going on. There's something going on over there. I'll make a mental note of it, but right. I'm not going to say anything. Um, I want to, before I start, like, I want to pause moving, and I want to take my binoculars and look at, like, the highway where it goes, like, up farther. Does it look stable enough to carry both of our big machines at once? Just by like so you pull your binoculars, binoculars out and you start looking ahead for that thing. And it looks like the beginning of like a large industrial almost bridge. Like it's got those those large kind of supports that go up, but there's like a huge metal chunk that kind of sticks out and then it just turns to nothing. And there is no bridge. Um, you don't see anything. It's a fucking light bridge. <laughs> Sorry. But with your binoculars, with your binoculars, you look across the river, and you do see basically the exact same structure on the other side of the river. Okay, so, hmm. well, so it's a light bridge. Well, okay. Have one little fly. Drink it. No. I'm you guys keep pushing towards this bridge? bridge? Well, I'm not driving, so... Yeah. yeah. You, you guys, guys just keep pushing, pushing down, down towards downtown, towards the, the river. Um, it takes you maybe about an hour to get there, especially walking on around these cars. Like, there's some spots that you're kind of wanting to step around. Um, but you guys eventually get to where all those skyscrapers are coming up, and you can see this large river. There's a number of... You, more unique structures that sit here kind of on the coast of this river. You notice a very large, um, what looks like glass domed building, maybe the size of like a football stadium. Like you see, it just has this massive glass dome on top and you can see kind of plants kind of crawling on the inside of this dome, but it's massive. And you can see it's painted outside with what looks like tons of different plants and 
um, various animals and such. Um, and then there's a dock that goes into the river. However, you notice the dock is like 20 feet above the water level. And there are a bunch of boats that are kind of like at the end of the ropes, like hanging at the end of this dock, like barely hanging on. A lot of them kind of rusted and gone, but who knows? And then you kind of look to the left down the coast a bit, and there is a tall pillar structure, kind of like a spire. And you see tons of these small supports that kind of come off of it. And you see at the top, make perception checks for me for this part. Can I have advantage? Sure, with your binoculars. Nice. 22. Mm -hmm. Six. Am I rolling again? Sure. 14. 14. That was with advantage. Yeah, I rolled a, a 14. And Warren a, coming in as the most observant dice. tonight. One. One. Terrible. Okay, yep. the total sees it all. My pink dice is no bueno. You yeah. are looking at this, this spire-like structure. Dice true. Yep. And you see movement. You kind of look at the top, and you see these these are kind of similar to the docks that you've seen in the water, except for the, they are for the sky. And all these docks are kind of empty, except for the one at the top. You see some kind of vessel strapped up there. And you see some humanoid figure up there kind of with a with like a side panel open cranking something I'm trying to fix whatever this thing is does this look like a zeppelin it's similar it looks it's kind of wrapped up with tarps and stuff like being hidden um but it it's it's smaller than the zeppelin okay is it like a similar shape you, it's similar you don't see the large like balloon on top okay but the bottom isn't too dissimilar <clears throat> Hey guys, what's that? There's some kind of floating thing up there. Some kind of flying machine. You guys look in that direction and you see a, basically a sky dock and some kind of vessel hooked up to it. It's not necessarily floating, it's like hooked up to the dock and like hanging off the side. But there is a man up on the dock, probably like 300, 400 feet in the air working on this thing. 300, well, 400 feet past from the ground. How tall is the big? Feet from the... We're already halfway there. Are how the big, big is the, 200 how feet tall up. is the big? 200? Yeah. Okay, so only like 100 feet from us? Yeah. Hmm. Probably 150. Well, but, but you're not at the, the base of the spire yet. This is just something you see on the uh, kind of boardwalk area-esque. And you do see what looks like a large boardwalk shopping section. But, but it, it has kind of slid off the shore and into the water. And, and only like the, the back half kind of sticks out. But you guys approach what you imagine to be the light bridge. It is emitting no light. It is not on. There's no way to cross here. It is not a bridge, nor is there light. <laughs> yes, it is simply a large unused machine huh. what do you what, what do you wish to do as you sit at the end of this highway with an unworking bridge before you i'll hop out of my vehicle okay I'll go to is there like it does it look like there's like a little generator or anywhere like i'll look down like like by like where the bridge would start does it look like there's anywhere that like maybe like a so small you, building you descend your vehicle and you start walking down the highway towards the the bridge and you don't see anything directly here but you kind of look down off the side of the highway because it is still elevated. Mm. Um, and you do see what looks like some kind of building that's kind of hooked up to the, the side of the bridge. There's a ladder that kind of goes down to the bottom. Um, descend that ladder. All right. So uh, Sigurd begins like descending. Way, like, so that he waves. He's probably like 200 join. feet away, and he waves, and then he begins descending the ladder down into the city. What are you guys doing? Um... It's still light out. How many hours of daylight up. do we have left? Yeah, I'd probably put it at like 5 p.m. So like, is this summer is it... 5 p.m. or current 5 p.m.? I'd give you maybe two more hours. Two more hours of light. Okay. Um, I think. So, are we fighting these or are we going out? Because. Well, if we don't know where they are, I don't know. And you said you didn't want to stick around very long. I think it might be good if we just go. Yeah. Like if we like we can spend the time to look for him, but you said you didn't want to stay a long time. So there's no. Like, so like if it was if it was blatantly here. obvious where That's they were, I would. He's, say yeah, he's going down, down to look for a way to turn on the bridge. Yeah, Are you going with him? Yeah, I'll go with him. Okay. So Orin follows. Now it'll take take him like like fifteen minutes to catch up. Yeah. 
I'm gonna take a stand out on the balcony, but just okay. keep watch. Just, just keep watch. watch. I assume you're probably doing the same. Yeah. So Sigurd, you descend, descend down, down this ladder, ladder and you end up in like the underpass of this highway. It is dark. It is kind of decrepit. You're kind of looking, and you're in like a concrete jungle for the first time in your life. You've never been in this kind of environment, and it's eerie as it is overtaken with plants and there are so many corners and so many dark alleys and so many dark holes that anything could be hiding in Pull out my song. and it's in this moment that you realize you're in the dark you know and these things live in i cast light on the tip of my ar and so you're kind of looking through the darkness make a perception check oh 15 on the die nice Fourteen. Fourteen? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. You, you kind, kind of, of look, look around. around and, and, um... Hmm. I need to get a red dot. <sighs> you do, do not, not see any movement. movement. There's eerily, like, no over. birds, no, no no small animals. It's very quiet. Well, that's good. That's good. Quiet Even though you good. hear birds on this thing. Quiet is good. I'll, I'll try and stealth. <laughs> All, right, All right. Make, make a self-check for me. Just like not not exactly like hiding, but just so I don't try and make as little noise as sure. possible. Is this like a cramped area? It's, it's pretty tight. tight. I don't want to go down there. <laughs> what do you? Get? I'm clamping and clomping everywhere with a natural, natural one. one. Oh boy, natural yeah. one. Well, <clears throat> I just basically like I'm just walking anyways. You start walking towards mm -hmm. the bridge. I'm like I'm like Luigi building. when he's scared. <laughs> you get up to this building and it is called. Um, you see above the door, it's called the Light Bridge, oh. and then you see in just under it Atlas Heavy Industries. Well, that's an easy name for a store to figure out where I need to go. Thank God, <laughs> I try to open the door. Locked. But also, it's written in Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> it is just glass. Like you kind of look in, and it just looks like a boring lobby space with like a few chairs, kind of like black checker tile floors. Man, I wish I had. Uh... You do have knock, don't you? I, yeah, that's not what I... I wish I had Misty Step. Oh. Mm. So, because I have Thunder Step, but that's loud. You know, I don't want to be loud. The door is glass as well. I know, I don't want to break it, though. That's so <laughs> okay. loud. Okay, okay, but that would be a lot less loud than Thunder Step. Well, I know, but... True. I, I, also I, point my, I point my light in, like, towards the, the glass. Like, so I, like, point the... Okay, I, so like, you start shining the light through the yeah. glass? Mm -hmm. Okay. And you look in there, and you don't you don't see anyone. You don't see any movement, but it is just like an empty lobby. You see like a counter, and then like some doors behind the Ooh. counter. Counter. Okay. I, I look to the left and I look to the right. I see nothing. The light. Correct. <laughs> you smash the window with the butt of the gun. With the butt of the gun, it shatters, and then I imagine you just kind of. I look to the left it. and right first. It, I mean, if he check. shattered it, does he really need to open the door? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, I'm not stepping uh, through some glass Yeah, the, uh, the other, you just crawl through and get all the glass all over you. Oh, let's go. Uh, 15. The, was it the whole door was glass? No, it was like two panels. Oh. 15. 15? Yes. Oh, you thought it was like a just full that's of glass, glass, glass door. door. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like a sliding glass door. That's fair. That's fair. Well, no, like an open door. Um, like, you kind of, you look Leo's both ways. Those doors mm. just glass. Um, you, you hear something above you. And a little bit behind, you kind of look up at the overpass, and you see gun. you see a turtle face looking down. <gasps> hey! I almost just blew your head off, Orin. You should have announced you were fucking coming, Jesus. Well, what if me. you were sneaking, jackass? Well, you heard me just break a glass door, so I, clearly I'm not sneaking anymore. Well, yeah, but I just got here. I know, but you could hear the glass break from like at least fifty feet. I almost blew your head off, buddy. That could have been yeah, bad. Yeah, nice try. My head is indestructible. I ho I'd hope so. Just come down here anyways. I need your help. I don't know if I can fit. There's... You can <laughs> fit. It's not that. It is like, it is like a, a fi at least 15 feet of space down here. Okay, well, right. Probably. Probably. Uh, I look behind me after, because I remember you said that I heard something behind I hope me. I don't have so claustrophobia. I, after knowing it's Orin, I immediately whip around. All right. You whip around, and you look, and you are looking down like a dark street that kind of goes down. You see bunch of trash on the corner and like old rusted cars and there's just so many things that anything could be hiding behind but you don't see anything at this moment okay that's good all right 
I unlock the door. You unlock the door. As long as I don't see anything, it doesn't exist. On the glass, right? You go in. It is dusty. It is stale in this room. Um, Mm -hmm. But it is empty. I walk to the counter. You walk to the counter. You see, uh, there's like a computer system that is offline. A computer that you're kind of familiar with, keyboard, mouse. Um, Now, what kind of switches does it have? I click the keyboard. You click it. There's nothing. Does it sound like? It sounds like a clacking keyboard. Oh, let's go. Blue switches. Yeah. (laughs) This is is way too loud. I'm not a big fan. This is too crunchy. Um, There are Uh, doors on the back wall that go, assumingly. Are there any signs like, uh, like on the walls that would like say like maintenance? Um, there there's like like a sign that says like complaints and like an arrow points down, and you see there's like a computer there. Oh. Um, Um, and then there was just like a reception spot. Well, Seems I, like this was just a way for people who had issues to geez. reach out to the company. Well, this is not the right building, then. Fuck. Well, you could well, check the back. That is true. I don't know that yet. <laughs> I, I make it over there. Uh, you make it down there. Hello. Well, hey, walk, welcome to the complaint store. Just kidding. Maybe you do see a sign it. on the door that says employees only. Oh, I think we should check out here. Wait, uh, was Employee there with, like the computer? Only. Is there like a box? Like, does it have its own computer box? Like there's a button, like or is it a box? laptop, or is it, like... it? It would have its own box, yeah. Can I try and find the button to turn it on and see if that like, or any button on yeah. the computer? Yeah. So you kind of you're getting pretty familiar with this technology, and you find what you assume to be the power button, and you click it, and it does not turn on. No, no power to the building. <laughs> any laptops? Darn. Not here. All right. Can you try and open the door? I'm gonna I'm gonna breach behind your back. And I like I'm like standing behind this like sh- like 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 his, his shell like I'm, like paranoid as shit. <laughs> and I'm just <laughs> so you peek in, make a perception check. Eight, eight. Yeah, I'm not very perceptive. Um, I rolled a nine. You look in with your little light on the end of your rifle. It is dark in this room. There's not a lot of windows. It's very kind of it kind of almost is built underneath another building but you kind of look in and this is an office space there's a number of cubicles maybe like 12 cubicles um and then you see a door like immediately to the left um that says engineering above mm-hmm. it i think that looks en- interesting engineering. engineering close one orange close very close very close well let's go I don't, I don't think we care about these little small rooms it doesn't seem like they're of importance anything cool in a small room Make a investigation check. Disadvantage. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll walk with him uh, with light. So, okay. okay I, I know sure. he can't see in the dark. Order. I know he can't see in the dark. So. Nine. <laughs> Nine. Nine. Um, you find a can of cola coca. They got cocaine in these cans. <laughs> <laughs> no, they got they got in these cans. Yeah, I get I get zipped into the couch. You find yeah. a pair of eyeglasses that are cracked. Do they look ridiculous on me? They do. They are a nice circle, perfect <laughs> circle like. Oh wait, I put I put my fucking pit vipers on my forehead. <laughs> oh okay. yeah, and then, and then put, them, put them on. <laughs> smart, wow. smart. Um, I, I think you should stick with the other glasses, to be honest. Yeah, these are uh, a little tiny. They don't really fit your face. Here, you put them on. Okay, and I, I put them on. Oh, I take my, I take my glasses and I put them on my head and I try on them. How do I look? They kind of fit you perfectly. Oh, I'm not gonna wear them though. It's kind of, it kind of hurts my head. They're a little blurry. You know what I mean? <laughs> and I take them off and I put my other glasses back on. All right. No, actually, I take them off because it's dark. Yeah, I'm I don't want to wear Corey, my sunglasses yeah. in the dark. Yeah, what definitely I, don't want to wear them. Corey, Corey Hart. Douchebag. No, I'm Corey Hart. <laughs> I wear my sunglasses at night. No, that guy. No. But I assume right. you guys go into the engineering doors. Yeah. You With take... gun drawn, I'm, I'm breaching again. Yep, you look on in there, make a perception check again. You guys are being very cautious. Well, at least he is. Fuck! Three. Three? <laughs> I, I mean, I'll four. take a look, too. If sure, I'm make a perception four, check. man. I'm lucky. Eight. <laughs> um, you look in, and once again, very dusty space. But you notice immediately there is like a, uh, like a command center room, like a kind of like the cockpit of the CBCP, 
but bigger. Like there are probably 20, 30 stations in this room and just walls of like monitors and systems oh, and, Lord. but they're all shut off and it's all powered down. And you see another door um, that is called, uh, what would it be called? Power. Maintenance? No. Electrical? <laughs> it, it would just be, Electrical. it would just be called the light bridge. Oh, okay. <laughs> now, you know, that, that, that's valid that way. Nice and, make, it, make it nice and easy for, for yep. the workers, no lie. But you well, come into this room. I bet you that's the one. It says the uh, light, light bridge. bridge. I bet you that's it. Wow, good one, Sigurd. Thank you, thank you. All right, let's go in. You guys go <laughs> in, and immediately it, it, it sounds different. The When you open this door, it makes an echo. As you open it into a massive chamber of just giant gears and machines, and it, it's walking into a massive industrial center. Oh, great. And you see, like, it's probably like 100 feet tall. Who knows how far back it goes, just full of machinery and mechanisms that you guys do not understand. Mm. And you are on, like, a metal grate catwalk looking into this pitch dark room. And every sound you make just kind of echoes and bounces off metal tubes and... Wow, this place sucks. I agree. Do I? Do we see? <laughs> <laughs> do we see any like anything that like sticks out that looks like uh, somebody would do something like standing while standing there? I guess like a little like make a perception check. What are they doing there? <laughs> maybe maybe like controlling something. Uh, nine. It, this just looks like um, a room for mechanics to kind of be able to access the mechanism behind the light bridge. There's not like necessarily a station here in a spot Is that there you could see. A big lever, perhaps. <laughs> yeah, true. Or make a perception check. <laughs> Dirty 20. Dirty 20. It is very dark in here. Um, and you're kind of looking around. You don't see anything on this level. And you kind of you have this instinct to kind of look down more. And so you kind of pull his rifle and you pull it over like the railing and point it down. And you see that there are probably like four more levels that go down of this catwalk. Um, and you see kind of down near the fourth level at the very end, there's like a somewhat of like a control panel maybe, um, but it's oh, not making brother. it light. It's also somewhat unpowered. It, it seems like this facility needs power. Oh. Uh, yeah. Power cell. Yeah, but I don't know where the power... I thought the power generator would have been inside the building. That's, right. Maybe it's on the outside. Maybe it's on the roof. Um, make investigation checks. Oh, I'm so good at those. I mean, the generator might just be by the control panels downstairs. Four. 19. 19? Yeah. Thank God for this guy. Four. You're... Yeah. You point that out, and you guys start walking in that direction, like looking for the stairs down there. Yeah. And you guys get about halfway there before you're kind of walking down the stairs and you realize there's like a big diagram on the wall. It's super dark, mm. so it's kind of hard to notice. And so you kind of shine your rifle towards this big diagram that is kind of not complete instructions on how to operate this thing. But um, it gives you the, the impression that there is, this thing takes an absurd amount of power. Like a massive amount good. of power that could only be generated through a local power station. Well, it looks like we're gonna have to find this local power station. But that might, yeah. oh god, that might give like power to like this whole subsection. That could be Wait, terrible. What about that power thing at that shopping outlet? That wasn't a power station, was it? It was, it was a substation. And you kind of recognize similar. that it probably would have got its power from Bridgedale. Because you also remember the mine that you were in <clears throat> said that it was waiting for power from Bridgedale. Mm, so it okay. powered, like, the entire region, it seems. How the fuck are we going to get to Bridgedale without the fucking bridge? Well, most we of the city is Bridgedale? on this side of the bridge. Yeah, we're So most of the city is over here. Yeah. So the substation is probably on this side. So we we can... Uh, okay, here, here's what I think we need to do. We go back to... Oh my yeah, God. His voice is just echoing. 
through this whole room as he talks to you. We go back to Omega. 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 <laughs> and then uh, we ask her if she knows where the 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 power local power supply unit is for Bridgedale, and then yeah. she can, you know, like pinpoint the location. Hopefully, location. maybe. Kitchen, kitchen, kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah. I, anyways, I think we should get out of here. Here, for real. It's scary. Real. 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 Um, anyways, and I start walking uh, to leave. All right. Uh, Me too. This you guys start heading out. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna speed walk. I'm like jogging. Yeah. For sure. Since, since they're gone for probably a good like forty, almost an hour, they're down there. Mm-hmm. But eventually, you start seeing. Orin and Sigurd coming up the ladder they went mm-hmm. down and coming back on the overpass and kind of oh, jogging God. towards the, the machines. Um, it is still a heavy wind, so as you guys, especially once you get to the overpass, it's immediately like... Oh, I jump. Do I move? <laughs> like, do I move? You do. You go... Even, <laughs> even me? Um, yeah, less so, but a little bit. Back, man. <laughs> you got a lot of resistance. I'm like 600 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> it's very heavy winds. No. Um, okay. I, I I like hold on to the back of uh, orange shell For so sure. I don't fly. And you guys make away. your way over to the tall machines and gather with the group. They um, come up. I assume you all gather in the big one. I yes. While I was on the lookout. Make a perception check. We have to find. You want to make a perception check? The local check power I guess station. Fine. Nat twenty, baby. I should be good. I should be good at these. Different dice. That's not bad. That's gonna be a nineteen. Nineteen. Yeah. All right. Um. You. You notice the local. You still power notice that station. man working on the thing way up at the skyport. I, mean, I haven't seen that guy. Yeah. And then so I don't even know. He is exists. there like a ladder up there, or is it just floating? It's a whole ass building. Like it's there's a spire that comes down from the ground, and then it it kind of builds up into you know, a thinner structure up towards the sky, like a needle. I think it might be worth it to go up there. Up, and then up where? Just next to that, not directly next to it, but maybe a few blocks away, is that big plume of steam that's just kind of coming out of the ground into the sky. I'm going to go up there. Up where? Would... Up to see the guy. There's a guy? Well, yeah, okay, we'll... so you said that you were that we were looking for a power station. Oh, yeah, I, I still have to go to Omega about that. But first, well, because I guess the, the window is in the where Omega is. So I go, I want to look up towards where this guy, quote-unquote, is. All right. And with my binoculars. Make a perception check at advantage. It's Calgan. <laughs> that would be great. No, he'd be purple then. It's Noro. Purple. Uh, 17. Purple. 17? Yes. You kind of look up there and you see Noro. You yeah. see you see what looks like a man with kind of pointed ears and kind of sh- shortish, completely white hair. A very oh. elderly man. He's kind of hunched over and he's got like a wrench and he's just working on some kind of um, engine part for this vehicle he's working on. Um, and you see him just working he's... away at it. Oh, oh, wow. There actually is somebody. That's, that's fucking wow, crazy. there's a guy. I can't believe wow. they were telling the truth. <laughs> well, I mean, we're, we're in like the middle of nowhere. There's a bunch of locusts everywhere. I thought everyone here would have been like dead. Hmm. Like this, they're pretty... Uh, I guess they don't go for guys. They just go for Dartha. I guess so. I guess what, so. What, what, why is, what? Why do they go for her? Though? I, we still haven't figured that out because yet. Because she's sh- shrouded. What the, like the, the, like yes. the shackled king guy. The fog is coming. Ah! I see um, purple fog sometimes when I'm stuck in a trance. Oh, that sounds terrible. Mm-hmm. That can't be. That can't be good for your your mental health. No. Can't be. Well, it makes me special, and that's why I'm the captain. You were the captain before this ha- started happening, didn't it? Yeah. But so it isn't just... this just like that? Weren't you like, you know what? Let's just go see this special. guy, right? Let's just go see this guy. Wait, but first, I walk to Omega. All right. <laughs> excuse me, Omega. She appears in her blue hologram form. I say, excuse me, Omega, right after oh. he does. Yes, Captain. Uh, what about my hello? Hello, I was the one who booted you up. Oh. Uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> well, I, I only refer to the captain. That's, well, that means that means she's oh, not going to say hello oh. to anybody on the on the on our team. Nope. Uh, you say right so, now, Captain. Please. Thank oh. you. Yeah. Um, Thank you. Well, uh, uh, can you ask her then kind of you, like, about uh, oh. where this local <laughs> sub power station is uh, for Bridgedale? Thank you very much. No. But also, I've had the great idea. I'm gonna. Um, I'm just gonna walk hey, up. Oh my god! Can you tell me? I'm, st- I'm sorry, shaking her shoulders. About... <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> the monk? Really? <laughs> yeah, I'm shaking your damn shoulder. No. You're pissing We're me off. We're not getting yeah. into this. You're <laughs> pissing me We're off. We're not getting into this. Guy. Pissing me off. <laughs> you have uh, a swift kick. You're not ass. worth the key points, bud. Well, you don't have to use key points to punch me, anyways, for your main, your normal no, damage. But I would just like. Omega's just watching right. you fight. So, um, Omega, do you know anything about um, Bridgedale? Was Bridgedale here be- before? Bridgedale was here before the war. I'm not too familiar with much of the, the city layout or the city itself. I just know of its position in the world as a trade city mostly can you, um what do you need can you get the map of it any way possible captain um <laughs> yeah thank you um so like, are you can able you to what I said? show like the like uh just a layout or yes. a map of the city or do you know where I, w- I would love to uplink with the city and be able to provide that but unfortunately my communications center is down maybe that guy so i'm there unable to communicate her. with the city could you he tell me her. if he is working. if there was a power source for the bridge where you think it might be or where it would be logical to be well apparently it's for the whole entire like sub area like or for the sub area this entire like, like region well i imagine the light bridge operates off of a power station mm-hmm. probably powers the city yeah where that would be it probably wouldn't be too far from the light bridge okay what does a power station look like it depends on the style there were many styles in our day and age but uh i believe bridgedale operated in an underground based power station if i remember can you show like a picture of what, what it would look like? Like, um, yeah, yeah, I, Malachi's like, yeah, models? I think I might have one. And she kind of <clears throat> generates oh a picture of what it I'm might look really like, at least the like, top. Mm-hmm. And you see, it's like finally, get to kill those finally rocks. It very much just looks like a kind of like parking lot, um, except there's kind of like a concrete, small dome structure that kind of comes up a little bit, and then there's like a door here. That leads down into it, so um, but it, it maybe occupies like a fifty by fifty space. Mm-hmm. Well, don't we need Larry? No, no, I was just no, just being silly. silly. Just being silly. Um, well, should we go see the man? Yeah, maybe first. he can. Up, he might up know. Link he might know her. this area. Like, Let's maybe go he see can the man up first. link her. Com- Communications. All right. Anything else, Captain? Uh, not currently, no. All right. Hey, Omega. Omega. <laughs> Omega. Can you she tell? Disappears. <laughs> hey, Dartha. Dartha. Uh, hey, Dartha. Captain to you. Hey, Dartha. That's Captain. Hey, Dartha. Dartha. Hey, Dartha. Dartha. Hey, Dartha. Dartha. She's not answering, man. What? What's up with that? I'm Does she hate us up. or something? I'm going towards the man up there. I want to go see him. Well, I'm he is go a him. bit down the the walkway. We should, we could drive so the you guys will have to there. like descend into the city and then walk like up, maybe oh. like half a mile down the coast. Can the we walk the small one closer by any chance or no? So the bridge itself is probably like 50 feet off of the ground level. And there's not exactly like... I mean, there probably is an exit ramp if you kind of go back a little bit. And then you could take the thing down into the city. Otherwise, you're just kind of jumping off 50 feet. Sure, you could do. It just if we it would land be very on our loud, feet, and if though, you land wrong, we're, we're not getting back up. But you never know; the RNG could make us land on our feet. Yeah, <laughs> but that's not a good idea. That's up to you. I think we should find an exit and drive the big one over there. Cause here's here's what I'm thinking. He's uh, he's working on it. Looks like probably like the the engine compartment, right? And we just picked up that engine. So what if? He needs a whole new engine. Boom, we have it right here for him. Yeah, I know some of those words. It's a thing that makes it move. I think I know what an engine is. It's a thing you pulled out of that that rusty box. Right. Would you I'm say that a horse time. is an engine? So are no. you following his plan and starting to drive for an exit? Well, yeah, because I guess we'll load up. Go. Are we what? leaving the big one here? Or are we? I just think, yeah, we can just lock it. I mean, it's not like anyone can drive small it. small one, then. It's yeah. not like anyone can drive it without your permission. I'm going to shut this down. Okay. Yeah. And lock it up. He doesn't okay. respond. <laughs> you shut it down. The the blast doors close. The systems go offline. Mm-hmm. We gotta lock the, the slide. Oh, uh, 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 oh. Uh, uh, Does anybody need ammo before we go? I don't want to stock I, up I on ammo. I forgot too, don't worry. Vashka? Uh, yeah, Vashka. Vashka. Hey, Vashka, are you coming with? Yeah. You don't oh. have to. I'll come. Can you, 
Can you fly me up there? Well, can't. Isn't it Is like he a pretty building? Scrawny? He's very scrawny, and Isn't his it? wings are like ripped, and like you can see some burns, and like Aww. he barely is able to fly himself. That's why he turns into a bird Aww. usually when he flies. Can you um, turn into a really big bird? Good. Well, I mean, we could probably just walk up the stairs, no? Probably. I guess so. Uh, it looks like a building, I think. It is definitely a building. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's go there. And then if, the, if this right. man so is So you useless. guys begin turning the, the smaller vehicle, the bipedal tank around, and you start walking back down the highway to yeah. an exit. And then you take this exit down into the city. Um, Can we do a driving check? Yeah, make an intelligence check. Uh -huh. DC's going to be a little higher this time because of the nature of the city, and these things are not meant to be walked through the city. 18. 18? Yep. All right. Yeah, or I guess they are. <laughs> <laughs> well, they definitely aren't. You're definitely, like, kind of scraping against buildings, and, like, occasionally you'll actually cut a corner, and the building will kind of collapse behind you. Oh, ah. Jesus. Yeah, um, oh, but... my God. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. <laughs> you eventually kind of make your way over there, and you kind of notice as you're driving, you kind of eventually are in a straight shot heading towards the spire. And you notice the guy up top kind of turn his head and he looks at this machine walking towards the spire. He can't see you waving. <laughs> he just sees Dang the, is the there tank a, rolling towards his... Is there a catwalk on this one? Yeah. yeah. I go out. You start waving. You're underneath it, though. I don't... He, he kind of looks. And then you see he, like, picks up a stick off the ground and he starts waddling back towards the center of the spire. Maybe he's and then he disappears from your frame of view. Maybe he's gonna meet us inside of the building. Maybe. Uh, Only one way to find well, out. Once we're like a couple of hundred yards away, probably get out and walk the rest okay. of the way. So you guys pull up, and you see it is actually a large like parking space area in front, and it's kind of beautiful. They've got like a little garden, like uh, mid pieces throughout the the parking lot. So you guys kind of pull up to that parking area, get out. You're still a couple hundred feet away from it. How many spots are we taking? Uh, at least like 40. Damn, we're dicks. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I need to learn how to park. I mean, I guess cars could park under because the legs only take up so much. Right. If only there were cars. Yeah, if only there were. I'm going to get a motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to leave us. Um, no, just... But you guys look at this building and it is quite a unique architecture. Like It's, it's very <laughs> large and round at the base. And then as it goes up, it just gets slimmer and slimmer until it becomes a needle. And then it kind of goes up way high in the sky where all these other, like, docks start coming off of it. Oh, we're in Seattle. It's, it's <laughs> sure. Um, but you guys pull up space needle. <laughs> I don't even know to the door and you see it's just called the Sky Dock. And you sky see dock. underneath it, it says Velocitech. Velocitech. Mm. That's a crazy name. Is it? I try and open the door. It is locked. And you see there is like stuff pasted on it's a glass door and there is stuff like put on the inside like a black plastic or like paper or something kind of blocking your view from looking inside well i mean it's a glass door we could just break in what do you guys think i'm sure that's a great first impression yeah maybe we should, should we just start screaming <laughs> hello um hello you guys knock and you kind of stand there for a minute and then eventually you see a piece of paper and a pull, and you see what looks like a, a red face, scaly, and like a lizard looking eye oh. looking at you. A uh, and then hello? the paper goes back, and you hear something unlock, and then the door kind of opens. And standing there, you see a very young, maybe like 18 year old red dragonborn, um, kind of in patchwork leathers. Wow. And you see kind of standing behind him is probably an even younger, maybe 17-year-old green female dragonborn who kind of stands behind him, shy and timidly. And he kind of stands there with a confidence. Who are you? What well, do you want? Dragons. Word. Um, I didn't know dragons. Were... Well, uh, oh, but I say wow. you're, you're very beautiful. Yeah, what, what are you? The, thank what, you. What the hell are you? No I've never seen that dragon. shade of red in a man before. I've never seen a walking turtle before. Touche. I definitely don't know that word. <laughs> <laughs> I said it before. He kind of like Seagrid said it he before. He looks at the sky, and it is starting to get a little dark out. The sun is beginning to set somewhat soon. Oh, Even better, can you say douche, meaning touche? Touche. Touche. <laughs> touche. 
to shit. And he kind of... <laughs> can I trust you? Um, yeah. I think so. Um, yeah, we're... we're just trying to get the bridge back on. Are you concerned about the bugs? <clears throat> I pull, I pull and out. And he opens the door. Come in, quick, quick. Okay. okay. And you guys go in? Our yeah. entire party is now in here? Yeah. yeah. We, okay. we locked the, the mm-hmm. cars, yeah. Yeah. Walkers, yeah. So you guys pile in, he closes the door behind you, and you see him kind of is like a big chain wrapped around the door, and then like a padlock, and he kind of puts it on and locks the key, takes it, and he puts it around his wrist. You get arcane. And then um as you guys go in, it is like um walking into like a mm, like a resort lobby. It's very spacious and there's tons of seats around, and there's like these pillars with kind of nice decorations, and there's like large counters with number of computers for maybe assigning certain flights or something. This seemed to be some kind of flying transportation hub. Um, but it has been now overtaken with tarps and small tents and bedrolls and stuff. And you see sitting in the middle huddled is probably 15 or so children to teenage aged dragonborns. Oh my god. Who are all kind of huddled together of various colors, kind of looking at you all scared. And you hear walking down the steps from behind them is <clears throat> some male figure coughing. <clears throat> and you see an old man walking down with a cane. <laughs> Finally, some people. <laughs> Wait, and a he, man or a dragon boy? A man. He's okay. a human. Well, an elf, as you could tell by his oh, okay. ears. So an old elf? Him. He's an old, gray-haired Oh, elf. so he's an old yeah, elf. Yeah, he's an old elf. He's old. This is... Um, hello. Hello. Uh, Hello, sir. Right. And, uh, <laughs> and he kinda, as he approaches, uh, you see two of the kids kind of get up and they push one of the furniture seats up for him. And he kind of sits down. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, what brings you here? Um, um traveling. The, we're trying to get the light bridge on. Yeah. Why? So we can take our big giant ships across. I to, I, I, I I seen that. We're going to Blightwood. Where did where, where did you get that? Hmm? Mm. The swamp. Yeah, swamp we by, found by, it. By I pull out, I pull out the map because I, I Duskfang drawn. Huh? In Duskfang? What, where is that? What the hell is Duskfang? We That's... came from Huensville. I'm not familiar with Huensville. Um, I pull out a, our, little, a little drawn map. It's to the like, east, around the mountains. Yeah, it's like somewhere over like here. It's like a, it's like it's not like a detailed map, but it's got like the general idea. Yeah. He kind um, of he, he looks at it. Oh, um, well, I'm not familiar with that place, but um, and he kind of points in a different direction, kind of down here, in a more southeast direction. Maybe hey, we'll wait for Corey. <laughs> I think he was interested in this. Is there anything? anyone would like to do while we pause this conversation with him um what are they are all the dragon are they like is it like a mishmash of dragonborns or is it only like red and green it's a mishmash okay. there's like black green even some like gold some they, they vary <clears throat> i like i go i go up to one of the metallic ones and i'm like <laughs> you see one of the older ones kind of steps in the way <laughs> Oh, sorry. I've, um, very interesting. I've never seen this before. I walk up like one and I was like, I understand. I've also recently been coming into contact with a lot of these type of people. But what might be more appropriate is if you say hi first. Oh, uh, hi. Hi? And she kind of is just scared and nervous of you. Is, but she reciprocates. Is your skin made of gold? Or does it just look like gold? Just looks like gold. Oh. It scales. Oh, right. She kind of sticks her arm out for you to feel. Oh, Charles, just remember 15 will get you 20. I'm not old, Charles. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Thinking of the campaign. Right, I have Orange. scales too. I forgot. She kind of touches your scales. Oh. Can I look at You're wetter than I am. I'm wetter? I'm sure. most. <laughs> yeah. Can I look around and see like you're if right these back. people look like destitute, or hmm? if they like if they look destitute or if they like they look, look like pretty they... hungry. They look pretty okay. famished. Um, I'm gonna make food for them. All right. Now that Corey's back, you continue the conversation. He tells you, uh, yeah, from Duskfang. There's a city called Merkmire there. That's actually where we're all from. 
made across through the swamp. Fortunately, I managed to fix up a hauler and drive halfway here before it shit out on us a on what? the middle of the road. Just a car. Oh, what? what? Um, yeah, what is that? Is that like? Is that like what we're? What it's a vehicle. We have? It's those rusted things all over the streets. Right. Yeah, we took an engine. I mean, a, a block of metal out of one of them. That was pristine. Like, well, good for you. That's that's. It's a, good i don't know we just thought it could be useful a lot of cars yeah. have those but unfortunately it's all the other parts that are just right hard to find i see oh um, well we but the machine you came in that's interesting yeah it's ours i happen to be fixing something up there and i just happen to need a power transfer unit that i think your machine might just have mm. to really save us all here well, let's hear how about, about we we transport you instead? How, how about this? Well, I'm trying to get to the the Vale Storm Isle, so unless this thing uh, has some kind of water mechanic and swim across the sea, then I don't. You, you I'm, seem, I'm just trying to get these kids to safety. You seem Maybe rather just take them to cart. That's probably safer than anywhere. That... With these machines. Somewhat. Do you think you could help us repair ours uh, in exchange? I have spent a month trying to repair the one up there. I pull, I... Out, I pull out a shit ton of gold. Hey, what is that? Where'd you get that? I have gold. Oh, okay. I would love. I'll take a look at it. Sure. Listen, if if you can get our comm relay back up, our, our link, then you can have the... Power. Yeah, so we need our communication. But otherwise, this, the power transfer you're talking about, what is it going to do to our vehicle? Make it well, your point. vehicle would probably lose power capability. Make it not run. Not run. But that's no bueno. The vehicle up there would be able to run, and I will hook you guys up. I promise you that. I mean, mm, insight check. Insight check. <laughs> and I don't believe him anyway. I'm not giving it up. I'm not giving it up. I'm not going to insight check since everybody else is doing it. So. I'm only good at perception. I'm only good at being um, an eye user, dude. I am so Shit. good at insight checks, but I also rolled really bad. Did I roll an insight check? So that's going to be a nine. Nine. I rolled okay. an 11. 11. Six. 14. 14. You telling the truth? You all detect the truth from him. What? I mean, how are you going to know like where to find us anyways? We'll, f we'll figure out the details. But mm. if you help me get these kids somewhere safe. I mean, Their parents went missing like a month ago. And at which point the red one kind of steps up. Yes. Is it? And you guys came in that machine. Yeah. Do you think you guys could check out a spot for us? Maybe. Maybe. Depends. Did you see the building with the big glass ceiling? I mean, I was yeah. think I was I was kind of interested in it. it our, looks like our, our parents went there a little bit of over a month ago to look for food, yeah. and they haven't returned. We it was half the group went, and then they didn't return. So then the other half went to look for them, and then they didn't return. And we're we're really worried, and we don't want to send more people. I mean, mm. I would go, but then who would watch the kids? Well. I mean, mm. good boy. How do you deal with the the bugs around here? We hide in the basement every night. Do they only? Which, come as a matter of fact, night? we should probably start heading to the basement now. Oh, okay. Do they only do come they out come at night? Do they come inside the building? They haven't come inside yet. That might change tonight. Am I right? Ah, uh, we're not staying in here. We're, 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 I think we should go to our ship for the night and lock I ourselves also, in there. I also like. I believe him, but then when he was like, "We'll figure out the details." Being an insightful person, I feel like I would get like a twitch in my stomach, like, and also like the shroud thing plus kids. I don't want the kids to be around there, so yeah, there's yeah I'm sure tons of reasons not to want to stay the night here. Okay, but that's for you guys to. I think I like say, any, I think I think like you guys could, but I don't think you should just because they're gonna I focus should. on you. So we should but take I you should to the also ship. Also, not be alone. Right. So somebody, I I, I don't want to stay here personally. I don't, I don't like this you. old guy. I know, but I don't like this old guy, and I'm not, and I'm not letting you on my ship by yourself. The so small one is mine. We we decided on that. Yeah. That you get the big one, and I get the small one. Yes. I can stay here. Um, you said. Yeah. It may be a good idea if more of us go with you. We have to decide if now. Though. They have not been attacking. Tick tock, tick tock. The dragon folk. Then. 
what's to say they're gonna start tonight? Well, it's most likely they're gonna come the, after you. Looks like we don't got a choice. I'm, well, you can just grab her and bring yeah, her around to the ship. Her. We're not that far away from the ship. I'm starting. I'm. I'm. You I'm guys. walking out the door now. I, I listen to the outside of the door. Do I hear any buzzing yet? Um, you don't. The sun is still up, but you can see oh, it's starting. Exactly to I open the door. I open the door. Let Let's go, guys. Come on. We got to go. We'll be back tomorrow morning. Womp, womp. Yeah, what was your saving throw? Not very good. A ten. You might want to do that. Yikers. There she go, Catatonic. Yummers. 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 You're going to want to pick her. <laughs> <laughs> so, as you guys are beginning to turn back, um, you are you turn around, and as the door opens, and you look outside, it's like as if the door opened into a new dimension, everything begins to disappear into this purple dust as you are starting to slowly fall into the zero gravity of this Boy, realm once again. Um, make... A wisdom saving throw. Try to and focus focusing on that mark and remembering what she told you. Make it an advantage to try to control your shift. Um, mm -hmm. How far is the run to our ship? Twelve. A couple hundred feet. You asked to park a couple hundred feet from the place. So twelve. Make it. Um, I'm gonna haste you, but you can't sprint. You can sprint. You could have been. Here. Yeah. So you you start course. running even yeah, despite true. this this thing happening, and then you just start losing control and you kind of fall. You watch as she falls to the ground, unconscious. You catch. Make I cast taste check. on him as soon as he catches her. I okay. cast taste on him. Athletics. Yeah. Uh, twelve. Twelve. Sure. You manage to catch her and pick her up, and he cast haste on you so that you're able to walk twice as fast. Since you can't even run. <laughs> We're just deck saves. Well, right? yeah, it's, it's just deck it's, it's, it's a deck advantage. save, so I'll just I'll sprint. Okay, make three deck saves for me. Got advantage because yeah. And it's... as you fall unconscious, as you're falling unconscious, kind of in his arms, you're kind of like One the area around you disappearing advantage. into this purple fog. When you look you off in the distance, yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. you got two and you more. see that pillar. I that, have zero that decks. That column of steam. Did you roll a two? And as things disappear and the white orbs begin to appear where two consciousness fans. seems to sit, you just see it's a like DC a fifteen, bro. Of white sitting in the tunnel beneath some know, kind of dome. Ridiculous. That's where they all are. And that's where the steam is coming out of. Is this dome? Ding 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 ding. Um, and then uh, it all goes purple. And I need you to make another wisdom saving throw as you get to. The vehicle. I failed too. An advantage or normal? Add advantage because because you're you you've been here before. The kind of fear of it is kind of subsiding, and now you're just like you're you're meditating. You're trying to focus. You're trying to get control. What was that? I failed twice. Um, DC fifteen seems a little <sighs> high in my opinion. That's <laughs> the choice. What? I'm so back. Twenty one. Twenty one. Okay. So. He trips twice along the way, and <laughs> the second time, you manage to hit your head a little uncomfortably hard on the concrete, and you take two points of bludgeoning damage, but it manages yeah, to, it manages to snap you out of this, this state you're in for a moment, and you're able to then focus and bring yourself out of it, and the purple begins to subside. And you could see the sun setting as Orin picks you back up and begins running towards the ladder, probably 20 feet from it. Um, but you're conscious again. You're back. The voices subside. And you begin to hear I buzzing yeah. coming from... Bugs. I, bugga, 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 bugga. Yeah, he is running. Is he faster than what I would be? He's probably um, not that fast. Can't well, you guys are basically at the ladder. So okay. I assume he gets the ladder. He kind of tosses you onto it once he sees your wake. You I start climbing. Hop in. Up, you, you all climb in, lock it up. And as soon as whoever's the last one locks the door, you watch as the sun sets behind the mountains. And you just hear the cacophony of buzzing <laughs> fill the sky. And I open in about a eyes. minute, what did you, you say? I open the, 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 sh the, the gutter, the gate. You the run gate. and you open the whole door. I want to see if I can see like where they're shooting out from. And you do. It happens to be facing the column of steam. And you watch as this column of steam that's going into the sky as it turns dark, just they kind of fly up through it and out of wherever the steam is coming from and just start Lock filling the, the sky. Oh, yeah. Like a strange dark cloud, and then you watch as a bunch of them start coming right towards the machine in which you are in, and start peckering 
the hole. Well, at least we know where they're coming from. The steam, yeah. the steam hole. There's mm. huge, huge amounts in there. I saw it. Oh, great. Um, when I was unconscious. But you guys are inside the machine. I, is it on? Is Vashka with yeah, us? Yeah, right now. Vashka is with you. Um, yeah. Well, does it have to be fully on to, like, open the, the like, blinds? Um, you, you could, like... Put in, like, a accessory mode, yeah, essentially? Yeah. That's what I wanted. Because I don't want to, okay. like, waste, like, power sure. since we're not moving. So you have it in, like, a, a, a mode where the power is on, but it's not, like, running. Mm-hmm. And the, the, the windows are open. Is so the lights, anything... the, would the lights be on? The spotlights? They, they would be. Mode? You can turn them off if you want. I want to. I want to shine the lights. Just that. I'm like I'm playing like like like. <laughs> and you watch as they all dodge as you start doing that, and you're just getting like the tail ends of them. It doesn't look fun. like it does any damage That's, to them. This is just fun. For They're me. just like that away from me. <laughs> <laughs> and then I turn them off because I'm bored. Right. You're bored. You turn it off. And I close the window. And you close the window. Is there anything anyone would like to do? Pray. Yeah, I, I, I think I would also like to pray. I'm storing a fourth level wall of flame in my room storing, as well as a um, cure wounds. All right. I would like to pray for uh, Dark Thor's protection, specifically. <laughs> because yeah, okay. 16? I will also just pray. Listen, right. if, if, you, if you fall to this, this place, there's probably bad news for all of us. Uh, may may Sernara yeah, so give me one. strength to Honestly, focus that, on this like, therapy session to, between to Sigurd and time. Dartha? Yeah. She's, she's getting more proficient at it. Mm-hmm. Learning it. What was your yeah. religion check? 16. 16. Yeah, 16. What was... Uh, 17. 17? Yes. Alright. Um, oh, I'm going to like focus eight. on meditating and like the ability to clear my mind. Oh, 18. I have plus one for religion, so 18. Yeah. 8. I don't know. I wish I had any to say other than like religion. a mental force field. Like, put, a, like, put base ten intelligence. Just trying to fortify your mind and mm-hmm. stay out of the shroud. Mm-hmm. Trying to mm-hmm. keep it out. Yes. Um, make just a wisdom check for me. Um, you guys send your thoughts out there to Sernara. It is horrifying trying to pray in this moment because you know you're used to the quiet and there is it is a hailstorm hitting this this thing with. Humming like none other. Five. Five. I feel very confident on this. I'm also yeah. gonna ritual cast silence around us. Okay, okay. So that that, that helps. Out. So we can focus on praying. So you ritual cast silence and you're all sitting in it, just getting that brief respite <laughs> from the hum yeah. for like ten oh, minutes. Thank God, dude. <laughs> mm-hmm. Wow. Um, finally. Does that mean we get advantage? <laughs> no. You send your really prayers out there and Unfortunately, not much comes back to you. Is there anything else anyone would like to do this night? Yeah, I'd like to run a therapy session. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're doing this tonight. What, what else it, do you got in to do? The you know, I guess that's silence. true. We can't really do much else. Well, I don't need that. How long does silence yeah, have for like minutes. 10 minutes? Okay. <clears throat> I, I, go, I go up to Sigurd. Yeah. Okay, you ready? Uh, yeah, fine. It's not like we have anything better to do anyways. Hey, Dartha. Could you come with me into this barracks room? What are you doing in there? Um, just, uh, I just need you. I need you. <laughs> I just want you. Orin, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Orin, I think you're a little old for me and we're not even the same species. No, so that's not what I'm weird. talking about. Could you just come into the room, please? <laughs> are you sure? Yes. Am I going to be involved in this conversation at um, all? Or are you leaving me okay. out Okay. You... Uh, I'll call you in if I need you. Okay. Need him for what? What's going on right now? Just come in here. <laughs> okay. Uh, I I grabbed two chairs to sit in the center of the room, one for Sigurd and one for Dartha. And Sigurd's already sitting yeah, down. Yeah, already sitting. Down. So um, crisscross applesauce. Could you please in the chair. sit in the empty chair? Hello, Dartha. I'm being forced against my will to do this, and uh, just like you are, so. But we'll, we'll hopefully come out better people for this, or something like that. I'm just leaning up against the This is a little ridiculous. Well, could you please sit down? What 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 value does this have? Yeah. Do you really want me to like actually just be like, yeah, absolutely, Sigurd. I absolutely forgive you, and I have no problems well, with your no, personality that's not or the your point. voice. That's, that's, that's not the well, well, you're jumping that gun way now. too hard now. Um, we're not we're not going that far. I just that's, I just need you to sit there, and I need you. 
We, we can, are you, could you sit, please? Please, 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 Okay, please. Dartha takes a seat. Captain, thank you. <laughs> so I wanted to start off to have uh, both parties voice their concerns with each other. Okay. There's no concerns, Who I just don't like you. Who wants to go first? Um, well, she already voiced her concerns, clearly. So you just don't like Sigurd, okay? I don't like him, and I think he's very cocky. He's arrogant. For um, no reason. I don't think I've been that cocky recently. Personally. What about that thing that made noise? Because you had to press a button? Well, I didn't know what it did. And then you just got really upset. And we're, you know, we're learning all this technology together, still. You know, it's like, you know. I mean, your your big one probably has that same kind of button, and it's also probably not marked. So if you were to hit it, it'd probably do the exact same thing. But, but it's you wouldn't big know. Big and red. Is it actually big and red? I don't actually. That's know. That's what you said. I know. I was just making shit up. I don't know if it would actually <laughs> be big, big and red. red. The horn, but even would, on both, what would the horn like button? Normally, a little. Yeah, I don't, I, honestly, I don't know what it would. I would say this is like a small green button. Oh, so it's not big and red. I was lying when I said it was big and red. <laughs> um. Well, yeah, I was just pressing a lot of buttons because I wanted to see what they did, and that one was a horn, or whatever. It made that loud noise. Um, just, so that, that is my fault, but, you know, I had I to... I just think it would be healthy to hash out the differences between right. you two, um, because you two have been driving a wedge into this group a little bit, I think. Um, I don't see how that's possible. Yeah, I also agree. It never, that Stone could never happen. Stonewalling your emotions won't help anything, Dorothy. Um, Vashka kind of peeks into the room. I'm like not now, Vashka. Yeah, not, not now, Vashka. Please. Oh, sorry. That's okay. Thank you. Listen, I have bigger things to deal with, and I'm mentally drained. Right. Oh, I, pull, I pull out so, my pipe and light it. Hey, no, no smoking in the in the ship. It's off limits, because it's mine. It's off limits. This is not a recounting of Professor Philip. I don't know who that is. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Professor Philip. <laughs> oh, oh, the, our, the 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 town therapist, right? Right. A recounting. Of <laughs> well, listen, <laughs> listen. I think what what uh, is best for the party is uh, you stay on your ship and I'll stay on mine. No, as soon as the bugs don't want to attack me anymore. But, no, well, we, you can stick we to have your to, stuff, no, no, and I will stick to mine. No, no, moving forward, we're gonna have to work together, right? Fine. When we do get in fights, we'll work as a team. No, and other than that, I don't think we need to talk. Dartha, I think it's best if we work as a team outside of just fighting, too. Right. I mean, out of all of it, this isn't like me trying to sound like arrogant or anything, but with our our party composition, I, we are not entirely the as smartest they're talking, bunch. I like, I right? turn around. I'm like, oh, so like, I can't do this. So I'm not built for this. You have your like intelligence. You're more like street smart, right? Which is Where's very that? good. And I'm not very street smart. And neither is Orin. I would say probably not. No, he, he's no. a farm guy, right? But I'm very book smart, right? So like, can you can we all remember mishmash. that you are the bad guy in this? And I don't know why you're trying to mediate with me right now. It's yeah. not that I'm the bad guy. Listen, you really? you're 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 missing your hey, you, you, your, your voices. Voice Stop. I, I pull out a piece of paper. Wait, it says you're missing the point where the reason I'm gonna... that doesn't light it. I don't. Think. I don't think no, it, it's it's not it just light. illuminates it. It's not a real light. light. That, that's enough to tell you to knock it off. I'm gonna throw a dart at you if you if you keep. Fun. I'm gonna close the door. I go and close the door. I'm inside. Hi. You walked in. I'm just I push you out. On the door I push you out and I close it. Bugs. And I close it. <laughs> Get out! <laughs> I push you out and close it. Go meet your brother, your dwarf brother. Silence is still there. Yeah, I can write on a piece of paper. Um, but uh, it says on the piece of paper. Uh, so they just write right. 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 to each other. Doesn't matter. I open back. This, this is why you have an eight in intelligence. Okay. I'm, I'm coming back in. I'm gonna um, dispel silence. They say, okay. I don't know either of you that well, but clearly you have issues with each other. I don't know what they are. I'm sure they have a lot of very valid reasons on both parties. I'm not, I don't hate her. No, I'm no, just no, trying no, no, to no, 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 reconcile. That, I don't even that, know who you are, man. That, you're, 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 putting, that, you're putting yourself too much into our party's problems, and you just got yes, here the other that's day. that's what you said. But you our, just got here I'm the other day. Party. 
I'm just. He's standing in the there. way. He is I'm, in the door. I'm, I'm also standing. You, in the you way. won't. They're they're both in the way. None of us. We can't get out. If, look, if Oren's in the middle of a door frame, it's over. Yeah, right here. Look, all a loud roar come from outside. Ash, probably, Far louder than any of the bugs you've heard before, and then it's very quickly followed by a. <clears throat> something slams against the leg of the machine. Flash, you feel the whole thing kind of shake. Huh? I look, look out the window. It's closed. Okay, so the very big problem that we will deal it's with closed. it later. It's closed right now. I closed it. Yeah, you're kind of all locked up and bunkered up. Like, you can't really look out there. I, I And then you hear... It's, it feels like something is climbing up on top of it. Does it look and like... You feel the thing. Does it look like the, small the metal is, like, yeah. bending where, like, his feet it, are the landing? The metal isn't moving or bending. All right, we're safe then. We're safe. I think we should just let it be. We can't do anything about it right now. On the ceiling. Just this massive bang. I you think can feel the whole thing just... This thing is magical. We'll be okay. We'll be okay. Is Surely. it dented or no? It's not dented. Yeah, I think we'll be okay then. If it didn't do anything on the first attack, we're probably alright. Um, well, listen. I, I want to formally apologize for what I did, right? Um, no, I, I need you to construct a sentence, and then I'll decide if I accept that based on how you construct your sentence, because I know you. Okay, all right. Also, it would be helpful for me to have some backstory. Okay, I want, I apologize for shooting your brother, yeah, and gonna, ultimately, I'm gonna go out there, actually. potentially oh, causing his demise. You can feel it walking across the top towards the front. From, well, from... Trying to stop him like, from I look transforming out the front into windows. whatever he was being transformed into. Mm -hmm. You just so see that. what looks like giant mandibles start coming down over from the top over the hood that basically are like almost the size of the entire vessel, like peeking down. You can't even see the size of the creature. Did you open the just its mandibles as it starts peeking down yeah, over I, the front. I, I guess I'd figure out how to open the blast doors. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, were they closed? Yeah, I had then closed them. Went the yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, did, I did close them when I turned the spotlights off. Mm -hmm. Then never mind. I don't know what blood. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I was afraid training. that he was going to <laughs> endure endless suffering in that whatever he was this, being transformed into. And model. also, <laughs> those tentacle things were going to get him anyway. Totally so I thought that if I could take him out instantly, he wouldn't have, have to suffer in whatever form he is currently suffering in now. That is why I did what I did, because I, I couldn't ball, have like... been been painless for what he was Sigurd, going through. Yeah. This is no longer an apology; it is a justification that I do Ooh. not wish to hear. Well, right, yeah, I guess. Feel... Oh God! As it almost like jumps off. Are we in between like? Buildings? And then you hear a distant. Jesus Christ! Oh, like off and... the ship. Yeah, okay. and then you just kind of hear the. As it kind of walks off. We're gonna have to fight that. <laughs> We're gonna have to fight that. We could just leave. We'll just take the long way to Bollywood. I love that we just hear this in the background and we and just like stone faced. Like... <laughs> it's like, yeah, this, 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 you know, this is probably what would actually be happening. With Vashko, what the fuck um, we can't that? see out the windows anyway. So. Right, exactly. There's no, there's only one happen. big window, anyways. There's only one. I think that's the only one. Great. And well, if you think it's a justification, I'm sorry. You use the word if there, which is also just I, makes your apology null. I don't I don't do apologies because <laughs> I, I don't at, talk to people. I look at Malachi. So your brother you're... was like the only person I talked to outside of my my family. So like sorry, yeah. I didn't mean to dump that on you. That's, but that's that is besides the point. Okay, I, I want to apologize that. so that we can move forward with the party and not have dangerous fights that could potentially cause to the downfall of our entire group and all of us die. Essentially, we're not fighting with each other. Yeah, we are. Well, we most definitely physically. are. This it has a it has a effect on the just everything entirely. I think because you know it just does. I think it's it's a psychological thing. You know, you deal with people more than I do. I we feel like you would never know. be friends. I don't want to. Be, that's fine. That's not. That's not. The, that wasn't the point of the apology. The point of the apology wasn't to become your friend. That was, it was never the point. I I understand that. I have gotten past that point. And so we were never so friends, anyways, in the beginning of the group, anyways. You never no, liked me from the beginning. So besides that, tank. we're that's fine. That's fine with me. It doesn't matter. But going forward, we need to be on not neutral, but like 
not hateful terms so that it doesn't affect everybody else, essentially, is what I mean. I don't want to blow so You sound shoes. like a know-it-all who doesn't want to admit that he's wrong. And I, I did admit like that I was wrong. No, no. I literally did. Multiple times I have over the, over the past, like, month. Kids. And then you just re- you just said, <laughs> well, this is why I thought I was right, even though you think well, I am wrong. No, I told you the reason I did it. I didn't well, say it was right. Not once did right. the words right come yeah, out of my mouth. But that was your justification. But I didn't say it was right. Action. You know what? I would have, like, a no, spoon or something. We're not moving past this. As long as we can work. It's good. In the future, it's, it's got like, like all that matters because it's honestly seen more flavorful more than, than anybody else. You and he makes it's full most of, like, of the the party preservatives and, and like, like other things that you defense. just don't get from like a natural so, you know, diet if, that you if he doesn't want to fight and for so it us, tastes then like we're kind of fucked. Crazy good, you know. Like, holy and <laughs> and I talk to him the most. Can I leave? Yet? Can I leave? I talk to him the most, and he's pissing me off by talking about it all the time. So, you know, it's kind of like now it's like. Guys, I think we're making you know. some really good progress here. I don't think so. The no, room is starting to smell like chili. Oh. <laughs> I love chili. It's up to you. I can't tell you. Well, that's, up to, that's up to those two. They're in the doorway. Do you leave? I'm still in the doorway. Do you go to the cockpit? Yeah, I want to leave. Alright, so she walks out and goes to the cockpit. While well, the rest of you sit in like the bedroom spot. Do you want some chili? No. I do not. Okay. I'm going to pull up. Oh. I'm gonna stay in the in the barracks. Okay. And once everybody leaves, I'm gonna close the door. It was not the Get best apology I've there. heard, but <laughs> you need some load time. I'm going to Thank I'm you. gonna like march to the cockpit and like Don't touch take anything a seat in there. And meditate. Alright. I yell from across the I'm, not gonna saving throw I'm so done. <laughs> I, I follow I follow <laughs> behind trying Martha to fortify with the my mind again. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like I think if we just if we just do that a couple more times, it might. As you like sit down to meditate, you feel the effect coming over you again. Might, so it's not it's just like fortifying your mind; you're also trying to resist it right now. I think I think if we did that a couple more times, Darth, I think it might help. Yeah. Yeah. So. Add one. Okay. Damn. So or. <laughs> I'm right, eating your my story. mind. I'm pretty frazzled right now. I'm pissed. Darth kind of sits down in the chair. Quietly, kind of closes her eyes, kind of meditating to herself. And you're kind of talking, eating your chili. And she's just not responding we're to doing, you. We're doing really good work here. Fuck, this chili's so good. Do you want some? You sure you don't want any? When you close your eyes, you are just thrown. You're, this isn't like a slight shift like you're used to. You are in the thick of it. You are surrounded by... And so you just get thrown into it. And... You open your eyes. She doesn't actually open her eyes, but your astral or your mental form opens your eyes and you're back in this purple clouded space. You are just surrounded by this light now. It is overwhelming and you're used to hearing like the whispers of human voices and different languages and all of that, but now it is just the humming and it's just static and noise just surrounding you, a cacophony of it. Um, make another wisdom saving throw. Does the chili give her advantage? No, the chili does not give her advantage. advantage. Yo, smell this. (laughs) (laughs) I I can't. I I have rolled every single one of my d20s tonight. Every single one. And I really only get great rolls on meaningless things. (laughs) You should start taking Zach's dice. Yeah. My dice suck too, dude. My dice only work for So you're lost in this humming, and you hear a distant roar in the shroud. Somewhat familiar. Cutting through the hum, you look in the direction, and you see coming out from behind some purple cloud that familiar hand grip around some orbs, pulling itself out. Can I try to run, or am I stuck? You can try to run. So you start... Trying to run away. All right, you do. And you start sprinting. As if there, like something is appearing beneath your feet. You push off. You are kind of flying through this zero-G space, kind of casting through the white light that has surrounded you, which you can assume being these bugs surrounding you in the hole. You kind of jump through them, casting off into this purple space. Um, make another wisdom saving throw. Time to do this. 
Hell. <sighs> okay, I think this is a good one. <clears throat> so that's gonna be a seventeen. Seventeen. Um, you feel yourself, especially now that you're running, you're kind of getting this confidence. Like, you're like, I can control this more than I thought I could. And you're running and you're looking back as this creature, it, it doesn't have eyes, it has like this carapace that kind of comes down over like the hood that covers its eyes. And it has this massive, sprawling mouth, like, not too dissimilar from almost like a T-Rex, except there's rows and rows of like needle-like teeth within. A long tongue that comes out kind of like venom. I don't think he wants to be friends. And you see coming off of his back, he has these huge, maybe like 12 feet arms that end in blades. Kind of similar to the, um, not like swords, but bladed like carapace. Oh, great. Friendly. And it's huge. And you can tell based on, you estimate by the size of these white orbs that surround the hole. Like you can see this is the shape of the small vehicle. And, and this, this thing basically, basically puts its hands like almost on the small vehicle and pushes off of it, um, making it bigger than your 80 foot vehicle. And it pushes off ascending towards you. Make one more wisdom saving throw. You are pushing ahead though, you're running, you've got control. Do you have any inspiration? Oh, yeah, great question. Do you have any inspiration? What about for that therapy session? <laughs> no. I will. Well, she, she walked, walked away, away from it. it. She, she didn't come to any like groundbreaking conclusions. Maybe Sigurd did. That is actually so. I'll leave that for I'll leave that for billiards and babbling. My personal thoughts on that. Liz's thoughts on that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he didn't say I got inspiration. No, 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 no. I didn't, I didn't get an inspiration. We'll discuss it later. But but I did. I came <laughs> out <laughs> being chilly the whole time. I came out a better person. That's a, a nine. A, a nine. I ate, I ate like four people's shares. Does of she chili. have any inspiration or no? Because like, I'm so stressed out. Um, no, like you I haven't gotten, gotten inspiration. inspiration. I did, I did give, give you a few a while ago. I would say you probably have one sitting around. You definitely have one. Okay. Does that mean like you want inspiration? You get, yeah, you get a reroll. You, you, it's like a lucky use. I think if that's what. It, unless you sure, do a different. It's a reroll. You can reroll. That's what you do with inspiration, right? Just a reroll. Yeah. Yeah. I will allow it. I'm using the ducky this time. Go duck go. Oh, Let's go. Okay, twenty-two. Twenty-two, much better. It probably really did. It pushes itself off of the vehicle, and all that white light coming towards you, like, like you are a portion of the size of its tongue. Its maw almost coming over you, like you're going into a cave, and you you cannot outrun it. And right as the maw is about to snap onto you, you you focus in on yourself, and you kind of feel. Your whole consciousness and inner being kind of focus in into a pin dot in the center of your third eye, and you focus on that. And then it erupts, and you you kind of explode into purple, pushing it all away, and then you appear back into your cockpit seat. Your cock. In your cock. Your cockpit seat. And you see Orin behind you. will hear him eating chili. And you are back to the humming sound. Hey. You okay? I think they're getting worse. There's there's definitely something coming after me in the shroud. I think you need to eat some wet. Uh, I no, said I said the something. vat of chili okay. in front of you. The entire vat? And I, I hand you a spoon. <laughs> I think you need to eat something. <laughs> Did you just give her an entire oh my god. An entire like big can. I don't expect you to eat the whole. I don't expect you to eat the whole thing. Is it warm? Did you leave the bear cat? No. Yeah. It's room temperature. But it's I'm still, still like with good. it in your shot. I'm closing the door though. Yeah. All right. We can, we nice. can eat it up. I'm not making later. any sound. Yeah. I light the, the gas stove that's definitely in here. No, there's, there's no, no gas stove, stove here. I light the electric stove. No, nope. it's definitely. No, nope. you, you could maybe set, set up like a makeshift fire. fire. I don't know. Yeah, that might be a great <laughs> idea. I think <laughs> he's gonna light up the camping stove that we have. Well, that... I feel like I have like a, a few bites of it and then I'm I'm done. It, it is pretty good. good. It's, it's probably, probably the best chili you've had. <sighs> oh really? Um, okay. Just because, because it's so full of like preservatives and other things that you're not used to, mm, so it has like a sweetness to it that you're just like, wow, that's so yummy. Right. Beautiful, non-saturated fat. Exactly. Basically, I pretend that I don't like it in front of Orin, and then if Orin turns his wow. back, I'm gonna like... <laughs> and then, I'll go back to it. Can't give you the pleasure of knowing she liked it. It's fine. I make an inside check. 
<laughs> make a deception check. Well, yeah. yeah. I have to wait till bedtime Fuck! to do what I want to do. I forgot. Well, it's bedtime. That's gonna be I have to wait 14. till a specific person Whoa. falls asleep. <laughs> okay. Because I don't have what I, I need. I for. All right. So, tell, tell the, the truth. truth. I take the chili. Seems that you're done with this. Yeah. I walk over to my other compatriots. You see, you guys tried. Oh, sorry. Oh. 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 Yeah. I walk over to my other compatriots. Eat some chili. Oh, chili. chili. I haven't eaten dinner yet. That's a good idea. And I take some chili to eat before I go to bed. Right. We well, all start eating <laughs> out of this large <laughs> chili. As the humming and avalanche outside just is unending. They are just still trying to get in here. I just created. But you eventually, like. It's, it's becoming, becoming just like background, background noise because you're getting so used to it. it. Um, it doesn't, doesn't affect you too much. You know they're not getting in. So, what, what, what were you doing? I was just gonna say, did I just accidentally create a vacuum sealed gas chamber by feeding everyone chili? <laughs> That's, That's a, a good point. point. That was a very good point. You may have just done that. Uh, I just fake sleep until like everyone falls asleep. I actually go to sleep. You, you go, go to sleep. sleep. I'm over the shit. Edmay kind of sits in the cockpit area just oh, reading her book. Um. Yeah. Who, Who else goes to sleep? Is Malachite? I'm gonna pray again. Pray? Yeah, even though I doubt it's gonna do anything. Yeah. You can, you can go ahead and make a religious check. check. So, does anyone else in the party require four hours or just me? Mm, just, just you. you and then Ed May just Ed May requires sleep. none. Mm -hmm. She just does not sleep. 17. 17? Otherwise, the rest of us all eight hours. I wonder if it would be helpful to, like. You're, You're definitely strengthening your bonds eyes. with him. To what? Uh, I'm right. actually worshipping through the book and over the book. Hell yeah. Go I, um... I guess I, like, meditate with somewhere near Edme. Right. I don't want to see Seagward's face right now, so I'm not going back in there. So you find a spot to meditate in the cockpit. She's just kind of reading through her book about her parent and her valley. You all go to sleep, I wake up except Seagward. I wake up to go piss. You wake up to go piss. So I go Is there a potty in this tank? No, there's not. I'm gonna decide where that is right now. A bucket. There, there is, is like a utility, utility closet. I'll go to the oh, utility yeah. closet. Okay. Do not piss on that wall. I'm not gonna piss. I'm not. I'm not <laughs> undignified. Oh, wait, I'm I know. Just I'm go out into the catwalk, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Death. <laughs> Scary <laughs> way. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no, I'm sure we have like empty oh, bottles shit. or some shit. <laughs> Oops. Uh, Bad advice. No, we put kimchi in them. All of them? Only three of them. Oh, we, have, we have a lot of empty bottles. Yeah. But it's not, yeah. it's not for me to drink a lot. Yeah. Uh, I piss at a bottle, and then gonna before, I, no, before I walk out of the no, bathroom, no, no, no. I cast invisibility on myself. Okay. And I so. walk to the cockpit. I'm right. Make stealth a stealth check. check. With that advantage. Cause you're I know, but you're meditating right now. What's, What's your passive pass perception? Pass how do I determine that? Uh, eight plus, eight plus perception. perception, and if you're proficient in perception, yeah. you get plus your proficiency, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. so eight. Seventeen. I wonder what Sigrid's gonna do. Unnatural twenty. Oh, so you stealthily go. Hang on, I want to check for Edna. Oh yeah. I don't she cares. Let's see what she wrote. <laughs> It wasn't very high, so she probably doesn't notice anything. She's not super receptive. Uh, I grab Nora's bag holding. Okay. Yeah. Um, hmm. It's on her person. Yeah. What? So, so grabbing it, I'm gonna say either a slight, of, make a slight of hand check. The bag of holding? Nora's, yeah. It's like a satchel. You're trying to fucking grab that from me right now? Yeah. Oh, Bad if he does it, right now, he's so fucking screwed. But as you as you, you grab it, you just done, hear. You're done, buddy. You're done. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. If you wake up, though, that's only quite a bit. Of but you're not. You're also not going <laughs> to well, see me. No, though. actually, meditating. I'm in a semi alert yeah, but I, trance. I passed your, but your... He, because you rolled a stealth check. So mm -hmm. that's why he's okay. rolling sleight of hand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's still going off your passive perception. Unnatural twenty again. I rolled eighteen plus two. And yeah, he's able to. Oh, you kind of no. slide it off of her 
and manage to get it without disturbing her meditation. Bruce Edme is none episode. the wiser, just thumbing That's through lie. her book. Apparently that was a lie. Uh, well, we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna go into the closet, utility closet, pull out the book. You're done. You pull out the book? So yeah, okay. just wanna... thinking about it. Okay, no, so you go in the back, dude. Yeah, and you pull out the book. Yeah. No. Your vision goes to black. Oh, nice. Oh, it, immediately, the moment I could, the I book could just speak with my man. <laughs> leaves the bag. Well, you, you wouldn't have this. Sound. You wouldn't have this sound. Excuse me. I got I gotta get my uh, bad people correct. Yeah. Gotta spice it up a little bit, right? Mm -mm. It's already spiced up enough. No chaos this time. Edmay's not here. Right. We have, we're not having any chaos yet. Yeah, so to be Edmay. fair, he did say unless he does it. That is true. And it's not chaos yet. It's. It Walking will be in me. about two minutes. Not even. That. Two seconds. Two we hours. We don't know that. Okay. I think that'll be fine. So, you, immediately, the moment your hand touches this book and you pull it out and you see the black leathery tome and it comes into this reality and your vision, you kind of get tossed back and you hear the creaking of a chair as you are once again sitting at a desk in an old, creaky, dusty library, you could see the red lanterns kind of lighting the walls down. And you see, just the, as libraries have tables in the middle mm -hmm. between the bookshelves, mm -hmm. and you see maybe 100 feet down, a cloaked figure walking towards you through the red light. You can hear the creaking with every step. And he s speaks, and it sounds as if he's right here behind your ear. And he says, I knew you'd come to understand. Well, <clears throat> I would like to hear what you have to offer per first before coming to a full decision. Of course, you know. Of course. Free will and all that. I understand. Mm -hmm. I'm glad. I'm glad you understand. No, you know, free, will, free will is very important, he, right? He walks up slowly to the desk. Do I have, is a book like on the table or something? There, there's like, no book on the table. Oh, okay. So it's just an empty table. It's just an empty table right now. It's very dark in here. Um, but as you kind of look down for the book, he, he acknowledges that you're looking for a book. And as you look down, you see a book <sighs> come out of the darkness and slide before you. Oh, hey. A plain, empty book um, on the first cool. page. It is black, much like the book that you pull out of the bag. And the, the pages are yellowed and kind of torn on the sides and edges. It is old and aged. Mm. It's sexy and appealing to someone who likes to write books. <laughs> true, true. That's valid. Yeah. As, someone, as someone who's a book consumer, yes. definitely valid. This is like, yeah. mm. like wow. Here's a leather tome And consumer. you see it fold before you. <laughs> wow, nice book. I offer you, Sigler, power and knowledge of all those who have signed books before. This library is the library of all of their compiled knowledge. Hmm. Wizards over thousands of years, over many universes, all compiled. Well, okay, but for you, do I keep my sanity? Because like the last guy, you know. Of course you do. He didn't really have his sanity. So what, what's up with that? Let's talk. Talk to me about that, that Mr. Hooded Man. I, because we still have. I, I forgot your name. I don't remember. I don't know if you ever told me. I don't think you did. Just call me the author. The author. Okay, I can do that, Mr. Author. So let's let's talk about our last, your last host, Mr. Noro. I, I don't remember his last name. Why he, not himself, right? At the end, what's up with that? You're supposed to keep your sanity, no? But clearly he was not. He sane. was disturbed and troubled by the loss of his former lover and his mother. Right, but troubled, he descended into a realm of madness. I could not save him. So you didn't cause it. Me? Correct. Yeah. I want. Can I? Can I roll an insight check? Sure, roll an insight check. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. <laughs> <laughs> Cloaked, shadowed figure, a hundred feet away. He's probably fifty feet now. He's, okay. he's approaching still. Uh, he's fourteen. Fourteen. He's telling the truth. Okay. Well, shit. Sure, okay. For sure. Well, hey, he's an author. Why would he lie? Right. True. Yeah. Author, authors never lie. People well, okay, so write the news, don't lie. if it was like his own, but I mean, but he like became like saying at the end and like he was like, like he just talking wished bad to about save you. his people. Well, he was talking the bad about you. Power. He was talking kind of bad about you. With, you know, that's that can't be that can't be true. But like, so like, what 
you know, there, there's got to be something behind his words, because, you know, he used to be, like, a decent person. So, like, and if he talked bad on you on, on some bad things, you know, that doesn't make that doesn't make you look very good. I can't lie, you know. I understand where you're coming from with that sentiment. Mm -hmm. He wanted so much from mm -hmm. this world. He wanted his mother back. You're right. Back. That is pretty hard to do. I gave him his mother back. But I could not bring the lover back. For he still lives. And still out there. He's alive. But he got, like, eaten by those tentacles after I shot him in the shoulder. He's special. To, they to envy who? individuals with a specific gene that he has. Does does that mean his sister has that same gene? I know not the details, okay. but I know probably probably he exists probably. Okay. still. Oh, so he is okay. Well, that's interesting. But is this, and he's on this plane of like reality existence. You know that I don't know if you're like all on. I tried that. looking for his soul hmm. and was unable to find it. Mm -hmm. Interesting interesting okay well with this power so now nor i'm not a big personally a big fan of necromancy of course i i know i told you that last time i was here i'm sure you remember that um does that mean like i get like something different from the book or like because like i'm not trying to do no ne necromancy right so like do i get like different powers because like you know nor wanted to bring back his family and whatnot but that's not what i want to read upon the book is to take an oath to the shackled king mm -hmm. His reign is on death. Oh, I see. Okay. So it's not, yeah. yeah. It sounds like a one way track. <sighs> but the power it gives you? Yeah. To conquer the world and mold it in your image? Well, I don't really To want save to your that. loved ones? I don't make have a world for ones. them? You literally yeah. have to. To sisters. subjugate all around you and stand on yeah. top of the mountain? I already stood on top of quite a tall mountain. I think that was pretty cool, you know. Um, I'll get I'll get back to you. you he know? pro he's now I'll at the desk. Back to you. <laughs> he's let now me at the desk. <laughs> <laughs> let me let me take a let me take a nap on it. Let me. Sigurd. Right. Yeah, that's my name. Yep. Sign the book. Um, what you if see, I uh, what uh, if I say no? A uh, ink, well, with a feather, slide across the desk right next to you. Now, what what if I say no? Son. Mm. I can't say no. I don't feel like it. Make a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and your hand you suddenly fail. has a mind of its I own. I honestly hope you fail. Sixteen. I don't know. This is probably not you the easiest fail. save. This is probably not the easiest save. Um. So. He doesn't. He has a connection with you, but it is a weak connection based on the fact that you've never actually read to understand the text upon the page. You just thumb through and seen it, and that is seemingly the only reason he's connected to you. Um, so being that his connection is weaker than it was, you do feel the ability to push him off with that saving throw. As he comes in, and you could feel your hand grabbing the quill and taking it towards the book. And there's this moment of resistance, and he's just like, you can't see his face under the dark hood as he's just staring at the desk, waiting for your hand to sign your name. And then you manage to throw the, the quill off to the side of the desk. Uh, so I'm I'm really just not a fan of necromancy. It's just it's just not my thing. I hope you, I really hope you understand, you know, and if you just want to, like, diminish your connection with me, we can just, like, leave this on, like, um, you can find the next host, right? Oren, at this point, as you are, you have bad gas. And you have the shits coming pretty bad from all that chili you were chowing down. Oh, um, so you start running towards the utility room where you remember seeing a bucket. Oh fuck, man! I shouldn't have eaten five servings of this <laughs> chili, dude. <laughs> so you start running into the utility room. You open the door, and there you see Sigward. Wait, I'm invisible. Not I'm just, not right now. You've lost uh, concentration. I'm no longer invisible. So you see Sigward with the bag in one hand and the book halfway out of the bag, and he's looking at the ceiling with his eyes rolled in the back of the head, going, "I like for for a split second, I like look for a bucket, and then I'm like, oh. <laughs> and I run over to him and I like throw the book at the wall. So you grab the book and throw it. Yeah. Out of, okay. Uh, make a strength check, both of you. 
Me too. Okay. Yeah, you've got a tight locked grip on the oh. book. You're not letting go willingly. I wrote a 14 strength check. Uh, yeah. Minus one, 13. 26. Oh yeah, he's definitely been that. <laughs> you big. tear the book out of his hand and you throw it at the wall. <laughs> you see, it kind of hits the ground and opens, and it's just sitting there open. Um, Sigward, your eyes come back to the head, and as you said those final words to him, um, you wash out of the vision as the book is pulled out of your hand. From um, uh, find find a new host is, was my final words yeah. to him. Yeah. Oh, God. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> oh, where the what the fuck? Where am I? You touched the fucking book, didn't you? I didn't. What are you talking? I was sleeping, and I got yeah. up to take a hit. <laughs> um... <laughs> yeah, right. I, I you look. Want, you want me to roll deception? I, I point. Make, make a deception. You You're probably right. heard the sound of the book. Well, I don't know because of all the humming and stuff. And the the because that's still happening. I'm gonna get my pink dozy. I'll go with what you say if I heard it or not. I don't think you would have heard it because they're on like the other side of the vehicle and like these things are still trying to get in. Twenty-four. Nineteen. Oh, yes. <laughs> so you believe him? <laughs> he not <does>. really. <laughs> well, not really. You technically do because knowing I him, I. I, well, last time, I last don't time? really believe no. him, but I'll, well, I don't on, have any on. proof, wait, wait, wait. proof wait, wait. otherwise. Last time, it, the, the last though? time because that the scepter was grabbing, up. that even wasn't actually me. And you do remember that, that it wasn't actually me. But you had the bag of holding on you then. No, I threw it to you. No, whoa. No, no, no. When, and that's why I started to have the bag of holding. Right. So. But it's only been two, two days. Still some things are not adding up. It's only been two days. Uh, I, I take his word for it, but my gut doesn't. The like fact it. that like I had the bag of holding oh, with the like book the in fact it on my person. Gotcha. His and story's somehow, not adding mysteriously, up. Yeah. randomly, he has it, but he was sleeping this whole time. Yeah. I so, like. I like. Wait, you're still sleeping, though. No? I take. Meditating. I take the bag of holding, and I take the book. Wait! And I, don't don't you shouldn't touch it with your bare hands. He was talking about finding a new host. <laughs> Does you, anything happen when he you touches you it? Approach the book, and you as you go to grab it, you look at it. And you see what looks like just like someone took like a, a like a large paintbrush with black paint and was like writing like this with it. And you see what looks like a large incomplete circle holding the bottom half of a page um, and almost like uh, something painted in between it. Like um, it's hard to tell, like a, a planetoid or something like it looks like there's craters or something within it. Are there tongs um, in here? <laughs> no, and you're looking and you just see this strange dark text and it almost yet. vibrates as you start looking at it. Um, but you manage to close it real quick, grab it and throw it in the bag, or do you want to try finding something else? I, I wouldn't touch it. He was talking about finding a new host because I didn't want to sign the book because it's ne necromancy. I don't think he wants a retard like me. Uh, <laughs> I, I mean, I mean look at what he did to Nora. and just like... Flip it closed. Is there like can I, can I don't I, like, does, we, put does, it any, in. does anybody have like um, mage, mage hand? Oh, wait. mage hand. You got, you it, got. Do you have mage hand, Orin? What? Does As the book like lays there open, hand. and Sigrid kind of looks in the direction, talking to Orin about it. You hear whispers coming from the book, kind of calling you toward it. Oh, no. I'm gonna just like. Oh. It's, I can hear, I can hear the fucking whispers again. This is not good. Get and you kind of like you glance at the book. You can almost see the text like jumping off. Can I like broom like, it like, into the bag? Towards you. Yo, yeah, you can please, with your please, maul. You please, easily just kind of like put the bag the down out. and brush it in there. Keep, we, that, that I think we need to burn that shit. It just needs to like get incinerated. <laughs> I but it's looking no. for a new host. It's it's looking for a new host. It 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 wants somebody well, new. Well, let's just keep it in the bag for now. Uh, I don't even think that's going to be safe because I got it somehow, and it's in the bag, and, and she had it, and as I, I point out to like the cockpit, so clearly that's not fucking working. Well, um, if you could please leave the closet, I have to take a really mean shit. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there's a bucket right there. Thanks. And I pull the bucket out. <clears throat> I keep the bag of holding with me. Yeah, go. You, you want to put it outside? The bag of you want to just put it outside and take, let somebody else take it, like the bugs? No lie. I'm not going to lie. in here. You have the ch Why is it chew? And, oh, right. Keep in mind, the book is supposed to go to Edmay's aunt. That's yeah. the right, that's the mission. Yeah. Also, oh, right. <laughs> wait, oh, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. That's <laughs> You're like, get rid of the book. I'm, only, wait, I'm not commenting because my character is <laughs> But Sigurd would remember that. 
I, I did. I, yeah, I forgot yeah. about the out of character. To be honest, I completely <laughs> forgot that that was the goal. I was gonna ask getting... about that. I yeah, like, I hey, forgot. Morgan, we need to. We need to get to Blade Wood as soon as fucking possible, and so that that so that Edmay's fucking Dighty can have her goddamn book back. Because it's her. It's her book originally. So you're like dying to take a shit, and he just keeps talking to you. Yeah. And you're like, please yeah, get I out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, just, Sigrid leaves I'm almost immediately. I'm after you're done. You so. just hear trumpets coming from the utility room. Um, um. It's, like a, it's like a Dale and Dawson shit. <laughs> 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 but you have your shit, you go back, you probably go to sleep, Sigurd. No, I'm gonna wait till he's done pooping so I can prestigitate the bathroom. Alright, So it doesn't Fair. smell like You finish your, your pooping after a good half hour, and then you make your way back to sleep. Damn, I have an hour. <laughs> And you go in there, press it to take the smell. Do I hear any whispers after the book gets thrown in the it's bag? It's back in the bag, yeah. so no more whispers. Nice. Yeah. Um, and then the next morning comes. I'm just gonna I sleep. I assume you probably. I'm just gonna sleep. In are, the do you tell Dartha about what occurred or no? I'm sleeping in the middle well, I of wake the up. four hours. I you mean, wake up pretty pretty soon after. I'm just I guess. laying in the middle of the fucking ship on the floor, caught okay. up in a ball. Okay. <laughs> so you wake up and your bag is missing. I probably didn't even think to like tell her about it because she was so pissed. Yeah. So I'm just like, I'm I'm in the room, just kind of like holding it. You see me like, first. Are you asleep? Yeah. You okay. see you see Edme and then me, and then the barracks because I'm laying in the okay. middle of the ship. I'm confused and I don't have it. Yep. I'm not gonna start problems with secret, but I am gonna. You can look. see that I don't have it. Okay. You can see my bag of holding, but you can't. Well, they look the exact same, so you would have to actually like check. So if you want to like look in the bag, that's how you would check. I don't want to touch the thing though. Well, I know, but that's the only way. You you the bags do they look the same? They look the similar, right? The exact same. They look different. Oh, they do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh. Okay. Then you. Okay. Then then okay. you would know. You it's definitely mine. can tell the difference. I see. I thought the I, honestly, I thought all bags of holding looked so the exact I don't same. See, Not these ones. Word. Awesome. I don't see that on there. So I'm gonna go into the room. And look around. I'm just gonna start looking around the entire ship. Make an uh, investigation check. Yo, I don't know why I'm like, I've been shivering for the past like 15 minutes. Oh, get warm warmer. Now. I'm trying. Oh, yes. Great. So that's a 18, which is a 19 yeah, minus 1, so 18. Like yep. You start looking around the ship, and it doesn't take you long before you see the bag hanging out of Orin's hand or sitting beside his bed. I assume you sleep in your shell, yes. even on the bed. Yeah. So you, you just see a turtle shell sitting on a bed. In the or shell on the, floor. On the I, don't, bed. I don't know how he does it. In That's funny. Depends on how the, big the bed is, I it's guess. It's not very big, but you could probably scoot some together. There's not a lot well, of people sleeping in here. Since Seaward isn't in this room, and I know better, my Dartha knows better than to take something from Oren's hand while he's sleeping, considering how massive he is. True. Um, so instead, because everyone's sleeping, I'm going to do my morning yoga and stretches in here where I can see the bag. And, um, not see Seagward. Menacingly doing yoga, watching the bag. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing my yep. tai chi. Makes sense. <laughs> Just waiting for him to wake up to chew him out. It's more like, it's more like checking your rear view mirror when you're driving. Like, it's it. like, every couple of seconds I'm like, alright, check. All right, you do check your, the bag, your morning the bag. stretches, and eventually, <laughs> Oren's snoring comes to a and he begins to wake up as the rest of you begin to wake up from your long rest. Oh, and the bugs are gone as morning yeah. begins to rise. Thank God. I'm gonna. We should probably check the roof to see if it actually has scratches or dents. Because if it does, that's terrible news. <laughs> oh. So that'll be my my first plan of action. Will morning, be to go check. Right. Why are you in here? Um, Oren, can you explain to me why you have the bag? The what? The bag? <laughs> the what? The oh, bag. <laughs> um, yeah, I woke up last night. I really had to shit. Mm-hmm. And um, when I went in there, I saw him in the utility closet. Uh, eyes rolled back. Um, Is that like basically like book? convulsing? He was holding yeah. the book. Uh, I was convulsing. I was convulsing. I was had that book shaking. on my belt. What if you like when I went emptied out a bag of holding and used it as like a toilet? He took that from me. Like that's I, the dedicated potty bag. He absolutely took that from me. I took it from him. I don't know. He said and then you could just dump remember, it out like somewhere. Remember. You just turn the bag inside out and everything. I hate being like, like, so I feel like I'm being from either way. Um, no, I would not believe you though. I didn't lie to you. 
Yeah, yeah, but I haven't lied to you yet. The thing is, yet. I would be very suspicious. Like, I would absolutely believe that he took it from me. I just don't know how. Oh, well, I don't either. You, as you get told this information, you're probably going to look for him. And he is currently outside. Can you make an athletics check? I was just going to thunder her step. Oh, up. okay, sure. You thunder step on top of it. And you don't see any apparent scratches. You do see a lot of... Um, kind of greenish blood all over the place and a lot of broken like um bug parts and legs and like broken wings just kind of oh, sitting there but now as the sun is coming up they're all starting to burn and sizzle um and they're all oh. starting to like burn on the top of the thing oh that's interesting information i'm gonna come back down with that information okay and also the fact that that gigantic thing is not magical so i, I uh yeah, the hole's in fine shape. You want me There's to make no... an athletics check down? It's easy. It's just like a 10-foot drop. You okay. can easily just, like, grab the corner and okay. drop the five feet. Mm-hmm. I don't so you get down there, you see Sigurd kind of land on the catwalk and walk in. Well, the whatever that gigantic thing attacking us last night was not... Uh, it did not bypass the defenses. And also, uh, the bugs disintegrate in the sun. I'm not sure why. It's weird. But, uh, every part of them disintegrated when the sun hit it, so. Before we do knowledge. anything, Seer Ward, yeah. um, I think we need to discuss how Noro's bag of holding that was on my belt yeah. oh. ended up with Orin. Yeah, I, I woke up because Orin threw it out of my hand. Uh, here's three things I figured out last night. Well, uh, three fun facts about my yeah, no, listen, <laughs> I was, no, I need to, why I need did to you ask take you it me. off of my belt? Well, it wasn't my plan to take it off your belt. It was uh, Mr. Arthur's plan. That's what he told me to call it. Really? I swear to God. Explain uh, but, and then roll deception okay. because you're going to so need to. So here's, here's what I was told. So one, Darth your brother, is already very suspicious your brother of you. apparently is still alive and he has a special gene and that's why he's still alive because they were holding on to him. And also, that means you probably have that special gene and that's why the bugs are after you. Uh, two, uh, he's looking for a new host, uh, whoever like the author of the, the book is. Uh, he's looking for a new host because I managed to not sign the book last night. Uh, and three... Uh, I really genuinely do not know how I got it. I woke up in, I woke up to go take a piss, and then next thing I know, Orin's throwing the book out of my hand, and that's. I am very. Make a deception. We are thing. not on great terms, <laughs> and I'm very, very suspicious of you. So like. But the make the, the, the 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 um, is... the the Calgan thing and your gene thing is true. That is full. full that is true. Truth. And listen, Sigurd, I already knew that. Uh well. I mean, did you know that it, he was actually alive? I don't know if that was like if you asked him if he was alive or not. So I know that he's I stuck in the shroud. So yeah. yeah. Would you roll? I saw a twenty-four. You heads up that they're like using bait. 18, 18 plus six. Damn it. Eighteen plus six. I wanted to roll so good and um I didn't. That's a fourteen. So ten over. There's her. literally. Yeah. So but the thing is, like, him. I'm so angry that, like, there's no, I feel like there's no viable way that, like, I mean, I well, hold on, you. well, listen, I feel like wait, this wait, wait. is kind of ridiculousness. Well, what like, about, I mean, the, this when the scepter, starting off I pulled out the scepter out of the bag. a lying, like, just terrible person. Well, that was your because own fault Because I already in know the that you tiptoe around the truth. That was never true in the beginning of the session, in the beginning of our, of, of my character. I just wanted to say that. Um, but you know that you do know that that when the scepter was originally pulled out, that that was not my will at all, and that but it was, was like we on were confirmed. You at that time. Yeah, so, but it was in the bag, so like the same idea that he can talk to me through the bag okay. gets okay. canceled out. Because how would I pull the scepter out? Well, of the bag? this is pretty ridiculous. I don't know well, how we're gonna have to do this. That we're gonna we have need to, to like, get literally the book. lock it away. From we need you. to get the book to mm-hmm. Blightwood because it's her book. Ed May's Dighty, it's her book. If she takes it, it's out of our fucking hands. And then and then I can get that fucking that See, fuck ass out of my head. We already know this stuff. Yeah. We literally already know this. Right. So we have to get there so we can get rid of this damn book. Well, we can't get there until we fix the light bridge. All right. Well, how the how the fuck Let's... are we going to do that? 
Can we kill all the bugs? Since you I, said that I, they there, disagree. There, when that's you guys right? looked yeah. across the river, there was a stone bridge that went across the river, mm. but it was and it like had like Where support. This was in the book. I forgot to mention it this well, time. Also, but it does not have the capacity to even support like cars. Right, and we want to. This okay, was like old like, like horse walk. and wagon. Like, we but it's now a walking bridge. Yeah, yeah. But we don't want to. No, like, we, we, we our group consensus was that we wanted to get the light bridge on so we could take our ship over. Yeah. Um. I. I don't care. I don't. I actually don't know. I don't know if we can fight these bugs. There's now so many. Now we have many. to worry about that giant these, one too. Um, I think we could blow up the stacks and just watch it timber, and then a whole bunch the of them would die. The stack. The smoke, the smoke stack. Oh, is it actually smoke it's stack? It's like underground. It's an underground oh. smoke stack. It's yeah, like we a just large just silo steam that goes is coming down. out. That's all we can see. Mm. Um, yeah. but I really don't. I, I, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't think we can kill. Them. There's so many of them, and then that giant the thing that back. he was literally pushing our entire ship around last night, like that. What what could that have even been? Like what what is that big that can move this probably like twenty thousand pound hunk of metal and like make it physically move, right? That's that's pretty terrifying. I don't know. I don't know if we can kill them all. But we have to figure out how to get across. So we're kind of at like a crossroad, I guess. To be fair, we don't have to kill them all. We just have to turn the bridge on. I mean, yeah. Okay. But we have to do it quick, right? Because you're still having it's your morning. your like sleeping is issues, right? Yes. And that can happen at any time or only nighttime. Have we anytime. figured that out? Okay, anytime. Anytime, right? Has it, it it does it's happen time anytime, time but it it's more, it happens more frequently at yeah. night. Okay, so especially when they're nearby. Okay, so okay. Oh. Well. Okay. Go kill some bugs. Do you want to formulate a plan tonight, or? Well, I mean, well, is there anything anyone wants to do time. right now? As you're all sitting inside your vehicle, the sun is up. Um, you could, you, if you kind of like look out. I'd say you open up the blast windows, and you can kind of see the old man getting out there again. Then. I think that they're gonna try to pinch one of our rides. Uh, yeah, I'm I don't taking, think I'm we the give the power thing to people. him. Also, yeah. in the future, can we maybe not divulge every single little bit about our history to random people? <laughs> maybe we keep some things mysterious. Who? And secret. What are you talking Both about? Both of you. To maybe who? don't tell like. No, I'm, I'm asking. I, I actually like. I, okay. I don't remember what you're what you're referencing. So like the dragonborns when you told them just everything about us, and you're just like, yeah, all this stuff we found in the swamp, all this. They don't need to know anything. No one needs to know anything. I'm not the one who said it. I didn't say a single thing someone's about the swamp. A little paranoid schizophrenic. I didn't say. I didn't say okay, a single thing. Someone. That's all was, I'm saying. Was involved in every single militia. Someone was a spy. You were? Mm, yes. I can tell that these I was an informant. Well, they're teenagers and, and children. I don't think they can do much. And yeah, that old guy looks Bosco like goes with you. Kind that of that old down. guy is like like a a blow a a, a breast a I'm wind. Just saying, maybe we not trust people. No, so I agree. Quickly. I'm. I didn't say anything. I agree wholeheartedly. I didn't say a single yeah, thing to sure them. Pulls that stick out of his pocket. It was not. I didn't Very? say a single thing to mm -hmm. them. Just that they're ours, and that I didn't want to trade for the power supply. I said no. Mm -hmm. So that was all him. That was all him. It's me. Well, what what do you want to do? Because you're the person who has the door opens and you see the, the same like main red dragonborn. This is like your main area, I Hi. guess we could say. Hi. Welcome back. This is your like problem area, per se. So you want to? What do you want? What is that? You see, all the kids are like, <laughs> and they all start kind of huddling chili. over the like big just can of open chili. Bucks. It's chili. Because he's going. Can we have some? Yeah, this is all yours. To, to, to and they all just start like bringing bowls and stuff that they had, and they start taking a cup and taking it to their little tent circle, and they all say their thank yous. So I'm genuinely yeah, no problem. Gotta go go find out a turtle tower on. I mean, there's not really much more we can plan until we get there. I will say one thing you notice about the clothing of them is some of them are wearing like kind of patchwork leathers, like maybe their clothes got burned. But a lot of them are kind of wearing t-shirts. Some are wearing even jeans. A lot of them have shoes on, like almost like tennis shoes. Like 
They're dressed weirder than people in Oak Um, fancy clothes you got there. But it's all torn up and, you know, dirty and stuff, so it still looks kind of cr- cruddy. Thank you. Um, what, what, what were you two doing? The three of us we are trying to plan. Three. We're trying to plan gotcha. for what, but... Whatever yeah. is whatever she wants to do, because it's her problem area. So I'm now following. Now it's whatever I want to do. I, I literally said that five minutes ago. Don't don't say no. some shit. <laughs> no 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 no. I've been trying to ask what you wanted to do for the past five minutes. Don't say now it's now it's what I want to do. Hmm. We kill bug. We kill bug. Go kill bug. Well, I we're think that we're gonna have to go down. We're gonna have to go below ground in okay. order to find the power source. So we know it's going to be around the bridge, so maybe we start there and we start killing things um, that we come across, because we're going to have to do it that way anyways. Right, okay. Um, Dungeon crawl, maybe. Mm-hmm. So like stay but by the they're river they're going then? to come for me. And then right. we have that big thing to worry about. But I'm guessing that'll probably be in like the middle of like where the smokestack that might where be. Where that steam is coming out? Yeah. Because that's where they came out of. Like, yeah, the that's majority. where the, the majority of them are. I wonder if there's, like, a way we could, like, I don't know, send something down the steam hole, like, like, giant explosion. You guys haven't been able to, like, see the steam hole too much, so you don't know what's going on over there. Just know but, like, steam you just know how you is, kind of seen it for your brief moment, because you are able to, like, kind of see through the buildings. You remember the picture that Omega showed you of the power mm-hmm. station, where it was, like, uh, like, a parking lot, and then, like, this big dome that kind of comes up, kind of like a silo chamber? You recognize that this is kind of the similar structure of the power station, except there is a hole that all the steam is coming through out of this dome. And that hole is where they're coming up from. So there is like a door that goes down into the power station, you imagine. Do you have an idea? Power station is where they're at. <laughs> power station is where they're at. They're in the power station. So we have to kill them all. Okay, well... I mean, I saw both of our problems, win. I guess. <laughs> Not <laughs> necessarily all. But we have to get them. Oh, out we're of definitely to. gonna have to fight a lot. Yeah. Okay. I think we need to be strategic about it. But mm-hmm. what? What sort of radiance? Um... I have nothing radiant. I am soul Me, lightning. Neither. I have some fire. Uh, unless uh, but... Sonara wants to show up and be like, um, I don't think Edme has any... about this one. I don't think Edme has any radiance. <laughs> the last one, Dora was like threatening her people. I'm not really well, sure. These things I'm stacking are threatening her, her wanderers. So. Sure, sure. Mm-hmm. Well, you guys plot and plan inside of the vehicle as Orin and Vashka feed the hungry children within the spire. This is where we will end tonight's mm-hmm. episode and pick back up next week. Good job, everyone. Good job. Thank you, everyone, who came and checked it out. Um, Please make sure to come and visit us for the next episode into the power station, where hopefully they will turn on the power. Or die. Or die. die. Yes. Not die. I could die. This this is a spot that I could die. That's okay. I'll get revived again, though. No, you won't. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching. And we will see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.